Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, microphone's on. Yay! Um, how are we doing? Can you hear me okay? Can you see me okay? Are we all coming through loud and clear? First Birthday blood. strum hype. Bullseye. Oh my god. <laughs> Dr. Dre, happy birthday, Paul. Wish you all the best in the world. P.S. Bullseye. <laughs> Thank you very much, Dre. And I believe you got first blood. <laughs> <clears throat> Thank you very much, guys, for wishing me happy birthday. Thank you for being here. <clears throat> welcome, welcome to the birthday stream, as it were. What was that? It's some new toys. <laughs> it's some new toys and Dre just triggered the first one. <laughs> new overlay. Yeah, we've got some new stuff going on. A few a few visual improvements and a few um, sound improvements. New overlay hype. No, Kev, not slam opposed to you because you put so many commas or dots in, I think. I apologise on behalf of Nutslammer. Even Nutslammer doesn't appreciate my birthday. Wow, so many happy birthdays. I can't read them all out. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you. You're here. That's the main thing. What's 14, Captain Flink? That is the number of months that Dr. Dre's been subbed. That's the 14. That's the number. So if the, if the name has got the squirrel icon, it has the number next to it, which is how many months they've been subbed. Like I say, new toys. New toy hype. Also, if you heard, you should probably have heard the first blood. That's the first delivery, and you should have heard Bullseye, because <laughs> Dre sent him $50, which is Bullseye. There's a few sound bites that trigger. So yeah, new toys. More, th more to come. Yeah, and the money as well. It shows in the amount now. It does indeed. It shows the amount. Um, right, I've got some anniversaries to read out here. Let me have a quick look. Uh, Morb VS, three months support. Simon D with 20 months. Embargate, 15 months. Trademark Gamer 2 with five months. Red Sly, 13 months. Kane Fenton, five months. LC Mortson, four months. Thank you very much, guys. Good morning, squirrel looking young capper. You need to drop the capper off that, Ali. <laughs> I'll be happy with the compliment, not the capper. Uh, Mr. Yamp Table, uh, happy 17th birthday, Paul. I turned 20 yesterday myself, so I'm way older than you. Man, 20? I can't even imagine what it's like to be 20. But I'll give you some time to catch up, lol. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Yamp Table. Can I tell you about the plane, Mr. Pink? Yeah, we'll get round to the plane shortly, sir. This is um, the patched 737. It's had a patch release for it. Fixes some issues. So we're going to take her up again. We're going to fly the route that I'm flying tomorrow in real life. Excellent. Mr. Barberstig, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear squirrel, a.k.a. Paul. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> I'm not singing that. You can get Steve to sing it, though, later. All right, Steve? Thank you, Barberstig. It is the 737 Classic, is exactly what it is. And I've set it to Sunrise at Gatwick, I thought it'd look nice. Did you know that your birthday is one day before the Dutch Kings? I did not know that. Ken Shaw, happy birthday Paul, thank you Ken Shaw. Appreciate that. World of Madness, 17 months, rank 84, 13, thank you guys. Paul, you're 17, I was 55 on the 13th. Nice one, Cricketer. Happy happy 55th for the 13th. Nice new overlay. You like it, Woody? Are you enjoying your birthday so far? Um, <laughs> I got woken up at 7.30 this morning <laughs> by the family. I got to bed at 2 o'clock or something daft, and I, I, I got woken up at 7.30. It was like, oh. And they went, happy birthday, Dad. Like, here's your cards. Here's your presents. Can you read your cards out? So I'm opening cards up, and uh, my eyes take about five minutes just to sort of properly get into focus. And I'm like this, going, <laughs> rubbing sleep out my eyes. I can't focus on this. Oh, man, it was funny. 
See, so, yeah, I got woken up, and then I went back to sleep for an hour, and then I got out of bed. <laughs> It's raining outside. It's actually quite nice here. It's been raining this morning, but it's quite it's gone sunny again now. I've just um the postman just kept just um turned up. And oh I didn't know it did that. Oh cool. Oh nice. The postman just turned up and I ordered something off eBay a couple of days ago. And go. You know the sign I put on my door? Yeah, you know the sign I put on my door? I um I have to blue tack the sign on, and it's getting annoying with all the blue tack. So I found a place on eBay that did little signs, and so I had to. Let me just show you this. Oh, do you know what? I think I've not changed that overlay. Yeah, wait a sec. Let me fix that one. All the over overlays are broken. <laughs> um, let's go there. There we go. All my overlays have changed. Including like the welcome ones broken and everything. Oh no. Everything's broken. Oh man. Sorry, I forgot to fix these. Um That's probably about right-ish. Uh, squirrel cam. I'm going to have to fix these later. Okay, I don't know. It's all broken. It's all broken. Anyway, look. <laughs> See the train's coming in twice now. <laughs> I'm going to have to fix this later. I forgot about all the different overlays. Happy birthday, Paul. I'm working from home today, uh, so I should be able to enjoy the whole stream. Keep up the good work. Thank you very much, Big Red. Uh, I bought, Basically, I got these signs made, right? So one says streaming, one says recording, and one says streaming, if I can get them the right way around. And then they have a little hole at the top there, and then you get this little sticker, uh, and you... you pull the end off and then you put that through there like that and then you put that in there like this and then you have a little sticky thing that says streaming so i can now put that on the door along with the recording one just stick it on the door actually i put it the wrong way haven't i, I need to put it the other way you can't hear the voice you what you can't hear the voice really can nobody else hear the voice Is it too quiet? We can make it louder. I didn't want it to be too loud, that's the only thing. So yeah, broken overlay hype. No, it's not me that can hear. They're on about the um they're on about the annou the announcer thing. You heard the voice. Okay. Was it clear enough? Is it is it loud enough? Not really clear enough. Not really clear. No, it's not my voice. Not my voice. The announcer. What voice? Okay, that's worrying. <laughs> um, can we make it a little bit louder, Mr. D, if that's possible? So, yeah, I was going to fashion my own thing out of a paperclip, but I don't need to. The number beside the name, Ali, is the number of months they've been subscribed. So, Fatty has been sub 27 months. See? That's how it works. Uh, Fatty89, hello Paul, it's a really special day today, and you know why? No, why is it a special day? You bought a new bicycle, <laughs> and you're having waffles later, jealous much? This day could be much better, alright, happy birthday, <laughs> thank you Fatty. <laughs> uh, enjoy your waffles, sir. Uh, hang on, I need to put the, um... I'm in a bit of a rush this morning, I'll be honest with you guys. I only just got live on time. But I need to put some of these wax strip things into my on my brace to stop it digging into my face. Because I do talk a lot when I'm streaming and, and the metal rubs. So I need to put a couple of bits of wax here. 
Simon2604, hi Paul, happy birthday to you. What a coincidence that it's my birthday as well. Happy birth, good luck with the birthday stream. Simon, happy birthday to you as well. So lucky Steam told me you were streaming. I have a schedule as well, you can check. Schedule.squirrel.tv, so you can see when I'm going live. And then Steam, and then Twitter, and then Twitch, hopefully, sometimes. Out of all the announcers, Twitch is the most unreliable. <laughs> Will you fly or not today? Yep, we'll fly shortly. Let me just put that wax into my face. <laughs> you have braces? Yep, yeah, I have braces. The thing is, they're, uh, they're like white blocks, so you can't really see them. There we go. That's better. That's more comfortable. <laughs> uh, I'm going to continue with Sherlock later, King Hilarious. I've got a few games lined up for today. We're going to start off with a flight. So we'll get the complicated thing out of the way whilst I'm still awake here. And then later on we're going to change to some different games. I've got a few games that I'm thinking of playing. So yeah, Sherlock is, is on the list for a bit of Sherlock today. Uh, Dead Mouse, happy birthday, Paul. Thanks for being awesome. Uh, so glad to be part of this community. Hope you have a great stream and see you and hopefully lots of other nutters at Truckfest, Nut House for Life. Indeed, Nut House, it's going to be a good day. Truckfest, it's going to be good. Simon D, happy birthday, Paul. Have a great stream and a day. I have to get back to work. Oh, no, Simon. Have a good day at work. Maybe catch you later, sir. Thank you very much for the uh, delivery. I think you just got a bullseye, didn't you? <laughs> Thank you, Simon. Um, service the Burr, happy birthday Paul, hope you have a good one. Late delivery because someone pulled out the router plug <laughs> while cleaning. Good luck with the burst history. <coughs> I'm guessing it wasn't you, Servius. I'm guessing it wasn't you, sir. You like it, jumper table? Somebody pulled out the router plug. Oh my god, can you not put a sticker on it saying do not unplug? Uh, Port Vale 1994 PVFC. Happy birthday, Paul. I've been watching for a year now. Have a good birthday, bro. First delivery as well. Thank you, Port Vale. Thank you very much for that, sir. Right, we are flying today from Gatwick to Geneva. And the reason is, is because in 12, 24 hours' time, I will be in Geneva. Uh, I will have taken this flight tomorrow morning. So I thought we'd fly it. I don't think I'm in a 737 tomorrow. I think I'm in an Airbus A320 or possibly a 21. I'm not sure. I think it's a 320. Uh, Simulation King. A little bit too many symbols for Not Summer. I think purged it. But thank you very much. Enjoying a stream with a pot of noodles. Why not, Bonzu? Why not? David Meets 4. Happy birthday, Paul. Uh, happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear Squirrel, hate to see what you got for the 180 score. <laughs> I haven't actually got one for that, happy happy 17th dear Squirrel, I haven't got one for that Dave. No. It's not, it's not actually, in fact the 51 is the only darts reference in there to be honest, but there are a few. Twitch TV 810, happy birthday Squirrel, at work today. Uh, missing the whole stream? No! So I'll have to watch the VOD later. Did you try the Yorkshire Leaf? Oh, I've not tried it yet, Twitch TV. No, I've still got the bag right here next to me. I haven't tried it. I will, I promise. Have a great day and enjoy your trip tomorrow, Miss T. Thank you, Miss T. Have a good day. Sorry you can't watch. <laughs> ATS multiplayer. <laughs> Bango. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? The carnage. Mr. Icliff. Uh, hi, Paul. Happy birthday to you. And this rather chilly. Yeah, it is rather chilly in the south. Also, are you streaming Farming Sim on Friday? No. I changed the schedule, Icliff. It wasn't meant to say Farming Sim. That was a copy pasta. Uh, too busy discussing it when practicing yesterday, Kappa. <laughs> no, I, what I did was I copy Thursday to Friday and I forgot to change the game. So the, the game and the time on Friday are still up in the air. I'm not sure yet. You just hired me in ATS. 
Thank you, bird dog. Thank you, Insane Clown. So many happy birthdays, guys. I can't answer them all. Thank you so much. Just being here and, and wishing me happy birthdays enough for me. Thank you very much. Steve! Steve-o! Just hit 100. <laughs> oh, my God, you nutter! Steve! Happy birthday, sir. Awesome content, 100% of the time. Have a good one and enjoy. Steve-o! Thank you very much. That's all I can say. Thank you very much, sir. Appreciate that. He, uh, Steve just triggered the 100 one anyway. This is a different message, I think. <laughs> give me them nuts. Resume sub. Thank you. Th give me them nuts for your continued support. Mr. Firefighter. Happy birthday. I too had a birthday. Only, only mine was early. My official birthday is in May. <laughs> Leaving this Sunday to go to Wales for holiday and to get out of this crazy country known as the USA. It's not that bad. Thank you, Firefighter. Thank you, Kelly. You only just heard the uh, top... It was Top Gun voice, wasn't it? Not Top Dog. Turn it up a wee bit more, Dre, apparently. You need to, you need to tune it up a bit more, Dre. Yeah, I think the 100... I'm trying to remember the levels now. 100 is Top, top Gun, I think. I think Steve just hit Top Gun. <laughs> Should we start and set up this aircraft? It has been patched since yes. Um, it got patched yesterday, and they fixed a lot of the issues that we've been having. Uh, one of the notable issues is the if you use the RTH plugin like I do, uh, it basically fixes the the lighting problem that we had. So the overhead panels were not showing the the lights and stuff. As you can see, they're now showing the lights, which is uh, incredibly helpful as it happens. So we've got that now. Uh, I think I'm just going to turn my track IR off one second. Uh, just to make it so I can look around whilst clicking buttons and stuff. Without the camera going everywhere. You passed your driving test, Farm Legend. Congrats. What gate, what stand am I at? Uh... 56 I think is it 56 I don't know if it's written on this one no I think it was 56 uh, you can kind of see where it is just from the round the back of the terminal here it's round the back I haven't got any AI um, aircraft installed yet I need to get that done I think it's 56 let me have a look at the Let me have a look at the uh, the chart for this. Uh, thank you, Ronnie Pack. You sent your driving wheel and warranty. I think I'm going to play flight sim instead. <laughs> Hang on. Let's, let's have a look at the charts for. Uh EGKK APC charts looks like 37, 36, yeah, 36 by the look of it is where we're at. Port Vale 1994 PVFC, thank you very much for subscribing. Welcome to the house. Thank you for supporting the stream. Port Vale, appreciate your support. Lovely, nutty welcome, everyone. Uh, it's a 737 300 firefighter, not the 400. Excellent. Yeah. Uh, Cherryhead124, happy birthday, mate. First, you got me into trucks, then buses, trains, <laughs> ships, and now planes. Oh, my God. Lots of things bought, money well spent. Have a splendid day. Thank you, Cherryhead. I'm sorry you spent so much money on Sims. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, Paul Waddy, what kind of... Um, I've got a few games to play. I've not decided what order or specifically which one. What I'm going to do is... I'm going to make this flight, and then we'll make a decision on the next thing. But I don't want to get into the, oh, will you play OMSI, will you play Bus Sim, will you play, you know, I, I don't want to get involved in that. I'll just play with whatever I feel like, if you see what I mean. Because, hey, it's my birthday, and I can play if I want to. <laughs> I need to change the delivery truck to a plane. That's probably a good idea. 
Hang on a sec. We can do that. We can do that. You are quite right. Let's put it to the 737. We are, after all, flying the 737, so why not? No, I'm not going to poll it, Bodder. That's exactly what I'm saying. That's exactly what I'm saying. I'm not going to poll it. I'm going to play what I want to play. And it'll be a surprise for you. <laughs> so you can have a birthday surprise on my birthday. Nice weather in the Netherlands. Uh, let me quickly have a look at the fuel situation. What have we got here? We need to have five and a half tons of release fuel. And we currently have just over five and a half, five point six actually. <coughs> She's fine. Uh, the clumsy geek. Happy birthday, Paul. I'm glad I could join your birthday stream as I am from Singapore and usually just watch your VODs due to the time zone differences. You're the main reason why I started playing ETS2. Vids, thank you very much. Thank you, Clumsy Geek. Glad you can watch live. Thank you, Looney. How does it feel to be 16, Grizzly? I'm not 16 anymore. I'm 17. I'm getting old. Excellent. It's ridiculous. I'm 17. I can't believe it. Butler Hives, happy birthday, Paul. Hope many years will come. You are an awesome person, Squirrel Love. Today is going to be awesome, and in advance, I wish you a lot of fun tomorrow. Nuthouse for life, door for mer, Kit Kat. <laughs> Kit Kat, he just thought he'd throw that in, Butler. Thank you, sir. <laughs> happy birthday, love your videos. Thank you, Warrior. I guess it doesn't help if you drop the filter cable in the water and break it. Doesn't sound good. Right, 5.5 .5 tons, we have 5.6. Uh, zero fuel weight needs to be 46.364. Let's bring that up. 46. Can I just dial that back with the keyboard? No, apparently not. Okay, that'll have to do. Packed. Why is it saying electric? Why is it saying electric? The APU generator is on, isn't it? I don't really know why it's saying electric. Hmm. The round switch next to the fire warning light puts the light above. The round switch next to the fire warning light. This one. Of this one. I thought that was... I thought that was... Isn't that the toga button? I'm just worried why it keeps coming up with a, a master caution of electric. I'm not really sure. Anyway, let's get down to the... The old CDU, get it programmed up. When you spell your Twitch name wrong and can't change it... Yeah, you can't change it. You have to create a new account. It's annoying, but that's the way it is. Okay, right. Oh, I need to go back for the zero fuel weight now. Dang it. Right, we have 5.6 tons of fuel. We have 46.30 fuel weights. So let's get that punched in. Wait, who just moved the camera? Forty-six point three reserves are final reserve one point one. Cruising altitude today is flight level three five zero. Wow, PFPX is just so original, so incredibly original. <laughs> Why is the countdown moved? What do you mean? What do you mean, sir? Sim's still cheaper than flying in real. <laughs> kind of. I can fly to Geneva and back for £50. What does that get me? That gets me one aircraft. <laughs> do we have nuts on this flight? I don't know. I'm not serving. You need to ask the caterers. What's the cruise wind? Um, cruise wind is... Wow, it's cold up there. Minus 52. 284 at 074. 84 slash 
Excellent. 74. Apparently the OAT works now as well. Minus 53. That's actually... That's actually about right. So that's now working. Which is good. Karok, happy birthday, Paul. <laughs> Thank you very much, Karok. Plans for Geneva. Just going to uh, enjoy the city. I've only got a day, though. Um, I've worked out where the tourist information office is. So you come out of Geneva. You can get a free train. Uh, be apparently, before you leave the airport at Geneva, you can pick up a free ticket that will take you to the train station. So I'm going to take the train down to the train station, and then... About a five minute walk from the train station is the tourist information office and they've got like a website and stuff. But if you go down there, they've got loads to do. They've got, you know, museums, like day passes for the buses, uh, boat trips, just all kinds of stuff. So I'm just going to see what the weather's like and then kind of wing it from there, really. Excellent. Right, 6,000 transition. Apparently his name's not Paul, it's Powell. <laughs> Visit CERN. I've only got a day. Simon Leamington, happy birthday. Uh, hi, Paul. Happy 17th birthday. You don't look a day older than 16, sir. Anyway, I hope, you, uh, hope you're having a super day. Did you get any good presents? Are you looking forward to your trip tomorrow? I am looking forward to my trip tomorrow. In terms of presents, I got one good one. And then the rest was fluff. So I got like pajamas, socks, underwear, slippers. Actually, I didn't put my new slippers on. Oh well. Um, and then I got one goodie, which is a Cessna flight. As in, I, I fly the Cessna. Yeah. So I get a Cessna flight anytime I like. I just need to book it in. So I'm going to wait till the weather's a bit nicer and then book it in. Mr. Icliffe, um, by the way, what is uh, the excellent voiceover for? The, what is it for? Uh, just a bit of a laugh, really, Icliff, to be honest with you. Just a bit of fun. Nothing nothing else, just a laugh. Why not? Because why not? Uh, Sauron's Hot Dogs. <laughs> Sauron's Hot Dogs. Oh, God. What a name. Thank you for subscribing and welcome to the Nut House. Thank you for supporting the stream. Lovely nutty welcome for Sauron's Hot Dogs. That's an insane name, dude. Try to record the flight. Um, I, I can take the camera and do a bit of it, I guess. I could do the takeoff, maybe. I think the um, the return's going to be quite late. It'll be at, at night time, but certainly the flight out should be morning. Oh, can you vlog the Cessna flights, Byron? I, I don't know. I don't know if, if I can take the uh, GoPro in there and everything like that. I'm not sure. <clears throat> Adam Thwaite, 15 months. Lord Detro with four months. Thank you, guys. However, the Cessna, right, the Cessna is apparently a four-seater Cessna. So that implies I could take two passengers, like Mrs. Squirrel, and they could hold the camera, maybe. I don't know. The scope there, isn't there? The scope. Happy birthday from Western Australia. 1735, though. What is it, um, Tuesday evening? I guess. What am I doing? Um, I need to punch in the... That's outside our temperature today. Performance-wise, we're going to derate down to 40. I'll do... Let's get the departure done. Let's get my route. Where's my route? There it is. Uh, hello? Uh, hello? <laughs> That's interesting. Why can I not use my departure airport? <laughs> I haven't put the route in! Because I'm a spanner, I'm not paying attention. E.G. KK. It would help if I put the reason, wouldn't it? Um, to LSGG. GG being the operative word. 
flight number. Now, I was going to be Swiss Air, but I don't have a skin for it, so I'm going to have to change it to British Airways. So it will be British Airways 433 today. Uh, we don't have a coal route. The, the runway is runway 27 right. I really hope it doesn't balk when I put this in. It did last time. Not in database. Alright. Oh, what the... What the heck? I generated the wrong plan? I generated Heathrow? What an idiot? Oh my god. There is no 27 right. That's why. Right, we're going to have to quickly knock up another route, guys, which might mean a change in fuel and stuff. Yeah, exactly. There's no 27 right at Gatwick. <laughs> I just realised I punched in the wrong flight plan into the PFPX. Don't! Delhound 5.1. Happy birthday again, Paul. I hope you uh, had and will be having a stunning birthday. But the hives made me think to spend this money on some Kit Kats, but I think there's a better way of spending it. I'll find a way. Don't worry, Delhound. Thank you. I've got enough chocolate for a lifetime. A Love, 16 months support. Thank you, A Love. Let's go for a new flight here. Uh, yeah. It's all going super. It was a bit of a rush job, to be fair. EGKK to uh, LSGG. Let's plan that flight. Uh, let's go for upper airspace. Let's edit that. What? It did this last time? Like, what the heck is this? Seriously, what is PFPX doing? I didn't just have one job, William. I had about 10 jobs this morning. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> Lotus Skills, 19 months. Thank you, Lotus Skills. Um, this is like... I don't know what PFPX is doing, but this is just absolute nonsense. Like, who would fly and then turn back? What the heck is that? Seriously, what the heck is that? <laughs> I think after rest me, we should go direct somewhere. Uh, Melmo is the... TRO is the... Yeah, why is it doing that? Does anybody else use PFPX? No. Like, if you fire up your PFPX and then put in EGKK to LSGG, do you get that? It makes no sense. that No, mountains are irrelevant at 35,000 feet. <laughs> Click find route upper airspace. I did. I did. If you look. I did that. Find upper airspace route. If you find a lower, you end up with a completely different route. If you click find upper, you end up with that route. Which makes no sense. Thank you, Hellraiser. No, Kings Asian. You only get discounts on the peripherals. The actual motherboards and monitors and stuff, the, the margins are very small already. I can... Oh, Cuddly Chops, hang on. Let me just... Hey, guys, can you wish Cuddly Chops happy birthday? It's Cuddly Chops' birthday. I need to change something so I can see his name properly. Let me change your name to Red, sir. I can edit the route down the bottom, though. But the point is, I don't understand why it's doing it. Um, Cuddly Chops... Can you believe it's his birthday? It's outrageous. It's outrageous. Same birthday as me. It's just not allowed. Um, there we go. Okay. I should now see your name in red. <clears throat> it's buffering. Uh, Neil Caffrey, I think 
Well, that depends on the ARAC data. So if the ARAC data like puts a restricted area over like war zones on st or something like that, then it'll fly around them. But to be fair, it usually does. Like nobody wants to fly over a war zone. Another route for you. Where's that going? You get this, DR, DVR-8V. You get a completely different route. That is bizarre. What, for a 737-300 you get that? EJKK to LSGG. That is freaky. Hang on. I have no idea why you get a completely different route. Oh, why is it not slammer? Not slammer's purging stuff. I just punched in your root, Cuddly, and it came up with... It, it kind of edited it. <laughs> if I'm honest, it did that with it, but... Let's see what we get. Let's just pick a star. We're going to go south. That looks like a nicer route, doesn't it? Um, a star that comes in from the northwest. Looks fine to me. What?! Ah, the star makes it kink like that. Hmm. Hang on. Is there a different star? Okay, that's pretty horrendous. I think what it is, Cuddly, because if you come in... Right, can we just get Not Slammer to stop timing out Cuddly? <laughs> the routes from PFPX are rubbish. <laughs> I'm beginning to think they are, to be honest. <clears throat> I might take that one and get a nice scenic flight in, but I mean that is a bit that's a bit far that is. That is a bit far. Look at that. We got all the way into Switzerland. That's insane. Going down two three. So you could take that one, but we'll kind of miss the lake the lake approach quite a bit. Although actually, that's not a bad approach for a bit of visual. It is a bit going down to Belus is a bit annoying, but if you look at this, we'll have the airport on our left. We'll we'll fly by, bank into the uh, lake, and then come down. That could be quite fun. Does Topcat work with X-Plane? Topcat um, just generates performance data, so it works with, with any... whatever. If you if you pick the aircraft, it'll be fine. <clears throat> it just gives you performance data. Take the one in the Swiss mountains. I don't know. Do you not think that's more fun? Rather than... Which one was it? That one. So that one's like... And then back again. It's quite a... It's got to be about 80 miles swing, that has. <clears throat> you can land VFR and cut the corner. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, missed some messages here. Um, what did we have? Simon Leamington. Hang on, I've missed a few, haven't I? Simon Leamington, hey Gunpoint, well I hope you ha have fun on your little plane. Why are you now displaying the value of donations you receive? Hope you're playing some more games today. x -Plane is not my favourite. I'm playing a few different games, Simon. Reason to display the donation is transparency, nothing else. Uh, Jeff, 3163, 13 months. Thank you, Jeff. Lotus Skills, hey Paul, happy birthday, young man. One more year and you can buy a beer. <laughs> are you at Truck Fest on Sunday? No, on Monday. I'll be, su I'll be doing Sunday night trucking on Sunday. If so, I will try and find you. Looking forward uh, to going. Just hoping the weather is good. Me too, Lotus. But it's not looking good on the forecast. Andy, M71. I use the Simbrief website. It's free and uses flight plans. Try the flight plan. Blah, 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 blah. Thank you, Andy. I, I think there's a bunch of flight plans we could try. And 
I, you know, I, I generated it on onlineflightplanner.org and it has a completely different route to PFPX. PFPX seems to be going crazy these days. I just don't understand it. Fused84. Happy birthday, Paul. Post office didn't have a PO box form which is needed otherwise because otherwise they mess up the delivery like last time. Parcel loss. So my gift for you will be sent next week. Not a problem, Fused. Not a problem at all, sir. Thank you very much. Slow LUFC, six months, and give me them trucks, six months. I'm up to date now. Yay! You're going to Legoland, Woody. Nice one, dude. Let's go with that. Let's go scenic. I don't know what approach we're going to get in real life, but let's just uh, let's just get up in the air, shall we? <clears throat> seven three seven three hundred. Can I ask it for a maximum flight level three four zero, possibly? Let's just make sure it's kept that. Yeah, it has. Randomize the payload. <clears throat> You need to update the Roots database. We're on, we're on Air Rack 1604. Nav data 1604, which is the most recent, I believe. Mrs. Don't. Oh, Mrs. Don't. Happy birthday, Paul. Have a good day. Can't wait to meet you on Monday. Yay, Mrs. Don't. Looking forward to it. Meeting you and Pringle. And uh, you're, bringing the, you're bringing Nell, the dog. You can meet, uh, meet Doyle. Thank you very much, Mrs. Don't. Appreciate that. Serbian GSXR, 18 months support. Thank you, Serbian. PS4 Gamer 2, happy birthday, Squirrel. Keep up the great work. Thank you, PS4. Exuna, two year anniversary. Exuna, happy anniversary and thank you for two years of awesomeness. That is amazing. <clears throat> right, what am I doing here? Compute flight. Let's do this. <clears throat> Steeler Boy. Happy birthday, Paul. Just dropped into the nuthouse during my lunch break at work. Have a good day, dude. See you later, hopefully, Steeler Boy. Thank you. Print that flight plan off. PDF. Uh, oh, nice. Save. Right, hopefully the fuel isn't far off. Oh, man, release fuel six tons now. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Right, we need to punch in three tons in each tank. Sounds like a cine projector in this uh, cabin, doesn't it? 3013, and then zero fuel weight is 46.2. Fly. So, of course, that's messed everything up. 46.3, zero fuel weight, 1.1 reserve, is that right? 1.1 reserve. Yep, that's actually fine. 1.1 reserve. Cruise today, is that the same? Wow, cruise is now 230. Blimey. <clears throat> the winds have changed as well. 276 at. Sorry, 274 at 078. 274 at 078. Okay. Let's see if we can get anywhere with our route this time. <clears throat> We're getting there. Yeah, it is an odd flight level, isn't it? I, I'm just got, I'm getting close to giving up on PFTX these days. I, I have no idea what kind of nonsense it's, it's spitting out. <clears throat> TF25131, 11 months support. Thank you, TF. Pringles Leaf, happy birthday, Paul. Well, the bullseye as well. <laughs> oh my god, Pringle. Thank you very, very much, Pringle. Appreciate that, sir. Uh, Curious Orange. Happy birthday, Paul. Thanks for all the awesome streams and videos. Enjoy your trip tomorrow. Thank you, Curious Orange. I shall certainly enjoy my day off. <laughs> Although I'll be very tired at the end of it. I'm looking forward to it. Right. 2-6 right. 2-6 right. Yeah, we've got a runway this time. <laughs> Let's depart out of the Bogner 1 Victor. 2 6 right. Wait, what? No SIDS? Why are there no SIDS?
Mr. Icliff, uh, hi Paul, very very glad that you will be attending Truck Fest on Monday. I will also be going, so, uh, so we'll keep an eye out for you. Now stop emptying my bank account, Kappa. Icliff, I'm going to tweet out. Um, two six left, quickly. I'm going to tweet out um, like a meeting point or something. You reckon that'll fix it, Cuddly? No. Yes, I have the latest error rack. I have 1604. I, I ran FF, FMS Data Manager and made sure before I started. 264 right is now a taxiway in real life. Somebody tell PFPX. Because <laughs> it clearly doesn't know. It doesn't know about SIDS either. What the heck is going on? This has been patched. This has been hot fixed. I'm wondering if it's broken something. You kick yourself out of the stream, Mrs. Don't. <laughs> mm. I did reboot it. I have restarted X Plane. I'm wondering what it can be. Let's see if the stars are in though, right? I'm going to punch the root in. Let me punch the root in. And if it doesn't have the stars either, I'm going to back out, run FMS Data Manager, update it, and see if it fixes it. That's about the best I can do. Uh, game Mod Reviews with a resume sub. Thank you, Game Mod Reviews. <coughs> Thank you for continued support. Go for a visual. <laughs> um, yeah, actually, I don't know where it wants to go now. It's going to have to go direct to Bogner, isn't it? Oh, well. Let's go direct to Bogner. L612 to Benbo. Oh, I should have put Benbo in first. And then, wait, what? Hang on a minute, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. It generated a 330. It did. That wind was a 330. It started off as a two a two three zero, and then it became a three three zero at Bembo. Interesting. A bit too fast for you. How are you doing, sir? Uh, happy birthday, Paul. Hope you have a great day. Thanks for sharing your day with us, nutters. I will be watching all day. Enjoy Geneva tomorrow. You deserve it. Thank you. A bit too fast. If you get the charts of the SID, you can input the SID manually into the CDU. How? How do you do that? Which one was it? It was the Bog N1 Victor. That's the Bogner 1X. To be honest, I'm more worried about why it's not working. Yeah, we could punch all those waypoints in to get us to Bogner. There's like three or four waypoints. Try typing the SID into the via side may work. Well, let's try it then. I doubt it. Bog N1 Victor. Nope, don't like that. That's a big fat nope! <laughs> Can you play Pong on this? I doubt it. Right, Bembo. After Bembo, we'll go UL612. <clears throat> now we go down to Rest Me. Then UM9 Fire. UM975. To Lussar. 
I should have just co rooted this if it had been thinking straight. And then direct to Benot. Now oh, then, is it? Ah, it's got the stars. Interestingly, it's got the stars. Doesn't have the SIDs, though. What are we coming in on? We're coming in on runway 23 on the Benno 1 Romeo. Runway 23. The Benno 1 Romeo star. Okay, it's not so bad. That ain't too bad. Oops, wrong one. <laughs> We've got the star, we just don't have the Sid. <laughs> Excellent. Um, right, I've missed some messages again. John Marcus Evans, happy birthday, Paul. Uh, fantastic streamer, fantastic guy. Thank you for all you do. Thank you, John Marcus. First delivery as well. Dimple Addict, happy birthday, dude. Wish you had a good day and keep being an awesome guy. Thanks for being a role model to me, Paul, by far the greatest streamer and YouTuber. Oh, thank you, Dimple Addict. That's very kind of you. Thank you for that. The Hellraiser, happy birthday, Paul. I hope you enjoy your mugs and don't eat all them schmackos all at once. <laughs> thank you, Hellraiser. I'll try not to eat those schmackos. Pringle, just thought I would give you a little more as you're now 17. Oh, is that my pocket money going up, Pringle? You need all the money now to find a place of your own and pay the bills. Are you kicking me out? I have some furniture that you can have to get you started. Thanks, Pringle. Thanks for that. I'll, I'll, I think he's trying to get rid of me. May you ask, is it snowing anywhere in the UK? I don't know, Leaky. Have a look at the forecast. It's not snowing where I am. Let's have a quick view of this funny disco uh what okay i think i need to be zoomed out a bit more <clears throat> yeah you look at that wow we <laughs> that's gonna be fun very very nice long approach okay that's fine i mean that the route's fine itself it's a bit of a scenic flight but whatever so the uh, the route is in we punched in the n1 data i think we're almost ready for a push back and start aren't we The round switch will turn on the reading light above the switch. Well, this one. This one turns the, the brightness of the of the light. Yeah, you can only just see it, though. See, I keep getting this Master Caution Electric. I honestly don't know why. <clears throat> right, now let's see if we get this stuff correct. Because you remember, on this bad boy, we've got to punch in the altitude. So we're going to go all the way up to 33,000. So we'll get that punched in like that. Um, cabin altitude. Now we've got 33 is 6.4 by the look of it. The cabin pressure is going to be, according to that chart, 6.4. There we go. Uh, the landing altitude we don't need to worry about just yet. At what does anybody know? At what point do we flick that into flight mode? Do we do it like before takeoff or as part of the um, part of the startup flows or something? 100k or bust at seven months support. Thank you, 100k. Indeed, Gandalf, new layout. There's a new coast to coast map, but it's still boring. Yeah, that's going to be the case for a while, I think. Before takeoff, that shouldn't be on. Get off. That should be on. Okay. You think it's after takeoff? I need to read the manual. <laughs> 
quite obviously I need to read the manual. Um, anything else to do here, apart from all this stuff, which we can do in a second? Where's the sun now? Let's get, get rid of the stairs. And we'll bring up the Tugmaster thing. I can break his set. Thank you for your happy birthday uh, well wishings, guys. I can see them all. I really appreciate them. I can't respond to all of them, but thank you so much. What is 18? What does 18 mean, Leaky? Uh, that means Pringle's 18. No, it means he's been sub for 18 months. If you see the squirrel icon and the number, it means that's how many months have been subbed. Try to plug in your departure again. Why? We're all set up. Can I move the G2A? Uh, I can't move the G2A. I can move me. Does that help? <laughs> no, I can't move the G2A around. Actually, the G2A should be sat. I'm gone. G2A should be sat there like that. So in theory, I should be behind G2A like that. That's what it should be. Like I say, I have been messing about with the overlay. And um, I expect the stream close overlay will be broken as well. We're in x -plane. <clears throat> No way am I 17. How do you know x -boy? Maybe I had a hard life. Thank you, Slim Jim. Thank you, Jim. <laughs> Happy birthday. Greetings from Jim. How are you? Not spoke to you in a very long time. True Serium from Marilyn Monroe. Happy birthday, Mr. Squirrel. I'm not doing that voice. That ain't happening. Moon or bust, Lydia hates me. Thank you, True Serium. The white line over G2A. What are you talking about? Oh, that? No, that's on the cockpit. What are you face palming for? You should face palm yourself, dude. That's actually on the cockpit, though. Can you see it? Face palm, white line. What's that on my top? <laughs> You're the first person that asked. You're the first person that asked. I'm wearing my. I'm wearing my. It's my birthday badge. Just so you know, in Twitch's theatre mode, the G2A sits behind the conversation icon. Well, get out of theatre mode and stop being posh. Very well, thank you. My son likes watching your sea battles in the bath. <laughs> nice. That's a good one. <laughs> Brilliant. ZX Spectrum came out in 82. I did five years for a memory, lol. <laughs> I like the way you're thinking that one through. Alright, let's get us started, shall we? Let's get some pushback here. Uh, let's call that in. <clears throat> right, let's get the lights on. Um, fasten seatbelt signs can go on. No smoking is already on. Do you know how to put the emergency lights on on the 737? Apparently not. Theatre mode equals posh. Exactly. Very posh. I don't know the starter procedure order on this thing. Do we pull all these on before we do start engines? Or do we start engines first? I need to check the... Uh, I need to check the startup procedure on this thing. Okay, we want to go at least the parking brake. And we shall get engine. Oh, come on. X camera. 
Let's go to ground. Oh, other left. No, other left. work just about to see the taxi line here all these little pop-up things look I hate the way it pops up wherever you put your mouse it's kind of inconvenient I'll put that over here I think Happy birthday, Paul. The only man I know has kids older than himself, Boomleaf. Lol. <laughs> hey, it's possible. Just want to make sure this thing doesn't screw up. Parking brake set. Let's unlock that. Let's get that to ground. Get the track out back on. You need to go away. Okay. Rip nose wheel. Thanks. Thanks for that. Appreciate that. How long does it fly? It's about 90 minutes. Engines are stabilizing. Okay. And engine power. APU bleed can come off. Excellent. Let's get some aircon going. Should have already put the anti-collision light on. Naughty, naughty. <clears throat> Mr. Rose, happy birthday, Paul. I'm homesick. Oh, no, with the cold. It's very annoying, but the positive is that I can watch you all day if I don't fall asleep. <laughs> I hope you have an awesome 17th birthday. Thank you, Mr. Rose. Sorry you're not feeling well. Port Vale, 1994. Here's another donation, Paul. Have an awesome day. Thank you very much, Port Vale. What does a PVFC stand for in your name? Is that Port Vale Football Club? Port Vale, 1994 Port Vale Football Club. It's got to be, hasn't it? It's got to be. Uh, let's check this. Fuel pumps are on. That's now off. Can come off. Um, rammer door open. That doesn't look good. Is that normal? Is it normal for the rammer door to be open? Doesn't sound good to me. Put the logo light on for a laugh. That's normal. Okay, Steve. Tar. Uh, right. We've got an initial altitude of. 5,000. Right, one second, let me bring a chart up here. Two, five, nine degrees. Um, what was our V-speeds? I didn't actually pay attention to that. 
Flaps 5, trim 4.8, which we need to set, and 142. Okay, MCP has been set. Cool. Vision light on. Heater heats are on. NC ice is actually. What is the temperature here? I think we will have some anti ice. Isolation valve to auto, and just starts continuous. Recall has not been checked. It has now clear both sides. And just start leaves the idle flight control. Excellent. Go away. <laughs> right, let's taxi. Should have brought up the runway. One second. Okay, so we are here. We're going to taxi to. Did we go two six right or left? We went to left, didn't we? Ugh. Okay. Go around Lima. Turn right up here to. Straight down. Hang a left. Nasty. Uh, T. Jalft. 1984, happy birthday, Paul. I hope you have a great day. Thank you very much, T. Jelf. How do you say your name? T. Jelf. T. Jelf. I don't know how to say your name. I'll be honest with you. Thank you for your support and, and happy birthday. Greetings. Glomark, I'm not going to start messing about showing my um, X plane settings right now. Thank you. Please stop spamming that. <laughs> TF25131, dear Mr. Squirrel, a quick note to wish you happy birthday. I uh, hope your year ahead is a good one. Uh, thanks for continuing such excellent, fantastic broadcaster, your legend. Oh, thank you, TF. Thank you for that. I'm not that excellent. <laughs> They've adjusted the um, the nose wheel settings on this thing. It used to be super twitchy, but now it's not. It's fine. It's quite gentle now. What controller? I've got the Thrustmaster Warthog um, Hotess. And I've got MFG crosswind rudder pedals. That's what I'm using. Don't forget the start time. That's a good idea. Where's the um, where's the chrono in this thing? There. Okay. That's the chrono, right? Paul is a man, a legend, a Steve in his horse. <laughs> you what, mate? Hellraiser, the, the pedals are amazing. The MFG crosswinds are amazing, dude. They're so good. It's a very dark morning. See you later, Dave. Do they normally go anti-clockwise around these taxiways or clockwise, I wonder? Given it's the UK, I'm going to guess this way. Right, I need to make sure I don't get lost here. I think we go straight down. And then it kind of veers left onto Alpha Sierra. Apparently, okay, colour me confused here. 
That's two six left ahead for a short takeoff. But according to these charts, we should be able to turn left though. Hmm. Uh, Jim Bob, I got the new sound pack that you sent me, and I went into sound engines, moved the ones that were there out of the way, brought in the new ones, and it didn't do anything. I honestly don't know what the heck. Yeah, I can see that um, take a left and then right quickly, but like the lines are not on the floor. You know what I mean? I was expect like according to the chart, there should be another line here, and there just isn't one. She's a bit confusing to say the least. No, I think the um, the free scenery for this thing is has not got the correct taxiways, really. I think that's what's going on. There's a taxiway. That one's on the chart. But the one that leads here... I don't know. Yeah, that's what I was... Yeah, Alpha November, I saw. There was no Alpha Sierra, though. That's what I was going for, Alpha Sierra. And I could only get Alpha November. But I passed Al Alpha November looking for Alpha Sierra, and it wasn't there. <laughs> I'm not lost. There's just no line on the floor. <laughs> Anonymous, good afternoon, my Lord Squirrel. Happy birthday. Hope you have a great day. All the best. Thank you very much, Anonymous. Whoever that was from. Appreciate that. Okay. Okay, ground button apparently does that. Ten button does that, so I don't know how it is signal. We'll just do that. Now then, we don't have an actual SID, so when we take off, if we engage the autopilot, it's just going to suddenly chuck us left. So what I might do is take off, uh, get the LNAV fired up at 1500, and then do a, a heading select and go steer it left and then engage the LNAV once we're on a rough track to the next waypoint we might have to just manually bring up bembo or something actually is that bogner or bembo i think that's bogner so if we start heading towards bogner and then engage elnav hopefully it'll pick it up we'll see Let's turn the game audio up a touch now all right let's do this Five. Thank you, M two eight. percent power something's beeping on us something's beeping on us what has been forgotten altitude set flight directors are on speed is set course is set brakes are on RTO flaps are on five spoilers are not armed no they are armed They are armed now. I don't think they were armed. Okay, it's still beeping at me. Tolga. Power is set. 80 knots. She's steering right a bit. That was a bit of a crosswind takeoff. Positive climb. Gear is coming up.
and start banking left. Okay, let's see if we can get the V nerve punched in. Let's get heading select going. Okay, let's go for LNAV. LNAV and VNAV. We're at 200. You can't actually open the doors, Mike. That's the sad thing. Oh, crap. Don't like that. I prefer a proper handle. <laughs> Okay, let's check the overhead. It's good, we'll take the engines off continuous. Bye bye Gatwick. Well, oh, my strobe lights are off. I forgot to put it on, didn't I? I forgot to put the strobe on, my bad. Okay, altitude 3400. Open the window, please. Why? <laughs> what good is that going to do? You don't have to arm the spoilers for takeoff on a Boeing. Why not? Why not exactly? Early morning takeoff. Look at that. Lovely. Okay, altitude is coming in at 19,000. Let's clear ourselves up to 18. Standard pressure is set. Excellent. Fluffy clouds, fluffy clouds. <laughs> I think there's a click spot to put the gear into the off position. Oh, John Fly, that would be lovely. Whereabouts is it? So I was one of them deployed, 9F armed on a Boeing during rejected takeoff. Okay, that's interesting. Good to know. I was actually trying to get rid of the buzzing, which I still didn't get rid of. You know the takeoff buzz? It didn't go even when I um, armed the spoiler. So I don't know what it was that was triggering that. Uh, Vinay Yaket, happy birthday Paul, many many happy returns today, love your awesome videos and streams, I'm a big fan of yours and keep up the great work, thank you uh, Vinay Yaket, and first delivery as well, appreciate that. Dovetail uploaded actual in-game video flight school game mode reviews, really? Uh, where, where do we find that? I'd like to see that, is that on the... Where is that? Um, YouTube. Dovetail. Games. Flight school. Twenty ninth of March. It's Motley's hanger. That's not it. What's their channel? That's got to be it, surely. No. Where is it? Where do we watch this? You don't arm the spoilers for takeoff. That's the Airbus. Somebody, uh, somebody, dig out a link for the uh, flight sim school thingy. I want to see it. Well, apparently they're saying it's a new one with video footage, not the old one. It's an unlisted video. Woody, have you got a link to it? If 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 so, permit Woody, and we'll have uh, we'll have a ganders. Ten k past. Time to get the lights off. 
Okay, I think we can let the passengers have a little stroll around. Yeah, Woody, I did say you need to get permitted first. <laughs> Right, here we go. Here we go. Let's have a look at this. Let's watch this together. Let's go 1080. Do Dovedale Games Flight School. This is an in cockpit look at the approach and landing. Is this a new one? 25th of April. Okay, you have control. I've flown this. I flew it at uh, Insomnia. This exact lesson. You have to go down here, bank left, and land. Believe it or not, you've already learned everything you need to know to land. You just need to put it all together. I'll walk you through it. We'll land on that runway, just off the left wing. First, we'll start descending. Then we'll make a left turn all the way around to line up with the runway. Good job holding heading, airspeed, and altitude. The secret to making a good landing is a stable approach. Remember, set the throttle control and leave it alone. Use pitch to control airspeed. What? Okay. <laughs> All right, it's time to start descending to the runway. Microsoft 2012 was better. I'm just looking at the text string down here. For a 2016 game, I would expect it to be like Ultra HD. This has got a decent frame rate. Do a barrel roll! <laughs> Wait, where is this? This guy's got to put a swimming pool down here, look. This is not England. Now turn left to 340 degrees. Be sure to maintain 55 miles per hour. Thank you, Ray Rat. It's got like 1.7 nautical miles off the base here. Yeah, the scenery is not bad. It's it's if you look closely though, the texturing is is like HD at best. But there's a lot of trees, and the trees are in sensible places with the houses, so that's not bad. Yeah, it's a video. I'm going to not full screen it so you can see. Go ahead and lower the flaps to 20 degrees. I need to increase my altitude on the MCP. I think it's Orbex scenery. I think they bought a license to put Orbex into the flight sim school and the latest flight sim thingy. Right on speed and glide slope. Very nice. From here, watch the numbers on the runway. Fly right at them. Maintain 50 and keep those numbers motionless on the windscreen. See the frame right then. You can see the frames doing the um, the uh, the snapping thing. Pull the power back to idle. Slowly raise the nose until we set Ouch. onto the runway. <laughs> Did you like having a spine? Mm. I mean, it's not bad, but for a 2016 brand new game, I don't know. It did bounce it a bit. He 
you're pretty glad you did not pre-order. Nah, I'm mostly done with pre-ordering stuff. If I'm honest with you. I'm just sick of being disappointed with pre-orders. There's not a lot of pre-order unless I, I'm pretty much certain it's going to be fantastic. I mean, you know, as a, as a product to get you into flight simming, I think it's going to work. You know, it's it, you, can, you can hear the narration going on there. It's very well... It tutors you in flying, which is what is going to get more people into flight simming. I think the expectation is you'll then go from that onto the flight simulator. That's obviously what they're trying to do. They're trying to bring new people into it and then push them upwards. Um, right, missed a few messages here. My bad. Um, Muttley, 99. Happy birthday, Paul, from the Nuthouse uh, Training Farm Admins. Thank you, Muttley. Thanks for all the support. Looking forward to many more streams and vids. Thank you very much, guys, for what you do. And thank you, Muttley. Uh, ask a van. Hello, Paul. I've never asked a van. Ask a van. Hello, Paul, and happy birthday. This is my first time sending a delivery. It is. And I have been watching for your streams for almost two years. Hopefully we'll sub soon. I like the new overlay. Yacht 2 Dolphin. Uh, thank you, Ask a van. First delivery hype. I'm going to try and get like a a thingy when you when you get a first delivery. Some kind of um, some kind of graphic. I'm not sure. Uh, Take on Mars, I played Talking Dragon. I played Take on Mars at least 12 months ago since I played it. And I don't know, it was alright, but it was a bit... <laughs> it didn't leave me wanting more when I tried it. Well, indeed, uh, Menu Dio, you've got to understand that... Dovetail are very much into DLC, paid DLC. That's how they make their money. And Flight Simulator is going to be no different. You can expect it to be no different. But then, if you're into Flight Sim in, you're kind of used to um, add-ons and DLCs anyway. Just that you tend to have to get it from 10 different manufacturers. Or developers, more technically. Check the numbers. 22,000 and climbing. It's all looking good. Almost at the top of climb, about 38 away. Have I seen the Frankfurt U Bahn DLC from Just Trains? U-Barn. Didn't I already cover the U-Barn from Just Trains, like, months ago on my YouTube? I'm pretty certain I did U-Barn DLC. I definitely streamed it when it came out. Unless there's a new one, I definitely did the old U-Barn. It's just started to snow where you are. <laughs> What's so bad about that? Denied. No, I won't be streaming until 12 hours today. I've got to be up super early tomorrow. I'll be finishing today at 9 o'clock. I guess you're all sitting there going, what the heck, why did it just say denied? It means the delivery train ended. <laughs> did you not see the delivery train message go away? Denied. Why is that noise? Uh, if, if you have free time, can you take Doyle round? What? As if.
Oh no, it's a repetitive engine noise. Oh, we're turning. What internet do I have? Um, 80 megabits down, 20 megabits up. Do I have more than one YouTube channel? No, just the one. <laughs> Will I stream No Man's Sky? I don't know. I think every man and his dog is going to be streaming that game. Although, it has the unique advantage that it'll be different for everybody that plays it. Because it's all procedural. This game is boring, Puncher of Kittens. It is indeed, you shouldn't watch it any longer. Go and watch something else. Oh, Wilson Trucker Boy 95. First Happy birthday, Paul. Just wanted to say thanks for creating this community. You're part of it, R. Oh, Wilson. You are part of it. It's been very supportive of myself through a rough patch. Uh, a tough patch, sorry. So please take this as a thanks and have an ale on me. <laughs> Thank you very much, R. Oh, Wilson. I'm, I'm glad you're through um, a little bump in your life and that the community was able to help you. That's good. You're not getting sound for some reason. Well, you can't hear me talking anyway, so it's pointless me saying anything. Yeah, just ignore it, Mr. Steelman. Simply ignore it. Right, let's um, have a look. LSGG. What is TBC? To be confirmed. You've got TBD to be decided, TBD to be confirmed, TBA to be announced. Are there any more TBs? To be... I suppose TBC could be continued, but it's not. TBC is to be confirmed. Crash the plane. Yay, J. Coops, you're the first one today. Well done, sir. You have the distinctive honour of being the first one to say crash the plane. Well, it's actually easy to crash a plane. Even you could do it. But the job of not crashing it is much harder. Right, what do you say we're coming in on? Is it 2 3? It was 2 3, wasn't it? ILS 2 3, there we go. 7,000 approach. Wow. <laughs> Flipping heck. You forgot to say please. Uh uh uh. You didn't say the magic word. <laughs> A birthday barrel roll, Ninja Elephant. Oh, yeah, let's do it. Let's do the birthday barrel roll followed by crashing. Yay! Dave had the same thing, Phoenix. I was there for it. Do you not remember? I was actually there when it happened. And he, he almost got angry about it, and then he went, No, I'm not going to get angry. I'm just going to time you out. <laughs> Minimums of 1565, 7,000 feet established altitude. I know, right? Look at it. I'm just looking at this. Unbelievable. 7,000 foot established at 16, 17, 18, just over 18 nautical away. And then a 1,570 foot minimum. It's hilarious. Destination Geneva. Uh, Melvin Russ, uh, obviously you're Russian, but it's an English-only chat. Thank you. Cuddly, I'm flying it tomorrow, dude. I'm, I'm in real life. I'm flying it tomorrow, so we're kind of, um, I'm kind of getting a nice view of the lake. You had a 17-knot headwind this morning. Well, that's not so bad. Headwinds are fine. Oh, 17-knot winds, not headwinds. That's not good. Uh, Walman, that's wonderful. Thank you for sharing that with us. We're all interested in your toes and what they smell like. Right, let's get something programming in here. Yeah, I'm flying over there. It's 50 quid return. Um, 50 quid return, Cuddly. 50 quid, can you believe it? I'm just going there for the day, just because I want the, the flight, to be honest. 109.9. .9. It's 
get that punched in. Wait, how do we put a decision height of 1500 into this? <laughs> it's got three, no, three digits. Um, rip? How do you punch a decision height of 1500 in there? It's supposed to have four digits. Your dad's been doing this route a lot recently. It's a great flight. Really hope you get the Eilish 23 over the lake tomorrow. Oh, I love... I I've not checked the weather, but um, I'll check it in the morning. No, it's a 1500 foot decision height, but you can't punch it in because the maximum down there is 1000. So I don't know what you're supposed to do. Perhaps you need the radio altimeter of 50. Where are you getting that from? Oh, hang on. Radio altimeter is 216, according to my chart. For a Cat 1 DME. Although Cat 2 is 108. I can put in 108 then. Let's put Cat 2 Excellent. DME 108 in. I really should RTFM. <laughs> Go 108. See you later, Keithy. Have a good day. Lol Sokia, happy birthday, Paul. Enjoy your day. Thank you very much, Lol Sokia. By the way, you just went into the yellow club, Lol Sokia. Not that you can tell because you're um, pink mod, but you've you have gone yellow, by the way. <laughs> I don't go plane spotting. I don't have time. The only time I spot planes, if you like, is when I go to air shows and stuff. Sutty, happy birthday, Sir Squirrel. I uh, hope you have a great day. Thank you for this uh, community that helped me through some bad times. Another one. Don't think I would have made it without you in the nut house. Sutty, another one. You are now Wilson Trucker Boy. That's awesome. I'm glad you guys have made it through. Everybody has tough, tough patches in life, guys. Everybody. Don't think that everybody else is having a great one. What's my conclusion about the IXAG Phoenix River? I don't know. This is my first flight with the 101 patch. Okay, so they released a patch for this thing yesterday. And it fixed a bunch of issues. As for the navigational stuff, I don't know. We're kind of finding out now <laughs> what it's like. To be fair, when I'm driving, if I see a plane, I'm like this out the window. <laughs> so that's kind of plane spotting, I guess. On my seat, um, I'm sitting. Let me go. On, actually, let me just go and have a little wander here. Tomorrow, I'm on row five. I think it is. Which is let's have a look what row five is. Oh, rip. So that happened. Why did I have to go to row five? Don't you just love flight simulation? How annoying is that? All she did was go into the back to have a look around and the flipping game crashed on me. Like, you serious? You actually serious? It's really annoying because of the... <laughs> 
The reason it's so annoying with flight sim is because the work that you put in to get to that point, <laughs> and then all of a sudden it's like, like moon dust. It just disappears. Ah, this is why you save flights. It's no good though. If you save flights in aircraft like this, what happens is when you load it in, the whole thing drops out the sky while it initializes, and then about twenty seconds later, if you're lucky, you'll get your plane back. Auto save. Did I actually enable auto save? I can't remember if I enabled auto save. Let me have a look. Where would it put them? Where would it put the auto saves? Would it put them in documents? Where does X-Plane save its um, auto saves? It's got to be in doc. Is it in documents app data? Excellent. App data roaming. And Jinska, happy birthday, Paul. Always enjoying your stream, whatever you play. Thank you very much, and Jinska. In this case, <laughs> in this case, we're playing Let's Crash My Simulator. That's your birthday present from X-Plane. Does anybody know where it stores the save games? Is it in local? Many happy returns and all that jazz. MS, MFSX and explain the same? No, they're completely different platforms. Completely different. Uh, train safe fan. I wouldn't Excellent. say X-Plane ruined my birthday. I, I really don't think it did. It crashed. That's life. Lost Ogger looking at the TAF for Geneva. The win for tomorrow is uh, 25, 25 knots, which means you'll land on runway 23, which means an approach over the lake. Yes. Let's hope the TAF is correct. I hope so. Seriously, does not one of you know where X Plane stores its save games? I'm I'm genuinely amazed. <laughs> flight Sims ruining your day since Flight Sim ninety five. <laughs> oh, Flight Sims are always crashing. They really are. Like I say, the worst part is the amount of effort it takes to get there. Update. Uh, maybe it puts it in laminar. No. My documents, my games, explain. Oh, is it one of those stupid things? It's like farming sim does that. My games. Now, hang on. Documents, my games does not have. An explain folder. Explain save game folder. Let's see if Google knows. Documents games explain. No, not for me, it's not. Unless I don't have any save games. That's weird. There we go.
Which runway are we on? Eight. You might as well do a barrel roll. Dude, I'm not that desperate. Runway 27 left. Unless I put some in the X-Plane folder. It has an output folder with a crash report in it, and there's no crash report for what just happened. <laughs> no, I don't think there is. Load situation. No, I didn't. It didn't save it. How do you get it to auto save? Was the auto save option on X-Plane? Does anybody know? Welcome, imaginary. It's, um... References, pre-flight. Let's quickly spec the fuel out. Release fuel, six tons. Let's put three in each one. Zero fuel weight was 46.2. Wow. <laughs> that freaked it out. Chris the One. Happy, hey, squirrel, happy birthday. Never really got into flight since, but enjoying watching them. 17 today, right? Absolutely. Yachts 2, door for king. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. I don't think it autosaved, no. I thought there was a plugin for autosave on X Plane 10, as in there's nothing integral within X Plane default autosave unless you use XUR PC, which I don't. Um, yeah, I need to um, get that plugin, I guess. Okay, 46.2. Let's get this thing punched in. Why has it moved my. Um, 46.2. Three three zero six thousand uh, two seven six zero seven six. You serious? Oh well, at least we get the takeoff again, right? <laughs> e G K K. If it crashes on this flight, that's I'm done. <laughs> Let's get my flight here. You can confirm that it's snowing in East London. What? Are you serious? Are you actually serious? It's snowing in East London? Wait, I've got the SIDS. <laughs> I've got the SIDS. 
I must have done something in the right order. Although I don't have the one victor. Oh, that's because it was 2-6 right, wasn't it? Uh, let's go 1-X ray and hope that it's correct. I really hope that's correct. Does anybody know if it's if two six left? Is it one X-ray or one? Is it one Mike? I'm not sure. I must have done something in the wrong order last time, and that's why it didn't show it. L six one two to Bembo. Hundred percent serious. That's amazing. I know it's cold outside, but I didn't think it was that cold. It's back. First okay, OBS one. just tripped. I have no idea. I have no idea. OBS screen just went blank and then it came back. That was so weird. Uh, Wheels VK two WLS. Hi Paul. Happy birthday from the land down under. Uh, hope you have had a great day for up to now and hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you, Wheels. I do hope you didn't miss me reading that. If you did, I'll read it again because my uh, stream just dropped. Really bad timing. The Lunch Society with form and support. Thank you, Lunch. Yeah, OBS, um, the screen went off and then it came back again a few seconds later, which is very, very strange. I've never seen OBS do that for a long time. So I don't know what happened there. UL612. Let me get this punched in, then we can get up in the air. Rest me. You're 975. To Lusar. And direct to Bennot. Yeah, I, I don't know. The, the connection keeps dropping, guys. I know that my internet dropped this morning at about 1 o'clock and it took about 20 minutes to come back, but I don't know. It looks like we've got a weird internet problem. It's not... I don't... Well, if it happens again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop, change ingest server and start, because... I don't, like, I, it's not my internet connection. I know that because I can still see your chat coming up, which means my internet is not dropping. My connection to the ingest server is dropping, which means it is a Twitch server issue. Uh, it's, the, it's the server that I'm talking to, the ingest server. That connection is going. So, yeah, Twitch is just giving me a happy birthday gift. <laughs> so if it happens again, I'm going to do that. I'm going to, uh, I'm stopping it. It'll be like a couple of minutes to bring it back because I'll have to stop the stream, change the ingest server and do it again. Okay, right. At the advice of a global mod, I'm going to change my ingest server. <laughs> so I'll be stopping the stream for about 60 seconds and then it'll come back up and hopefully it'll fix the problem, okay? So, I'm going to be offline for about 60 seconds. Don't go anywhere. Uh, I'll be back online when I've changed in just. Are we back yet? Hopefully, we'll have something a bit more stable this time. Uh, direct to Bannots. Now we get punching the arrival. Arrival is ILS 2 3. Via the Benno 1 Romeo. Benno, one Romeo. Okay. Let me zoom out and have a look at that. <coughs> that looks fine. Did it again three times, what do you mean? No, the first two, the first two were Twitch, the third one was deliberate by me to change ingest server. Make this stop while I'm leaving. Mr. Moon, 
Uh, I can't help having technical issues, but you're free to leave any time you like. Let's put that on plan mode. If you don't understand that technical issues are outside of my control, then I don't know what to say to you. <clears throat> okay, that looks all good. Right, let's get the uh, performance data plugged in. Four point eight trim, <coughs> one forty two on the speed. Good thing you patience. Patience is a virtue. Right, London lights come on, tax lights and stay off. Seatbelt signs are all on. Engines are on continuous. Strobe light can come on. I'll tell you what it won't have done. It won't have set the altitude. Thirty three thousand and <coughs> 6,400. That's on flight. Everything else is a go. It is cold outside. We are going to have anti ice on. Flaps on five. RTO. On the throttle. On the flight directors. Right, I think we're good for takeoff. Although last time it beeped and I couldn't work out why. Apparently we don't need to arm the speed brake on the Boeing, so we'll not do that. Let's do this. Same thing, I'm going to take off. Um, although this time when we get to 1500 I'm going to arm the VNAV. Uh, rather than go for heading select because we've actually got a SID this time. Uh, what is the what is the pressure? What is the current UK weather? Does it show me on the weather thingy here? Does it show me what the barrel is? I thought it would show me what the barrel was on here. Apparently not. Does it show me the local map. Does that explain not show me the meta data somewhere? That's annoying. I have to look it up. Taking off out of Gatwick. It is 1007 apparently. Why are you saying rip again? I've not... I've, I've not dropped a connection. I've not, I've not lost connection at all. <laughs> it's not me this time. That's not me. Inch. Seriously, my OBS is connected. Dropped zero packets. I've not lost a single packet. This is not me. It looks like it's gone for some people and not others. London server is down. Well, I was actually on the... I was on the um, Amsterdam server and I've changed it to the London server. And my connection to the London server seems to be fine. Yours is fine, didn't notice the thing. So it looks like that's a Twitch transcoding relay issue, that's not an ingest problem. Because a bunch of people lost it and a bunch of people didn't. 
inch. That's not me, dude. That is definitely Twitch. <laughs> Our Krusty Nail, uh, thank you for subscribing and welcome to the Nuthouse. Can we give Krusty a nutty welcome, guys? Thank you so much for supporting the stream and welcome to the community. Others have the same issue. Yeah, I think this is a technical Twitch issue now. Cuddly, you've got to get... You've, you've got to get um, permitted before you post links, Cuddly. Not Summer is unforgiving, sir. I need to get it so I can whitelist certain people. That's what I need to do. Cornwall boy. Hi, Paul. Good news. I have your birthday card. Going to post office now and send it. Sorry for the lateness. Being flat out with work. Happy birthday anyway. I guess you will go P.O. Box Saturday now. Uh, yes, Cornwall boy. I will. But don't worry about le being late. It's absolutely fine. Come on, Audi. It's a bit much. Is it good? Should we take off then? Should we take off? Let's do this. Let's get up in the air because a bunch of people are watching and a bunch of people are unable to watch. Yeah, we've lost about three, four hundred people, so a lot of people can't watch right now, I think. Anyway. My my ingest is okay. I, I you know, I can't do much to fix the relay server, so let's just get out of here. Okay. Power stable. Power is set. I know it's annoying, Aldi, but you know, technical issues happen, don't they? They're frustrating, but they happen. 18 knots. B1. Rotate. We have a positive climb. Gears coming up. It's on the V nav. Okay, let's disengage because I'm a boss. Lock that gear. Interesting. RTO can come off. Okay, tax lights and stuff are all off, that's fine. They can come out with continuous. Flaps are coming up now. It's actually starting to precipitate on the window, look. You see that? Oh, that is such a nice effect. Look at that. Like little spots of rain. That's awesome. Flaps are coming in. That's quite a clear day. Okay, looks good. Chris the one with a resume seven months. Thank you, Chris. Thank you very much. You missed a few minutes because of buffering. Yeah, we've we've had some technical issues. Happy birthday from Australia. Thank you, Evil Pudding. It's definitely more cloudy than the first time we took off. Um, apparently, according to Cuddly, it's snowing in East London, so we're in South London. Currently heading west, about to turn south. You missed takeoff. Sorry about that. I want better engine audio than this. Do not leave the cabin. Oh. I only wanted to sit in row 5. <laughs> yeah, that's true game mod. You can actually watch the takeoff on the screen on the VOD. Just 
just a shame, isn't it? I wouldn't have thought Twitch would have technical issues on a Tuesday afternoon, of all things. Okay. It would help if I set my MCP altitude properly. Let's get out of here. It's X plane, not P3D. Uh, you can fly anywhere around the world, Iskandar. Anywhere you want to. The only thing that you have to watch out for... Wow, look at that rain. You're getting nailed. Oh, it's actually got... Wow. It's actually gone into like a sleet effect. That is amazing. That is awesome. I'm loving that. It actually looks like you're flying into rain. Look at it. That's beautiful. Um, the only thing to watch out for is to make sure you've got texture and scenery. Because, uh... Like, default X-Plane texture and scenery is not really going to cut it. If you want it to look like this, you need to do a bit of work. So if you want to go to Singapore, you just need to make sure you get the stuff. But there's nothing to stop you flying where you like. Okay, passing 5k. The packs are very noisy. You can actually turn down the... Um, cabin volume in here if you want to and leave the master one up I don't know there's not enough control I'd like to be able to turn on the packs and enhance some of the other sounds but we haven't got those options yet so I'll just turn it down so it's not too loud yeah the wipers work Joey but you don't need wipers above about 200 knots um, you'll break them if you do anyway but if you think about it if you're doing 200 knots anything hits the windscreen it just it's straight off anyway but uh, at low speeds and taxing, yeah, you, you need to activate the wipers, uh, which is here, that bottom there. Okay, past transition. Let's go Excellent. to standard barrel. Okay, we have a speed restriction here of 250, look. And flight level 60, all the way to Bogner. Noise abatement for the wind. Looks like once we get out over the coast, then uh, look at that rain. It's like a sleety rain, isn't it? Look, this is brilliant effect. Absolutely brilliant, that. You really do get the idea that it's cold outside. <laughs> Captain Jack, 1988. Happy birthday, Paul. I hope you're enjoying it. Uh, you can open your present from me anytime and some stuff didn't arrive in time so there will be some later ones have a great birthday from Jack and Janet right when we sort of get up towards cruise um, Captain Jack and Janet I shall I've got some boxes to open today guys so we'll open that one but since Captain Jack's around we'll open his first because I know he's around Effects are cool, game mod, definitely. And you can make it better than this. Like, my scenery here is, is HD, but I can actually do better than that with a bit more work. Will you read my comments today, Paul, Kappa? No, Kappa. I'm going to ignore you all day long, Train Sim fan, Kappa. <clears throat> People are so needy, aren't they? You'd hate to hit birds at 200 knots, my little guy. It's actually very dangerous to hit birds at 200 knots in, in, a, in a, a plane. If one goes in the engine, that's a bird strike. That's not good. If one goes in both engines, that's really not good. Just go and read up on the uh, Hudson disaster. Well, it wasn't really a disaster. It was actually a miracle. If you Google for... If you YouTube for Hudson Miracle, you'll find it. And we, they, they basically got a bird strike after takeoff, which is pretty much the worst time. You know, you're fully laden, fully fueled, you've taken off, and you get a bird strike, both engines out, what do you do? Well, the pilot managed to save everybody on board by ditching it into the Hudson. I'm not 21, drone eye boy, I'm only 17, I can't drink yet, you know that. 
Right, let's clear ourselves up to 33. Man, that thing is so sensitive. One point six and then we're clear. Can you get bird strikes an X plane? Um hang on. <laughs> I really hope me doing this doesn't crash X plane, but I'm gonna bring up the um uh, control pad for X plane. Actually no I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. I'm not gonna bring it up. Because it will try to connect and, and alter the weather. Uh I'm not gonna touch it. There are a whole bunch of things that you can simulate. You can simulate engine out on one or two engines, no problem at all, which is similar to a bird strike. Excellent. Simulate engine fire. There's, you can simulate the failure of all kinds of systems. So, Air crash investigation. I've seen a few of them. I've seen as many as I can. Quickly checking everything's fine. Uh, I'm not going to turn off the seatbelt sign yet because we've not got anywhere near 10k yet. We're going to get above these clouds and settle down and then we'll do it. Nehemia! Happy birthday, Paul! Enjoy Geneva tomorrow. Greetings from Switzerland. <laughs> Yay, Switzerland! That's where this came from. That's where Sabrina came from. It's from Switzerland. Excellent. Okay, let's turn off the... Uh, Track I are now. Some pretty fluffy cloudage right there. I know, right? Those altitude restrictions are just. Ugh. Right, we're coming up on 10k. Turn the lights off. Leave the um Hey, why are you leveling out? Why are you leveling out? You're cleared to thirty-three. Flight level one six one. Why are you not climbing? Okay, there it goes. Now she's climbing. True Blue Aussie. Happy birthday, Paul. Hope you have a ripper day. <laughs> and many happy returns on your birthday. Cheers, Adam from Sydney, Australia. Um, thank you very much, Adam. While I get some scenery packs installed for Australia, I'm going down there in the sim. I'm definitely going down there. I might even long haul it. But if not, we'll just short haul it around Australia. Right, we're on our way up now. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and get a cup of tea because I have no catering service right now. I have to do it all myself. So I shall go and make a cup of tea. I'll be back in a couple of minutes and then we'll open uh, a parcel. It's a very, very big parcel. Uh, yours is the massive one, isn't it, Captain Jack? The really big parcel, I think. Uh, WKIP, that scenery is free. You can download so much free stuff for X-Plane, it's hilarious. Like the meshes you can get for free are, are fantastic. Plus you can get lots and lots of free airports. It's not, you know, some of it is not at a level of commercial grade. Some of it is, but most of it is just, you know, decent. It's been made than I usually in a big parcel. Yes, lol, sorry. <laughs> you like the British Airways livery? A little song for you, Paul. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Thank you, Kelly. <laughs> I'm not going to sing it. Yeah, the exterior sounds annoying me as well. I can't wait to get some engine audio 
Um, somebody, one of the guys emailed me some engine replacement audio, but I put it in, it didn't work. It didn't do anything. Remember to take the ILS path at around 2,500 feet AGL? Uh, no, according to the approach, it's 7,000 that you start, um, that you come in on, on the chart. It's, it's crazy. On the Conzi approach chart at one, two, three, uh, 18 and a half nautical miles out, you should be at 7,000 feet. Yeah, it's pretty, um, it's pretty crazy that approach. It's two, three. The name of my dog, Doyle. Right, I'm going to go and grab a cup of tea. I'll be back in a couple of minutes and then we'll open a parcel. The chair has the screen. I'm back. Hey, Matt, how you doing? Right, here we go. I think this is the. Uh... Hang on. Hang on a minute. Denied. Do not open before your birthday. Is that is that yours, Captain Jack? It says, do not open before your birthday, Paul. Is it that one? Look what Mrs. Squirrel... 
put on my seat. This is what greeted me when I <laughs> when I came into my office this morning. This massive sign stuck across my desk. I did say happy birthday, but you walked off as I said it, so I said it's the chair instead. <laughs> Thank you, Matt. So yeah, I had that to greet me. Mine says my name and the return address label. Right, okay, so I don't think that's yours then. Maybe this is yours. Ah, yeah. If undelivered, please return to... This is yours. This one. I think it's this one. Okay. It's a shame she didn't wrap herself up for you. <laughs> no, I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. I'm not going there. If Mrs. Squirrel, she'll beat me up if I say that. Nope, we're not doing that. <laughs> I'm taking the fifth on that. Let me have a look. Zoom out on the, the old planner Rooney here. Okay, top of climb. Your green screen is fuzzing. I'll tell you why. It's because it's day. I told you what this happens. I need to go and close the curtains again. The, the daylight comes through the door and it messes with the green screen. Maybe that'll fix it. Well, gee, thanks, Matt. <laughs> um, let me also quickly re chroma key it for daylight. I should make it a bit more solid. Green screens are a pest, they really are. Yeah, it's Pringles Leaf, he just won't sit still, he just keeps pushing it. It's so annoying. I keep telling him, he just keeps messing about back there, I don't know what he's doing. He keeps saying he hasn't got enough room. Right, the box is opened. I hope this is Captain Jack's. <laughs> Can you please put something green on the screen? Okay. There you go. Look, it doesn't work. <laughs> That's green, but it's a different kind of green. Oh, wait a minute. I've got a perfect one for you. This might work. Well, that's freaking it out, Alex. Look at that. It's trying to make that. That's like some kind of metallic paint. Look at that. That's a beautiful paint skin. Right, let's open some of these. Oh man, they're all individually wrapped. You're crazy. Jack and Janet, you are absolutely crazy, you guys. Look at this. They're just individually wrapped. I'll be honest with you. I don't know how you can do it. Like, I hate wrapping presents. When it's Christmas and I have to wrap stuff, I absolutely, it drives me insane. And you've wrapped every one individually. You get bonus points just for doing that. 
blame that on the wife. How can she sit there and wrap stuff? <laughs> Toffee selection. That's a lot of toffees. Mint, caramel, vanilla. That's a big bag of toffees. Let's open the next one. Thank you very much. Little one this time. Little tiny thing. That's how Stu felt last week. Your wrapping sucks. So does mine. My, mine sucks because I hate it. I can do it. I just don't want to. Ye old sweet shop. Actually, they remind me of those little cupcake thingies. They're like mini chocolate cupcakes. Another little packet. Bladza. Bladza88. Thank you for subscribing, Bladza. Welcome to the Night House. Thank you very much for supporting the stream and welcome to the community, Bladza. Look at that lovely nutty welcome there. Ooh. Old sweet. What are these? I don't even know what they are. What are they? They almost look like letters. F-T-L. Yeah, they're letters. They're like sweet letters. Dub A-U-T. Oh my god. Happy birthday, Paul. You're by far the best streamer I've ever encountered. Thanks for the endless entertainment. It's a seahorse. <laughs> Dub. Oh my god. Thank you so much. Thank you very, very much, Dub A-U-T. I don't know what to say. <laughs> I really don't know what to say. I'm lost for words. Like, Dub subscribes on... Was it four accounts you subscribe on, Dub? Dub at AUT, Dub AUT 2, Dub AUT 3, and Dub AUT 4, I think. Unbelievable. Thornton's... Oh, these look nice. Thornton's Cookies and Cream. White chocolate, cream and crunchy. Look at that. That looks lovely, doesn't it? That looks really good. Cookies and Cream. Doesn't um, Thingy make one? Ben and Jerry's make an ice cream. Cookie and Cream. Right, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. I'm just saying, I'm just saying before I open this, there's a bit of a similarity on this one. What, you want it on big screen? This. I can't put it on big screen, my overlay's all messed up, because I forgot to change it. I'm going to have to sit there and faff about with it. Don't forget his other count. Oh yeah, two a bud. I forgot about Tour Bud. Yeah, he's got Tour Bud as well. <laughs> he's just a nutter. Right, I called it. I called it. The similarity is real. It's a different flavour. I'm going to open this one. It's a different shape. I'm predicting um, a battery stick or sweets or some batteries. I actually thought you'd got me holes uh, mental ellipsis. <laughs> Chew it! Chew it! Does anybody remember the advert for Chew It? Oh, you called it, Steve! Nice! You called it? I actually thought Chew It's are smaller than that. I have no idea. Anybody want to call this one? Come on, let's play the guessing game. Let's see how many people can get this. What's this one? It's quite light. It's a little bit squishy. Anybody want to call it? You remember Chew It's but not the advert? Oh man. You don't remember the advert? Uh, it doesn't rattle. No, it doesn't, ra it doesn't rattle. No, it's too soft for a movie. 
Thornton's chocolate. Happy birthday, Paul. It's Customs Thornton's. Nobody would have guessed that. Nobody would have got that. That's brill. Uh-oh, I dropped one. Let's hope it's not the one that says fragile. Little packet. This has got to be a little packet of sweets again. Let me just check the uh, flight management here. I'm just going to punch that to 18, just in case, just in case I forget later. The old sweet shop. <laughs> like, seriously, where do you get all these sweets from? Right, you need to guess this one, guys, because this one's different. Uh, Seatbelt sign, I may have forgotten to do that. First time around I remembered, like this one, this one's quite squishy, okay? It's about the size of my hand and it's, and it's quite squishy. Now, if I'm guessing on this one, I'm going to say a pair of socks. It feels like it's got clothing in it. I'm going to go with socks or a scarf. Can't be a scarf, it's too small for a scarf. Okay, completely wrong. Completely and utterly wrong. It's marshmallows. That's why they're so squishy. <laughs> it's not socks. It's marshmallow. <laughs> oh. I like marshmallow. Like this one, you're not even getting a guess on this one. It's the same shape as the other one. In fact, in fact, <laughs> it's just like the other one, the other half-eaten one. Oh my god, how do you wrap all this stuff? This is still one box. Look, now this one's a chocolate bar, clearly. Clearly a chocolate bar. The question is, what flavour? Bladzer88, happy birthday, Paul. Thank you, Bladzer. Thank you very much. What flavour is it? I'm reckoning um, nuts. I'm reckoning milk chocolate and, and nuts. We love our junk food on Twitch. You're reckoning white chocolate, though, are you? I'm gone. It is... Crusty Choc. So it's basically like a... Um, I think it's like a Toffee Crisp. I think it's like a Toffee Crisp chocolate. Crusty Choc, it's called. They're nice, them. I like these. <laughs> Making a mess of room, my room again. I've got so much wrapping paper on the floor. Another one. Oh, this is a blue packet. And this time, it is... Volmilch Chocolada. Volmilch Chocolada is what it is. You see that? You've never seen that in your life? Okay. What's this one, guys? It's cubic. It feels... It, it feels like it's got little bricks that move around. Little blocks. Little, it's got like little pieces that I can slide. On your 18th birthday, will you be going out and getting drunk? <laughs> nope. Coins. Chocolate coins. An engagement ring. 
That's it. Chocolate coins, you got it wrong. We've got another Willy Wonka chocolate bar. Ooh. Milk chocolate with hazelnut. This packet is green. This is brilliant. This is a green packet, so half of it is just getting chroma keyed out completely. That what you see as a dark green is actually quite a light green colour. Another one. Uh oh, banking left. I can't even open this one. I can't believe Mrs. Captain Jack just wraps all this stuff. It's just amazing. It, it actually blows my mind. Dairy Milk Medley. What the heck? A delightful medley of dark chocolate chips, biscuits, and fudge pieces. I have never seen that before. Has anybody else had that? I've never had that. But that sounds fantastic. That actually sounds really nice. Those are so nice. I bet they are, Steve. They actually look nice. Maltesers teasers. When Maltesers aren't enough, get Maltesers teasers. For the really teasy, teasering malt. Yeah, I'll shut up now. Next. I have like 400 bars of chocolate. Mr. Sims, happy birthday. <laughs> it's a clean, a clean wrap chocolate. Oh my god. Oh. It's either a very broken present or some very small sweets. You reckon poppets? Okay, I've never heard of these. The soda pop candy bottle caps. Has anybody heard of bottle caps? I've not. Root beer, cherry, grape, cola, and orange flavour. They actually sound quite nice. Oh, the wax you put on your brace, I have, but mine tastes like mint. Oh, I've never seen a mint one. That sounds quite good, actually. Bottle caps aren't bad. I've never even seen them before. I like Mentos. Ah, okay. Another Mr. Sims clear wrapped chocolate with white chocolate bits on top. Sounds like it's got big soft pieces in it to me. <laughs> Paul's dentist. The sound I sent you, did you put in the plane sound folder, Jim Bob? So, the last one that you sent me was a link to an Exe which unpacks a folder full of sounds. I took those sounds and put it into the aircraft's sound engine folder and moved the current ones out of the way, and it didn't do anything. Angry Birds Star Wars Gummies. <laughs> I don't know, true sir. I'm, I'm yet to get to the voucher for the dentist appointment. Oh, there's a card. Actually, I've got cards to open as well. I forgot about the cards. Flight Sim Kid, we've already played it at the start of the stream. There's my card. Dub AUT, who is the quickest nutter? There you go. There's a, uh, a code there. If anybody wants to go and redeem it, thank you, WT. 
To Paul, today is your day to go nuts. Happy birthday. We hope you have a great birthday from Jack and Janet. Captain Jack 1988 and Janet89. P.S. Uh, waiting for a few more presents, so more to follow. Oh my god. Are you going to wrap everyone as well, though, Janet? <laughs> of course you are. Of course you are. You're going to wrap everyone. Carefully and lovingly. In a way that I never could. Did anybody get that code? Vrome 8 Happy 17th birthday Paul Thank you Vrome Thank you very much sir Cream eggs I like cream eggs These are the mini ones I need to keep those away from my daughter Because she likes cream eggs even more than I do And I will never see them again If she sees that They will absolutely get demolished in a day Uh, Jim Dandy, try refreshing. Although you can't hear me anyway, so it's pointless. Dairy box, just a little something. And then, I have no idea what this is. Like a lollipop, maybe. Hide them from her by eating them. <laughs> Hey, I think I guessed it right. It is a lollipop, I think. Well, kind of. It's a chocolate lollipop. <laughs> Another little packet. You have an air traffic controller interview on 5th of May, Zizaxian. Wait, you've only just found out that I actually fly the planes? That's amazing. You must have been under a rock for two years. Cream eggs! Can't have too many cream eggs in your life. My mum always said you can never have too many cream eggs. Not a very shiny 737. What, did you want a shiny one? I can get it waxed if you want. Marshmallow hype. I've got some... My daughter likes marshmallows as well. She likes toasting them. What she does is she puts the, the oven on, the, the gas hob, and then toasts the marshmallow, and then eats it. English please, Roma. No Rusky. And Tic Tacs. <laughs> Just to be different, Tic Tacs. Jump back in the cockpit. I think that's everything out of the box. Wow, Captain Jack and Janet, I'm blown away by that. Just the rapping alone is, is, is amazing to me. Can we please get some love in chat for Captain Jack and Janet89? Let me just move all of this wrapping. There we go. That's one box. <laughs> Thank you very, very much. I really appreciate that. It was ama absolutely amazing. Excellent. I need to get my cards as well. Let me open some cards. There we go. Quirty Afro, buy some fruit, please, Paul. <laughs> For your teeth's sake, lol. Happy birthday as well. Keep up the awesome work. <laughs> Thank you, Quirty Afro. I'll buy some fruit. I've got my Tic Tacs, though. McBone, happy birthday. Hope you have been good and hope you have a nice day. Thank you very much, McBone. I'm having a great day. I've got another card here. Address to Squirrel TV. Let's open this one. I need to put in some Descent stuff in a minute, I think. Where exactly is Top of Descent? Hang on. Eighty-five. Okay, I've got time to open the cards, and then we've got to punch in some descent numbers. Right, 
Right, here's the card. We are all worry about getting older, but don't you worry. Look, we all worry about getting older, but don't you worry. Uh, if anybody can do it, you can. <laughs> to Paul, Squirrel, Squirrel Love from Dave201900 and the Nutty Community. I hope Dave's in chat. Thank you very much, Dave. Excellent. That happy birthday card. Let me put down that down there. Tic Tacs don't count. <laughs> of course they do. Uh, Blackius Maximus. Happy birthday, Paul. Uh, thank you for the months of enjoyment and my inspiration to try and make it to YouTube streaming world. Ooh, good luck. Your fellow nutter from Sydney, Australia, mate. Thank you very much, Blakius Maximus. I hope you're well. Dave is AFK. I just read his card. He's going to kick himself when he comes back. I hope he's listening. It says, enjoy your day. It's like a farming sim card. Enjoy your day. Happy birthday. Uh, to Farmer Squirrel, wishing you a wonderful day from Dave M84. <laughs> Thank you, Dave M84. Is Dave in chat? Is the other Dave in chat? You can never have too many Daves in your life, you know. And this one has no name on it. I think this came in a box last Sunday. Thank you as long as she. Squirrel! <laughs> Dave, thanks for your card, Dave M84. Just trying to distract you from the fact that it's your birthday again. Hope it worked. Happy birthday from Mr. Rose87. That was in the pack on Sunday, wasn't it? Mr. Rose87, thank you so much for your card. Birthday card hype. Right. Let's punch in some numbers. Shall we? Uh, first of all, 109.9. Can go in there. Oh, we're turning. 109.9. We've got a decision, well, radio altimeter height of 108, we hope. Just stick that on 108. Okay, missed approach, climb 7,000. There's on a 225 course. Yeah, back to the flying. Get Farming Sim 2017 when it's out later this year. I'm pretty certain I will. <laughs> I'm pretty certain a bunch of people in the nut house will be getting that one. First time here. Welcome, welcome. I can hear you but not see me, Pence. That's the uh, the range of the of the weather tile. That's why you see it abruptly stop and then it load the next one in. What's up, man? How many packages? Um, three. There's actually there's actually a packet here. When I say a packet, it. It feels like um, it feels like a book or something. It says on the back for twenty sixth. Come on, camera! Come on, camera! Focus, please. Oh my god! Wow! Suck more. Okay, we're not doing that. <laughs> I was all like weird. That was actually quite fun. Wait a sec. 
<laughs> I'm messing about with the camera. Uh, I don't know who this is from, so I don't know if they're in the chat or not. Does anybody recognise it? It says on the back for the 26th. Uh, I can't, AK. Okay, I've only got one camera plugged in. There's a great demand for chocolate in Geneva. Lol. I'm only allowed so much in the uh, overhead locker, though. Don't think I could get all of that in it. Thank you very... See you later, sir. Okay, so I've got... I've got a uh, whiskey magazine with the best whiskies and a, a letter or a card attached. So I've got this whiskey mag. Don't know who sent this. Let me open the card. It says, happy birthday. Uh, Paul, happy 17th birthday. Love from Tamashanta. Whee! Tamashanta! Now it makes sense. Now I understand why he sent me a whiskey magazine. Thank you very much, Tamashanta. I didn't even realise they made a magazine dedicated to whiskey. That is actually incredible. Why are they all in Scotland? Why are all the distilleries in Scotland? I've never understood it. Is there a, like a particular reason for it? They have like a million flavours of whiskey. Look at this. It's insane. Whiskey indeed. A bottle of whiskey. <laughs> that leaves us one big box and one small box, which we'll, uh, we'll do a bit later on. Okay. We should start descending pretty soon. The Scottish water is too good. I suppose the water is... is um, the clear water's got to be one of the reasons, right? True cerium from a munitions dealer. Like my mom always said, you can never have enough birthday cake. Happy birthday, Muno Bus. Lydia hates me. Thank you, true cerium. I actually don't have any birthday cake. <laughs> no, but really... Um, I will be getting a little cake later. They always get me a cake, but I don't really like icing on cake, so I don't like traditional birthday cakes. I just like the sponge. So they tend to just get me a sponge cake and put some candles in it. Of course, they are struggling these days to put all the candles in a sponge cake, because like 17 candles in a cake is quite a lot. There's not much room left. Have you started to display the amount people donate? I have, Perry. That's what the that's why it says five dollars though. I have. One is partial to a drop of whiskey oneself, dead mouth. <laughs> there is Scottish whiskey and Irish and American whiskey. There is. But there's no English whiskey or Welsh whiskey. Why? <laughs> Right, I can see TD now on the uh, FMS there. Um, Connor, I was watching a stream this morning, Cuddly Chops' stream, and, and it just kicked me out. He just went, Cuddly Chops has gone offline. And it does that every time I watch on the iOS now. They've definitely got a disconnection bug. Why does your colour in chat keep changing wheels? It doesn't. It's white on the screen. If you have a look at it on the screen, you'll see it's white. But in your browser, you get to choose it. Stagsman, uh, happy birthday for yesterday. Yeah, Perry. Well, what I'll do, Perry, is find a way of making it so that you can do it anonymously. But to be honest, Perry, if you if you want to send something in more than $5, it, you can always do it when I'm offline, and then nobody sees it anyway. So, 
So you can circumvent that. But I'll try and figure out a way of, of getting people to they can tick a box and say, don't show my amount. Probably just do it on your profile or something. Uh, Galliver. Galliver, nine months support. Thank you, Galliver. Um, the IXEG update, uh, so far it's doing okay. Um, it, it definitely fixes the issues that it set out to fix. I mean, I can see all of the lights, even though I'm running RTH. Uh, some of the nav issues have been fixed, apparently, but I've not yet locked onto an approach, so we'll find out shortly if that's fixed. I've not tried changing the approach runway mid-flight, because last time I did that, it completely grenaded the uh, FMC, and I don't fancy doing that again. But it's, you know, it's behaving itself okay at the moment we'll see how it goes thank you for your happy birthday wishes uh, Shadwell I'm 17 not 16 I was 16 last year okay let's go and look for LSGG's meta information one zero zero eight uh, temperature 10 degrees. So what I should have done a long time ago. Uh, it's good that you'll try and do that. When I donate, I want it to, to do it on the stream because I like the interaction. But I'm all for giving people the option. Yeah, Perry, it's, it's you know, like you say, some people um, prefer it, some people don't. Everybody has different, um, different opinions on it. But I think if I can give... The ones like you who don't want to show it, an option, that, that'll work for everybody then. How long is this flight? We shall be descending pretty soon. Um, it is a one and a half hour flight, but we are... Uh, the, you can see the top of descent is here. We're just under 80 nautical away from descending. Don't forget we're taking quite a scenic route though, so we'll see the lake on our right as we go along to the Swiss Alps and then loop back. So we're taking a fairly scenic route into 2-3. Uh, I can't watch the Sunday Night Trucking Birthday highlight. It's not working. Um, what, as in it won't play at all? Can one of my mods try and watch that highlight just to see if it's um, broken? Uh, thank you, Danny. Maybe Twitch has got a playback problem, because I'm pretty certain it used to work. <laughs> Did you also get the handbook or just the plane? What do you mean? What handbook? Are you going to play Consum again? What, YouTube or, or Twitch? I will get back to it on YouTube. There's a video going out in about 50 minutes, guys, actually. A bus simulator video. <laughs> Ethan Carter. I already did Ethan Carter. Ethan Carter I did on YouTube when it, like, before it even came out. And then I streamed the whole thing, didn't I? No, I did it on YouTube off stream. I can't remember. No, I streamed it, didn't I? No, I streamed the whole thing, Train Sim Fan, when it came out. I already did it. I did a preview video, that was it, and then I streamed the whole thing. I think. No, hang on. No, 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 no. No, I'm wrong. I did the whole thing on YouTube. There's like four episodes of me playing it through. The best place to start, Blake, is... Um, well, you're going to get different opinions on it, to be honest. Um, you are going to get different opinions. I mean... I don't know. <laughs> You're going to get two views on it, really. You're going to get the whole FSX and the whole X-Plane. Just start with one of the simul... Pick a platform. Pick a simulation platform. If you want maximum availability of aircraft and scenery, um, commercial stuff, go FSX and P3D. Well, P3D if you can. Um, if you want... A flight model that is quite interactive, shall we say. 
X-Plane has a good flight model, but there's a lot of free scenery for it. Uh, commercial stuff First is very much blood. still building up momentum. Impressive. So it's hard to say which one to go for without without knowing what you want out of a sim. The pros and cons in both camps really are. Yog Harius, sorry, Yog Hyarus, I should say, Yog Hyarus. Happy birthday, Paul. Thanks for all the hours of entertainment you brighten up my week on many occasions. Enjoy your day in Geneva. Thank you, Yog. I shall definitely enjoy my day in Geneva. Although, I think when I looked on my phone, I've got a feeling the weather was nasty. P3D allowed to stream anymore? Yeah, of course you are. Loads of people stream it. Um, weather. Here we go. Okay, so the weather forecast for Wednesday. Oh, it's changed. It was dry today and rainy tomorrow, but now it's raining in Geneva, and tomorrow it's 11 degrees. The rain stops at midnight, and then, yay, it's dry and sunny all day. Woohoo! Cloudy and sunny tomorrow. I'll take that. I'll take that. I'm glad I didn't go today. The reason for me going to Geneva, Mr. Stillman, is purely for fun. For my birthday it's 50 pound return flight to geneva i'm going in the morning back in late late at night and i'm going to spend the, the day the day in geneva because i like the geneva approach so i thought let's just go there uh i don't know a trans fan yet to, yet to decide to be honest Anonymous. Actually, yeah, Perry, that's another way you can you can donate anonymously. Happy birthday, Paul. I hope you have a good day tomorrow. Try not to touch any controls in the plane. <laughs> Whoever that was from, thank you very much. I wish you'd have put your name in there, but thank you. Isn't X-Plane newer than FSX? Um, X-Plane's on version 10. It has quite a bit of a history. FSX goes back to 2006 when Microsoft stopped developing it and then back beyond that. So they've all got the roots. It's how far back you want to trace it. Okay, we shall be descending shortly. First time in Geneva, yep. It is. First time in Switzerland, actually. Am I right in thinking that I have to take Swiss francs and not euros, or do they accept euros in Switzerland? That was a question I had. Like, I don't really want to get Swiss francs if possible. I'd rather get euros, but I don't know if they'll accept them. Is it... Do they accept both currencies, or do they just only want Swiss francs? Explain started in 93. Wait, you can use euros and then you need Swiss francs. Okay, so somebody's wrong. <laughs> you need Swiss francs for most things. Except euros in most places. They take both, it's like UK with the Scottish notes. They do accept it, but you pay more if you pay with euros. Oh, really? Oh, right, so they get you that way. I see. Wait, what? Don't flush toilet water after 10 o'clock at night? Eh? Some places do accept euros, but they change you. They charge for you, so take Swiss francs. Okay, I'll get francs then. Fair enough. I'll get Swiss francs. It sounds like the safer bet and the cheaper bet to me. Also, don't forget that they speak French down there. It's okay, True Sorry, I only speak English, so it doesn't matter what they speak. <laughs> Ferret Bomb Raid and a happy birthday. Thank you, Ferret Bomb and Ferritors. Another lovely member of the Nuthouse stream team. How are you doing, Mr. Ferret? You've been playing some strange games lately, sir. 
I've been watching you. You've been like, I've been like, what is he playing today? What random game is he playing now? <laughs> Thank you for the raid, Ferret. Appreciate that. Carfells, 46. Hi, Paul. Hi, Powell. Happy birthday to you. And my birthday is in a week, which makes me feel uh, available to get driving lessons for the moped. Oh, nice. I've been waiting for this moment for a few years. I bet you have. You stay safe, buddy. Don't overdo it. Resto P Man. Hey, Paul. Happy birthday. Thank you, Resto P Man. Carfell's first delivery as well. Thank you. Okay, so if we look off our right side over there. Okay, I'm not doing that. It's too slow. We're starting to see lakes, which is a good sign. The problem with flying over the Alps is I've got UHD scenery and it loads it up, and that's why you see the kind of frame rate issues going on because a lot of high res textures are coming in. Thank you, Impy. They speak Swiss. They they speak Swiss German, not French. Have to sneak a lurk for a bit. Uh, got the work. Get the work day started. <laughs> you work some weird hours. <laughs> also, let me get rid of this banner. Lol. Ferret bomb. Fourteen months support. Thank you, ferret bomb. <clears throat> Mr. Shadwell. Paul, are you going to learn how to drive or practice using simulators and then use that during driving license? Um, I already know how to drive Shadwell. I just need to get my license now. But you've seen me drive trucks and stuff, so I'll, I'll pass. It'll be it'll take me a couple of weeks, if any, if that, to be honest. Ah, the anonymous tip was from Kelly. Ah, thank you, Kelly. Um, Kelly, what you need to do in future is you, if you, it'll pop up and say authorized, so you sign in with Twitch and then it'll know your name. It knows who you are then. But thank you very much, Kelly. You work in a pub, so you have really weird hours, Tim. Eh, not that weird, I suppose. You work in the evening. That's not too bad. I don't need driving lessons, Sim. I, I just I just play on the simulators, I'll be okay. Eighteen nautical from top of descent. Happy birthday from Norway. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Brew Crew Brew. Wow, just look at my Twitter feed. Oh my god. I would like to see you drive some crazy corner, aka Benz. <laughs> Who's that from? That's who that's from. Daniel Pierce. Happy birthday, Paul. Thank you. Happy birthday. Just going to favourite some of these. Trucks 20. Enjoy your cake and nuts. <laughs> so, Lord Custard, hope you have a great day. Favorite of a bunch. Norway invites Paul. Invades Paul. Lol. <laughs> From New Zealand. Wow. What time is it in New Zealand? It must be like stupid o'clock down there. All right. Thanks for popping in, Dorset. Appreciate that.
Sweden, Canada, Norway, New Zealand, this is insane. All over Europe. 2 a.m. in New Zealand. I told you it was stupid o'clock. Two hours ahead of Sydney and Sydney's midnight. Blimey. Oh yeah, because um, thinking about it, New, New Zealand is, is like off to the southeast, isn't it? So they would be like an hour or two ahead. Oh, I think we're descending. Yep, here we go. We are going down. Happy birthday from Norway and from uh, Holland. Colchester, lol. <laughs> Gandalf, it's explained. You Aussies are nutters. You really are. You stay up at some crazy hours. Isn't it cool that you have a global birthday? I know, right? True serum. It really is. It's not that long ago that you didn't have a global birthday. I'm not 21, I'm not that old. 17. Eben Blom, English please. Yeah, it does have multiple time zones. It's massive. Can I show you Skymax Pro settings? I will. But when, when I'm on the ground, okay, because what I don't want to do is do anything that could possibly crash my sim by bringing up a dialog box somewhere. So let's get on the ground and then I'll show you the settings. I'm not saying they're perfect, I'm still playing with them, but I'll show you the settings I have. You're 17 but you look 21. Well, thanks, Aliki. Well, that's interesting. Shadwell's name on screen says 13, but no squirrel icon, which implies that he was a sub and is not currently a sub, but he still has 13 months assigned to him, I think. So I don't know. It's not picking you up as a sub currently, Shadwell. Plane does appear to be unstable, x is not normally prone to crashing. Avis, it depends on add-ons. Your plugins are what normally make a platform unstable, not the platform itself. It's like Windows. Windows is inherently quite stable. But then people install all kinds of crappy device drivers, and then when it blue screens, they're like, Oh, Windows is rubbish! And it's not. It's, it's all down to device drivers, and it's the same with X-Plane. If you install a bunch of plugins, and one of them has a problem, it'll take the, the simulator down. It's that simple. There you go, he cancelled his sub. Okay, so that makes sense. That's fine, Shedwell. That's fine. As long as we... As long as, I, I thought we had an API issue. <laughs> it's fine. Devry Grad 9 happy 17th, Paul. From across the pond, from the state of Ohio. Good luck with your driving test. <laughs> Thank you, Devry. First delivery hype as well, I think, sir. What are the names that pop up on the top right that the user has joined the stream merge? Yep, it's uh, it's a sub greeting. Yeah, we've got an age command because you wouldn't believe how many people come in here going, "How old are you?" People are very ageist on Twitch.
We're on an extended curve now. You feel so old every time you stream. Well, don't, Cuddly. Just because, like, 13-year-olds watch, you know. <laughs> they think 15-year-olds are old. SF Giants 49 er happy birthday, Paul. Sorry you must work, but I think we all enjoyed. <laughs> I love my job, SF Giants, so it's not really, um... It's not really work if you love your job. You have a pig-sized plate of pasta, LTZ. Pigs are massive. Like, huge. How old is Doyle? He's six this year. He's about five and three quarters at the moment. Right, let's have a think here. If there's anything that we've missed. 225 is the right course. 109.9 was punched in. We need to be coming down at an altitude of 7,000 when we are about 19 nautical away. Excellent. You can see it's st struggling to load that scenery in at the moment. Galiver or Galiver or Galiver, I'm not sure how we say that, but happy birthday, Squirrel. Thank you, Galiver or Galiver. Thank you very much. How does it feel being 17, freak? Um, I don't know. It's not another mile on the clock, isn't it, at the end of the day? W what can you do about it? Nothing. It happens to everybody. <laughs> Technically, it's not your birthday. <laughs> Yeah, but I'm not in New Zealand, am I? So technically it is. It's cool. No offence, but you look like 31 to 32, not 16 to 17. I'm not offended. That's fine. It's, it's okay. I just had a bit of a rough life. Thank you, Anro. Minus one zero nine point nine is punched in. Take flaps thirty. I take it it's calculated that gross weight. Why does that want to go in there? Can't even click on that. Okay, let's not worry about that. You've been 21 for 21 years. <laughs> My favourite subject in school was physics. Physics and geology were the two favourites. It's not snowing in the rest of the UK. I'm in the rest of the UK and it's fine. It's not snowing outside. Happy birthday, like your videos and watching more than 12 months here in Brazil. Thank you, um, Squirrel Yonatas. Thank you very much. You've been 21 for 39 years. <laughs> oh, man. I have got the IXCG update, Matt. Yeah, I have. I'm eager to test it out to see whether it gets its approach right or not, to be honest with you. The 
just cruising down to 12k before we'll move down to 7 shortly PC Tech 53 Paul wishing you all the best on your birthday here's uh, to many more I catch all of your streams and YouTube vids and watch many of your older ones as well oh wow all the best to your family as well thank you PC Tech a true consumer of my content you might say Mr. Cornwall Boy. Hi, Paul. I have sent you your birthday card. It should get to your P.O. Box tomorrow. Sent it next day with Royal Fail. I have put a little extra something in your card as well. Um, I'm in Geneva tomorrow, but Mrs. Squirrel will go on Saturday, so we'll open that on Sunday, Cornwall Boy. It's absolutely fine. Don't worry about that. That's absolutely fine. Thank you very much. Wait, why did we just... So VNAV just suddenly went then, that was a bit weird. Your internet is messing about. Is that a technical term? <laughs> right, let's get the old track eye on now. I have to start getting serious now. Geneva hype. Thank you, Krish. Sorry if I miss your messages, guys. I know there's a lot of um, well wishing. Um, sorry if I don't get all of them. Don't see why we need drag to get down to 7k. Wait, what? Why are you not descending? You're on VNAV. There we go. Seatbelt signs are on auto, so they should have come on automatically. The lights can come on now. We've got an approach checklist. No. Nope. Why don't they give you an approach checklist? Okay, recall, cabin control, auto brake. speed brake can you play first ETS sometime why lock Why does it show you when it picks up the localizer? It's got lock here. Oh my god. I can't see a thing. I cannot see a thing. I've got a feeling we're about to overshoot this runway. Right, VOR lock. I'm going to bring that speed right down. We're not even descending. That's the thing I don't get.
It's chucking it down with rain. <laughs> Adam Thwaite, happy birthday from sunny cold Dartford. We will hopefully see you at Truck Fest if the weather is good on Monday. Ah, yeah, if the weather's good. We'll see what it's like. Hopefully see you. Normally a long final establishing localizer sometimes at 17 DME. We have a crosswind. Which is somewhat annoying. Oh my god, these clouds. Right, I am not descending. And I've lost a... What the heck? I lost approach. Why did it lose approach? Are you serious? I'm way too high again. Why did it... Ugh! It lost the approach lock, and now I'm way too high. Oh, man. This is ripped again. Yeah, but I came in at 7k for absolutely ages. And now I'm completely over the glide again. This happened last time. Well, this is going to be fun. We may be way too high now to even get this thing down. This exact same thing happened last time. I armed the approach and then it lost it. It had the approach, and then it just gave it up. So I was coming in at 7k, right? I armed the approach, it went green, it locked it. Everything lit up. And then, at some point further along the line, the light had gone off again, and it lost the lock. And I'm sat there cruising at 7k. The point where I realised I'm way, way, way over profile. Why did it do that? I don't understand. I really don't get that bit. You need to set the altitude lower to allow the glide slope. Right, okay. So, okay, so when you say... Right, wait, okay, that's interesting. So what you're saying is, when you arm the approach, you then lower the altitude down to what? What do you need to lower it down to allow the, the glide? Why does it... Why does it actually take that as a number when you've armed the approach? That's what I don't get. If you've armed the approach, you're saying, take me on this glide. I shouldn't be able to set 7K and it just, you know, go, oh, I'm not going to glide. Why does that override the approach? So you want to set it to your decision height. So you want to bring it down to 100 or 1500. You've never heard that before either. I'm glad it's not just me then, cuddly. <laughs> Why will it not blow through your altitude when you've armed the approach? Because, I, uh, exactly, well, I, I'm with Cuddly here. When you say arm the approach, you're saying follow the glide. I intercepted the glide from the recommended intercept of 7,000 feet at 19 nautical. That's what I did. 
And I had a full lock. That's so weird. No, turn off. The Commander's Cat 3 also then, so... You don't need to set the decision altitude for an ILS. The glide slope happens at 7,000 feet, so you're doing the right thing. So what happened then? What happened? How did it... You saw me click that. You saw me click that, and it went green, and I checked the display, and we had a full approach lock. We had everything lit up. It's not true. You can always set to approach mode with both localizer and glide path have been captured. If both have had been captured, it would have descended in the glide path. Okay, so are you saying that I need to have both lit up for that to work? Is that what you're saying? I'm not I'm not thinking it's a bug burying. I'm thinking either it it's something I need to learn about this aircraft or it's a bug. But I'm thinking it's something I need to learn right now. Thank you for your happy birthday greetings, guys. I'm not ignoring you. I'm just a little bit flustered about this aircraft right now. You have to set it on the B side as well. Are you sure about that? Beyond the approach before the glide slope was active. Every time I capture glide slope, I disable altitude set and it controls it from the mark. Uh, Adam Thwaites, happy birthday from sunny cold Dartford. We will hopefully see you at Truckfest if the weather's good on Monday. I read that one. Um, thank you very much, Adam. Didn't realise you are from Dartford, though. Just, I missed that bit. Deny. All right, let's go to six. We're going to go to six, we're going to turn around, and what's your recommended, if you actually know how to fly this 737-300, do we arm the lock, and then we wait for the lock, like the lock is currently yellow, and the glide soap is green, so do we wait, if I arm the lock first, what's the message, if I arm the lock first, do we wait for that to go green, then arm the approach, is that what I do? No, you're wrong, uh, SAS. You, you saw me click that button. And it went green. Denied is when the train ends. When the train thing goes away. Did you turn your nav to the ILS frequency? Yep, it's already done. 109.9. We're already done ILS-wise. We're fine. Lock then green when both select for approach. All right. Both nav radios are tuned into 109.9 already. Okay, I'm going to come around now. Once so I'm the approach until the airplane has captured both lock and glide slope, it's the first thing they teach in instrument training. Alright, let's see what happens this time. Watching an approach video of the aircraft and it's clearly ignoring altitude set. Yeah, I... 
it's a thing like this 737 is different to the NGX and that's different to the Airbus so it's just a matter of getting used to things all right let's try and get ourselves on course here Do we wait for the localizer to go green before arming it, or can we arm the localizer anytime? Thank you, Train. Stuart Grand Place GTA resume sub. Thank you, Stuart, for resuming that sub. Right, I've armed the lock, right? Let's watch this. MC speed, altitude hold, heading select, that's fine. Command is plugged in. We could do a command B as well if we wanted to, but we're not. I'm going to wait for that to change, and then, and this to change, and then I'm going to arm the approach, okay? That's what we're going to do this time. I've currently got... I've currently armed the localizer, okay? That's it. I shouldn't need to, in to bring the altitude down, to be honest. Uh, how far from DME? 21.5 nautical miles. Which is pretty high. I should be intercepting at 7k. Hang on. 6,000 should be at about 15. So when I hit 15 nautical here, I should definitely get green. Right. Localizer's gone green, but not the glide slope. Have you set your Q&H? No, I've not, because I'm a spanner. Hang on. 1,008. 1,008. Right, the localizer has gone green, but not the glide slope. So do we wait for that to go green and then arm the approach? Or do we hit approach now? How long till we land? That very much depends on how well this goes. <laughs> wait, okay. So we wait for that to go green, right? Let's have a look at this wonderful scenery while we're here. So by my reckoning, that will hit about 15. Uh, there it goes. So I've just armed the approach now. The localizer light has gone out. The glide slope's gone. The localizer's gone. VOR lock. It's not descending. It's not descending yet. Has it armed? We're not descending. So just to be clear, the approach light is definitely locked, okay? There's the pink triangle. That's the glide slope, isn't it? So when that comes down here, it should then start to descend, yeah? We are 15 nautical out. Yeah, we're below the glide slope. I think that's correct because I should have been at 7,000 and I was only at 6. So I'm okay with being... T... What does that say? 1CH, one, 1 channel, what the heck? Look, it's gone! It's gone! This is what it did last time. It's gone. The, the approach has been unlocked. And it says 1CH. What is that? This is what happened. Now do you believe me? I can't lock it back in. Uh, 
Okay, I don't get why the light's gone out though. We appear to be descending, but the light's gone out. Is that right? That's so freaky where that light's gone. I'd kind of prefer it if it left it in. <laughs> if I'm honest. Well, we're going down. We're definitely on profile. Oh, look at the trails. Look at the trails. For the win. Awesome. Oh, sorry, your light goes out because the glide stop has been captured. The PDF says one, channel, one CH because only one autopilot has been selected. If you select Command B, that should change. It didn't. I've put Command B in, and it still says one CH. Okay. Armed. Set. Come back. Engines on continuous. Okay, let's take out the AP. Let's go manual. My aircraft. We'll turn off the auto throttle as well. Hello. Hang on, I'm just landing, so don't talk to me. <laughs> okay. Slightly below profile at the moment. Okay, my sim has just hung. Are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me? Right, thank you. I don't know what just happened, but I've got my sim back, so I'm happy. <laughs> I thought it died. Why are you hovering? I can't... What? I can't hear you. Not this second. Give me about five to ten minutes, and I'll see Doyle. If that's too late, then don't worry. I think we just had a massive, like, scenery load or something. But I'm so glad that that didn't die. <laughs> it could have been a weather load. Look at the lights! That's legit, that is. Wow. Wow. Okay, slightly above profile. Yeah, there's a very slight crosswind. It's mostly a nine knot headwind, but it is very slightly across. I'm going to steer it right slightly. It's some lovely weather. Give you a grease, I'll try. Can't promise, but I'll try. Where we land in Geneva, it's Geneva Lake there. Geneva over there, that's where I'll be going tomorrow.
Okay. We're going in. As if I'm going to reach up and put my wipers on. They've only got a tiny bit of rain. I'm not worried about it. It's not like I can't see. Wow, somebody needs to cut down some trees. Diesel. I wonder if I'll be able to get a replay of this thing. It's 80 knots. Woo! <laughs> that was alright. Let's clean up here. Welcome to Geneva. Where should we park? Should we go and park near the easy jets? It looks like they're all open stands, in which case. Right, we're going to try and watch the replay. Last time it just broke X-Plane. I don't know if it, that's been fixed in the patch or not, but we'll give it a whirl. Uh, we're flying British Airways, uh, just because I didn't have the skin for Swiss Air. So. Um... Thought it started the APU, but apparently not. Wait for the APU to fire up. Repo work for others. I'm going to try it because it didn't work when we tried it the other day on Saturday. It crashed X plane, but that's because they had a bug in there that crashed it if you had XUIPC, which I don't have, but I've got a feeling whatever bug they fixed might have fixed this one okay APU is on click that's it on packs can come off collision light can come off Right, I'm going to try for a replay now. <laughs> uh, Mr. Whiteland, did you know it's Squirrel's birthday? <laughs> yes! <laughs> Thank you, Whiteland. Tresarium from Lydia and my share will be one and one half birthday cakes and all your gifts, moon or bust. <laughs> Thank you, Tresarium. Yeah, what would help if I actually turned the bleeding engines off, wouldn't it? Like a star. So here we are in Geneva. I'm going to try to kick off the replay. When I do this, it may crash the sim. It doesn't matter because I'm going to stop flight simming now and play something else. But hopefully we can see the uh, the replay. Let's give it a whirl. Uh-oh. Let's, let's give it a minute. It's not looking good, but we'll give it a minute. Mr. Whiteland, Stephen, we need to hurry up. This is outrageous. Outstanding. Oh, Whiteland, look at that, 6.6. 6. <laughs> what do you need to hurry up with, Whiteland? Yeah, I think it's killed it. 
Thank you very much, Whiteland. Very kind of you. No, I think it's crashed it. Yeah, I think it's crashed it. I don't know why. I thought it would have worked, to be honest. This is Mr. Doyle. Johnny! I'm going to put the big camera on, but my overlays are broken, just so you know. So you're going to see weird stuff all over the place, because it's not fixed my overlays. Guys, you won't see Mr. Doyle. Oh my god, you're wet. Ugh. You won't see Mr. Doyle now until Thursday, so... Oh, oh, we're, be we're going there, are we, girlfriend? Huh? Huh? This is my birthday. If I say eat a schmacko, you eat a schmacko. Excuse me. It's my birthday, pal. <laughs> you little... Oh, <laughs> you absolute snob. You really are Lord Doyle, aren't you? Unbelievable. I guess he's, he's actually looking at all the chocolate over there, but you're not having chocolate, pal. He's not having that. It's my birthday. How dare you? <laughs> Guys, say bye-bye to Doyle, because he won't see him till Thursday now. He's going to go off into the uh, into the unknown, into the kennel. While we go to Geneva. Two nights in a kennel. That's what you're getting. See you pal. Go on. Off you go. Yeah, well, I think that officially answers that question. There is no replay at the moment. Which is so annoying, because I really wanted to see that. Oh, hang on. What the? Well, it. I pressed Alt R again. You should bring him over for Cuddly Daycare, where all of the dogs come. Hey, if you want Doll for a day. Oh, come on. You scumbag game. Alright, that's the rip. It looked like it was going to work, and then it didn't, so. Ah, uh, time to change some game. Rip X plane. I don't know why it doesn't uh, replay properly. What does the 32 mean, Whiteland? I'll let you guess. I'll let you work that one out, Whiteland. What does the 32 next to your name mean? Is that your age? Try deactivating Skymax. Ah, is that what it is? So if I deactivate it, will it work? Right, let's put my controller away. Uh, Mr. Ronisman, welcome to the community. Handle over there. Something stable now, lol. <laughs> right, okay. Skymax is doing it. So if I disable Skymax, that'll then work. I really wish you'd have told me that before, but whatever. I would have liked to have seen that approach because it looked pretty smooth. Oh, right, that's some pedals out of the way. Close my flight plan, close that folder, bring that up. What is this? Go away. <laughs> right, time to James game. Now, what do you fancy, guys? Let's do a quick poll here. I'll give you some options, that are the games that I want to play, but I'm actually not that bothered which one we do. So I'll let you guys vote and see what you think. If it's a split decision, I'll make the casting vote. But I'm going to give you three games, right? Butler Hives, Squirrel Love. Thank you, Butler Hives. Shadwell, Dawn thinks if he eats a schmacko, then he won't be able to eat more birthday cake. 
I'm going to give you a choice here of the game. The first game is uh, Warships, which is World of Warships. The second game is Sherlock, which is the continuation of Jack the Ripper. And the third game is Bridge, which is the new, which is Bridge Two, which is the follow-up to Bridge Constructor, which I've not played Bridge Two at all, so I don't even know it's any good. Um, but exclamation mark, vote space, and then your option: Bridge or Sherlock or Warships. You get one vote. You can move your vote, but you only get one vote. So let's see what you think, Mr. Roskell. Seven months support. Thank you, Roskell. Play CSGO. I don't actually play CSGO. I used to. But I don't anymore. Because you have to play it all the time, I think. Very very regularly, anyway. Bridge. is It's like Bridge Constructor. Do you remember Bridge Constructor? It's the same thing. It's the follow-up. Love the new sub and delivery display, Paul. Thank you, Connor. Wow, 70% bridge. Whoa. Didn't expect that. I'll show it you in Steam if you want. It's called... Um... Bridge 2. It's the follow-up to bridge... Hang on. It's that one. All right, well, let's start it up. Let's see what it's like. If it's rubbish, we'll change game. If it's any good, we'll keep doing it. But you guys have to help, okay? Right, let's see what Steam's got for this. Bridge... Has it got bridge two? Nope. Yes, it has got bridge two. No, it's got Bridget. Bridget Jones. It's got Bridget, bridge constructor, bridge, but no bridge two. So let's go with bridge constructor then. Derpy game. Oh, nice. Can we go full screen, please? English, 1920 by 1080, water high. Quality, high, image effects on, music, come down, save. Okay, I just turned ambient noise down to 60% and the birds just completely went. How does that work? UI effects, is that the one? What the heck is wrong with this game? If you if you slide it down to less than 60%, it goes, well, screw you. <laughs> I'm not even going to play any. You did civil engineering, but it takes quite a while, a while to get it in a straight within a couple of minutes. What do you mean? Right, let me change the title of this to... Um... Bridge 2. Okay. Profiles. Uh, new. Name. Squirrel. Okay, that's friendly. Load. <laughs> new game. Game controls. Oh my god. <clears throat> what about playing cities? We play cities on Saturday night, though. The 5% you slide away, the bird sounds. The remaining 60% is silence. You're not joking. Uh, game controls, decks, simple structures. Tutorial 1 to 8. Okay. Uh, game controls. Purposes mission seats the game controls. Every action is confirmed by left clicking and cancelling by right clicking. The camera can be panned by the WASD. Use the mouse wheel to zoom. It gives a try and then click start simulation. 
Okay, mouse wheel, left, right, yeah, whatever. Okay, so that didn't snap. Mission successful. Continue. Tutorial decks. Um, select a deck from the list below by left clicking. Now connect the piers and the anchorages by left clicking on the connection points. Click on start simulation when you're ready with your construction. Select a deck from the list below. Trust girder deck. Wow. What kind of audio was that? What kind of engine audio was that? <laughs> Simple structures. The second tutorial of a half-finished bridge, yet the middle bridge part is not built stable enough, so you have to complete it using truss girders. Keep in mind that triangles are the most stable form of construction. In case of vehicles colliding with your construction, you have to increase the vertical clearance. Uh, can we look down? Trust girder. Wait, what's not finished? Oh, he just wants me to put a triangle here. What do we attach it to? Anywhere? Is that it? Okay, so something's not right. Was that actually connected? Denied. How do you get rid of that? Clear bridge. Do we have to fi fix it to a particular thing, or do we have to... Oh, hang on. Does it want us to do this instead? Nope, I only get three. Um... I only get three girders, so I can't do two. I can't do a triangle. It must be this way. Did I just not do it right? Is that set? That's not set. A half-finished bridge is available. The middle bridge is not built stable enough, so you have to complete it using truss girders. Keep in mind that triangles are the most favorable form of construction. In the case of vehicles colliding with your construction... Alright, so does it just mean... Does it just mean, like... No, nope, that's too short. I can't build one that goes across. One middle and one on each entry. See you later, Mihu. One from each concrete pillar to above the middle point. Last one goes there. Oh, I see. You mean like that, then? Oh, you scumbag. Yeah, fair enough. Oh, so... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. We got that one. Structures with crossbeam. The bridge is identical to the one from tutorial 2, but this time the structures with crossbeams are available to you. While these are more stable than those without crossbeams, every vehicle will collide with them. So you have to construct beneath the actual deck. Okay, so now we're going underground, yeah? We have three of them again. MP1980 had to go up to Manchester uh, yesterday. Up to up the A1 saw two forces Oshkosh, Oshkosh wheeled tactical tankers. Has an 11.9 litre Caterpillar C12 445 brake engine 
The noise and the rumble thought of you and how much you love it. <laughs> Let me just get rid of that. I just clicked out and it took me out of the game. Thank you, Impy. This is one of the boring games every, Rosa. <laughs> Same shape, but underneath. Well, yeah. Okay. We've got to do that. And that. Yeah, it seems to be all right. Combine structures. In this tutorial, we use both truss girders with and without cross beams. To keep it simple, deck and arches are already built. As you can see, the lower part of the structure is built without the cross beam. Complete the structure with the remaining truss girders. Right, so how many have we got? Six. So we're basically going to go like this, right? next suspension cable woo the car sound effects are the best they're amazing this tutorial looks at functioning of suspenders and suspension cables the deck and the pylons are built already use a suspension cable for, for the large range between the pylons then attach the deck with suspenders to the suspension cable <coughs> The suspension cable is tensioned by two clicks on the upper link points of the piers and is bent down by moving the mouse. Move it deep down enough to get enough tension, otherwise the bridge will be unstable. Okay. The suspension cable is tensioned by two clicks on the upper link points of the piers and is bent down by moving the mouse. Okay, suspension cable. How far do you want to go? Here? Is that right? And then... How many have we got left? Four. One, two. Do we need any more than that? The bridge will start to wobble. Let's see what happens. Oh! I didn't see that over there. Well, that's seven of nine. Do we have to link those as well? Yeah, it was it worked. It worked. <laughs> Whiteland Fatality. May I suggest Polybridge as a future game? Uh, is that on Steam, Mr. Whiteland? Is that our game on Steam? Is it better or something? Polybridge. By Dry Cactus. Wasn't this an iPad? I'm pretty sure that was an iPad at some point. Is that one better or something? It might be better, but this one's newer. <laughs>
Pugs to Josh. Uh, high school just came back in the snow for another tiring day at school. I would also like to wish you a very happy birthday, Josh. Thank you, Josh. Get in from the snow and warm yourself up, sir. Tutorial 06 Concrete Arches. Uh, arches, I should say. In Bridge 2, there are two sorts of concrete arches. Simple and double concrete. The latter is available in this tutorial. While it can also be built above the deck, note that vehicles will collide with the crossbeams. Set up the construction the same way as you did for the suspension cable. Must have been another game. This is still alpha. Well, this one. Uh, double concrete arch. Lol. What? You want, mate? What are you supposed to do with this, then? Uh, thank you, ESG Gaming. I'm not sure why I'm not going to purge that, but whatever. Oh, coloured text. <laughs> In Bridge, there are two sorts of concrete arches, simple and double. The latter is available while it can also be built. Uh, Set up the construction the same way as you did for the other suspension cables. I don't understand. Where does it want me to put these things? To the other side, then bend up. Oh, okay. Oh, I get it. It's like the revert. I get it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A truss girder. Made in Scotland from girders. Solid as a rock. Okay. Bascule bridges. This and the following tutorial deal with bascule bridges. In bridge two, you should work with counterweights just like you would do normally in reality. Your task here is to find the correct position for your counterweight. Use the right side as a reference and complete the left one. Okay, can I actually see it working first? Rip. <laughs> so, like, where does it go? Thank you, Johnny Rotten. And all right, it was just like seriously loud. This is this is dumb. It doesn't even say where to put this. It just goes, yeah, put a counterweight in there. You're like, what? <laughs> Use the other side as a reference. Um, they look the same to me. Unless I'm missing something here. Two yellows by this. Oh, the other side being. Wait a sec. Do we just put the? Oh my Excellent. god! Wow! I only just saw that. Let me turn that down with the mixer. That is insane. Oh, it's testing it both ways, just in case it fall apart on the way back. Uh, Hoggy, how you doing, sir? Happy birthday, Paul. Uh, hope you got everything you wanted, and have a great day. Oh, thank you, Hoggy. I got lots and lots of chocolate. I got some pajamas. Uh, I got a some underpants. 
I got some socks, and I got a flight in a Cessna voucher that I can redeem any time. Thank you very much, Hoggy. Hope you're well, sir. Thank you for your birthday wishes and for popping in. Right, Bascule Bridges 2. I have indeed, Jenny Rotten. No, didn't get any theme socks. I just wanted black socks. That's all I wanted. Connor, I've opened uh, one parcel and one packet. Uh, I had a whiskey magazine from Tam O'Shanta. And I had a world of chocolate <laughs> from Captain Jack and Janet. Sounds like my birthdays these days except the voucher. I'm exceedingly great. Exceedingly great. Thank you. Awesome, Hoggy. Good to hear it. In this second tutorial dealing with Basque Bridges, we'll look at trunnions. They're like onions, but um, you mix it with truffles and you get trunnions. And separation joints for which corresponding parts are available. Both connections are indicated with the yellow, colours yellow trunnion and red separation joint. Decks with separation joints have an anchor point to stabilise the deck. Use the right side as a reference and complete the left one. I swear they make it sound way more complicated than they need to. Right, so where's my trunnion? There's my trunnion. Box beam deck separation joints. Box beam deck separation joint, which has got to be what this thing. Uh, okay, what do we link that to here? What is it supposed to link to? That's not Steve Yacht. That's a cruise ship. It's not a yacht. Good grief. It's got a gap in it. Is it meant to have a gap in it? I don't think it is. Uh oh. Whoa. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> Simulation failed. You think? Brilliant. I think I should have connected that one to that one. I left the gap in the road. Greetings from Mexico. Wow, thank you. The heck is a trunnion? Port Vale, 1994. It kind of works. Port Vale, 1994. Thank you very much. No message. Thank you for your support. Undisclosed power. Merry birthday. I have nothing witty or amazing to add. Just a general thanks for the streams and hope you have a great day. Thank you, Undisclosed Power. Um, I'm not sure what I did wrong. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know. Do we need to go maybe this way or something? And then to the... I don't know. Maybe it matters the direction you do it. Okay. So here we go. I think... It What am I doing wrong? So that pulls down on that. 
I honestly don't know what we're doing wrong here. So the problem with this is you can't actually see what what sections they put in. You can just see the completed thing, but you don't know what they did. You need to make the connector yellow like the right one. Well, that's what I'm kind of what I'm doing, isn't it? See, I can't come any further than that, so we're just... The cement shouldn't be connected from red to first yellow. What, here to here? You reckon? That? Nope, it's not having that. Connect the first yellow crossbeam thingy. You can't connect that to that. It doesn't work. You can connect that to that. That works. And then you can connect that to that, I guess. You try that. Why is it a stupid game, Duncan? What makes it a stupid game? You guys said it would work. They have a gap because the bridge can't open. But there's, the thing is, there's no gap here. There's a, well, there's a gap there, but you saw what happened when we had a gap here. Okay, I'm going to leave a gap there. I'm just going to go to that yellow and then to that red. Oh, that red to that red. First red to second yellow, second yellow to white, white to red. We've only got two pieces. Look, four of six. First red to second yellow, right? First red. There is no second yellow. There is no second yellow. What are you talking about? Surely we're not leaving a gap there. That makes no sense. We have two pieces. It says box beam deck four of six. Right? So they've used four on this side apparently. We have two left. Yellow to yellow. Okay, yellow to yellow. Gives us that. Now what? Thank you, Epic Felix. Are you sure the, the traffic's going to be okay with that? I've never seen a gap like that in a bridge before. It doesn't look safe. Red to red. That one to that one. Like that. Something's not right. Failed. You can't go red to red because it is too far. Leave a gap between the first and the first. If you leave a gap, the traffic doesn't go over it. Look at the other side. There is no gap. 
You have to start from the pillar to the red on both sides you get. I mean, like that. Yellow, yellow, white, Avis. Hang on. Indeed, Epic Felix. The bridge can't open, you need to leave a space. <laughs> Wrong, try again. If you leave a space, the traffic can't go across it. Thank you, one Slenderman. Okay, well, that's the tutorials done. <laughs> now for the hard stuff. One Slenderman, four months support. Thank you, one Slenderman. Why are you getting ignored? You're not. There's a lot of messages going on. Welcome to the missions. Your first task is to complete the small bridge because the initial enterprise crashed. Okay, we've got eight truss girders. Um, so that section there is taken care of by that, I reckon. Uh, there's support here, so we could sort of come, you know, like that, triangulate it. Or maybe like, you know, this. And then... Maybe, do you think? Yeah, it works. Unlocks test dummy. Oh, test trust go to deck dummy. What does that mean? Badly damaged. This bridge was badly damaged by poor maintenance and got unusable because only a few parts of the deck and structure were are extant. What is that? What is that? What does extant mean, guys? Restore its functionality. The parts Paul uses is called loose suspension. It touches the other part but isn't connected so it can move freely. Oh, is it? I'm the dummy, Alex. Okay. Um, trust girder deck, we've got two. And then trust girders, we've got a load. So trust girder deck is clearly going to go here. Like that. Your headrest is on upside down. You're the only one that spotted it all day. Now give yourself a piece of cake. The cake is a lie. Have to enjoy your cake, sir. The cake is a lie. Um, where are we going to go from here to here to here to here? Yeah, to here to here. Let's try that. See you later, Octron. Extant, still in existence, surviving. I have never heard of that word. I've learned a word today. Happy birthday, me. Extant is the word of the day, guys. Still surviving. I don't know where they pulled that word from. I have never heard anybody say that in the English language before. That's amazing. The central pier of the original bridge is removed. Therefore, it needs a new structure. Why did they remove it? Just put it back. Trust Gerda. No, it's called Bridge 2. Um, are we going over, over the top, do you think? Like this? And then that should do it.
Ex ante is more of a technical term. I don't know. I've just not heard of the word. Footing and cross beams. To build this bridge, you should use the footing on the cr on the steep slopes. Make sure make sure make sure that's Sean Connery wrote this. Make sure to install the trash girders and cross beam below the deck. <laughs> that's that's base that's brilliant. I love it. Anybody think they translated it from, from German? To build this bridge, you should use a footing on the steep slopes. Okay. Um, rip. Truss girder deck. Truss girder. Truss girder cross beams. You what, mate? You what, mate? Yeah, I've never heard of that word, imaginary. I'm sure I've never heard of that word. Uh, I'm... I think we've got to do some of this, right? So a couple of those. That's the deck put in. So we have two of the cross beams and then three of the girders. Hi, James Bond. <laughs> Where did the delivery panel go, Paul? What? It goes away when the train ends. Use the cross beams on the bottom. Does he want the cross beams here then? Was it on about that bit? It said put it on the slope. Oh, you stupid game. Are you kidding me? You should use the footing on the steep slopes. Make sure to install the truss girders with cross beam below the deck. And then it wants to go above deck. Can we do that? That looks pretty solid. Rawr, look at that. No stress. It's like Gandhi. I like how there's no form of currency in the game whatsoever. Del I think there is later, Delhound. I think we're just on the uh, the easy stuff at the moment. I think later it starts to give you limited um, limited amounts of money and stuff. Except for two peers, there are almost no defaults. For the trust girders with crossbeam are more rigid. It is appropriate to use them for the middle range. What does it mean there's no defaults? What's he talking about? Okay. So it wants you to do the cross beam in the middle and normal truss girders over here. So we could go like... Go like that. And then same over here. That looks bent. That is bent. It doesn't say what in what currency the money is in. It'll be in nuts, it's bound to be. <laughs> right, nine cross pieces. Um, how do you want to do this? Like that. No. Just no. Not Nothing can cross that. What the heck? That's got to go underneath. Go away. Oh, I can't use any more of them. That's enough, isn't it? We've still got three pieces left. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> maybe not. What? Oh, I've blown my budget. He doesn't like that.
<laughs> this isn't gonna work. I'm out of money. No rip. First blood. How can we um Zoggy, ex Zoggy, happy birthday, Paul, and best wishes for the second year of Squirrel. Thank you, Zoggy. Shot the girders on the outsides. You mean these? Yeah, I guess. I guess we could just like. What the hell? It still says I've used eight of eight. Oh, that was a deck thing. Durr. Um. So if we go maybe like that. It keeps it cheaper, doesn't it? You scumbag game. Yeah? Do we think? And then, do you think we come in from the pillar um, to here? Because it has to be pinned somewhere, doesn't it? Like that. We've got five pieces left. That seems pretty solid. The delivery sound caught you off guard. <laughs> yeah, that would catch you off guard. There you go. Nice. Inland navigation. The asymmet asymmetrically set pier is necessary to ensure enough width for the channel of the inland navigation. That also means enough vertical clearance. What he means is, is a boat needs to go down here. That's what he's trying to say. Do I wish it was my birthday every day? Are you kidding me? Imagine how old you'd be right now. Alright, trust girders we can do like that. So we've got that licked. Then we just got to do the cross beams over here. Oh, what? Scumbag game. Job done. Ooh, got a boat. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, it's a barge. It's all right. You can fit under the... <laughs> Duck! Oh, Riff! He broke my battleship! All right, looks like we're going to have to go over the top, then. I mean, he could have just ducked, couldn't he? I'll be honest with you. He's being unfriendly about that. Why did it put it a third camera angle so we couldn't actually see what was going on? <laughs> there you go, needy. You fell under the bridge now. Get back here, pal. I get that one. Oh, we've got, we got to put vehicles on it. <laughs> Nobody said we had vehicles, lol. Uh, let's get rid of those two. Hang on, we've got to get rid of that as well. Oh my god, game. Will you stop being, like, super annoying with your interface? 
Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> no! No, 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 no. Wait a minute. There you go. Definitely blend the boat. Blend the boat for everything. What do you mean rip again? There's nothing wrong with it. What are you talking about? Eh? Eh? Rip again. Simple railway bridge. Yeah, yeah, train sim fan, you're in now. Due to lowered piers, a separate structure below the superstructure is necessary. Okay. Box beam rail deck. Here we go. Truss girder cross beam. Like stitching things together, this. Piece of cake. That was your third try. I didn't see the first two. Who's Lydia? Wait till we start playing Transocean again. You'll find out. Box beam rail deck. Done. Build a light cable stayed bridge. This here is quite simple because you can use two pylons to bridge the 100 meter range. Okay. So we bring... Wait, what? Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. I think it wants me to build this first. And then... It wants me to string it up. Excellent. Like this, doesn't it? I think. Weatherman they happy birthday, Paul. Hope all hope it is going well. I have now gotten into the world of flight simulation <laughs> thanks to you and Matt. Also, I cannot wait for Transocean 2 to come out. Anyways, have a good birthday. Thank you, Weatherman. I'm sorry we're uh, costing you money. <laughs> Thank you for your delivery. Uh oh, doesn't like that. Is this right? This, does, this looks horrible. What do you reckon? That's okay as long as it, the traffic's not too heavy here because it's quite weak though, isn't it? While there's a middle pier available for this 80 meter bridge, the range has to be stabilized with truss girders. Okay. So, how many have we got? 26? Are you kidding me? Well, that's the fixed point at the end, isn't it? So, it's just really a matter of how... How deep do you reckon we should go? Like, that deep? Like that kind of thing? This takes a lot of pieces, good grief. There to there, to here, there again. I'll do. You can't go above with cross beams. You saw what happened.
we're on easy mode yeah we'll be moving on shortly when we've done these 140 meters bridge 140 meters we're just getting used to the interface and the kinds of bridges you can build and then the next category is medium i think uh keep the middle range strictly above the deck to ensure each vertical clearance of the inland navigation okay we've got another boat i hate the way it calls it inland navigation use a double concrete arch to attach the deck to it a double concrete that is a double concrete it's already put it in there okay let's get the deck in do we have to build the rest of it Okay, now we're just going to make it stay up. Congrats on my birthday, thank you. Actually, it's not a Quake donation sound battle cattle. It's Unreal Tournament. It's the other one. How do we... Um, hang on, we've got 20 truss girders and then cross, uh, cross beams. Where do we put the cross beams? We can put the cross beams uh, not here. We could put them here. This is actually quite tricky, this one. These cross beams on the top of the girders. Thank you, Mr. Swaggy. You mean like that? Cross means on the two short ends, maybe. I have tech James. He's cross beams on the side. Do you mean underneath here? Does that need to be a cross beam though? Dang it! Right click just deletes everything. Excellent. This is a bit annoying. Uh, Mrs. Don't uh, was thinking it will be thirsty work walking about Geneva, so use this donation for a glass of wine for you and Mrs. Squirrel. Oh, thank you, Mrs. Don't. I will do that. I'll treat Mrs. Squirrel. If the weather's nice, well, I'm going to try and get a restaurant near the lake or something. That'd be nice. Excellent. We just put straight pieces in here, do you reckon? I don't know. P.O. Box. Another one? I don't know if it's anything else. Squirrel TV, Paul Squirrel. <laughs> That's what it says. It says Squirrel TV, Paul Squirrel. P.O. Box. It's a green card. Verdori. Wir in Festi gewongen op Wegner bed. Right, can somebody translate that? <laughs> what does that actually say? Google Translate, it says, Dang it, found another party on my way to bed. Loestia. Big footy, it's big footy from the Netherlands. Found it among the birthday cards, and this basically explains every stream. <laughs> He's put the picture in. Well, yeah, apparently it translates to, uh, Dang it, I found another party on my way to bed, is what it says. Uh, happy birthday, and thank you for the awesome, funny, and relaxing streams. After a hectic day of work, it's such a treat to only worry about what kind of chocolate is the best, or what kind of coffee brand... Or what SCS should improve? Pondering about a square or round hella light on a roof. Which fellow nutters there are online? 
Will the Flex SRS activate during takeoff? Wondering if Doyle has already made an appearance that evening. Incredible lols because Steve can't fly his own made helicopter with jet thruster. Those invincible walls, etc. Just an awesome party. Greetings from the Netherlands from Big Footy. <laughs> Big Footy, that's an awesome card, sir. Thank you. Is Big Footy in chat? That's hilarious. That's a bro card. Thank you. You just spent the PO box. Oh, I can have a brew. I have a coffee, actually. Nine. Oh, tea. Oh, I don't know. I'm going. I'm straight. Um, well, like an hour or something. I'll take a little break. Is Big Fussy not here? Oh. After when he's in chat next, if somebody spots him, let me know. I'll have to read his card out to him. It's quite funny. Can we get away with that? Or is that going to sort of shimmy around? Should be alright. Oh no, it's shimmying. It's shimmying. We're going to need some cross pieces in here. No! Lol. Lol. Hung. <laughs> Look at this truck. He flipped it. Alright, we need some cross pieces. Um, How many? Do we just want to go like that, maybe? Oh, it won't reach. You scumbag. You absolute scumbag. They have a uh, a limit. Okay, it'll fit that way. Will that fit that way? No! No! Okay. Hmm. Can we do that? Boing. <laughs> I don't like those edges. It's going to pass that. Are you serious? Failed. I should think so. Why is that broken? Did I just need another piece here? Well, who would have thought? Bouncy bridge. I love it. You go over it and you're like... <laughs> Solo 6411. Happy... Uh-oh, forgot about that bit. Happy 21st birthday, Paul. I hope you have a nice birthday. And damn it, Lydia. Thank you, Solo, for your first delivery as well. Lydia will make a comeback. We shall destroy Lydia once more. Peck Boy. Happy birthday, Paul. I wish you the best in times ahead. Oh, thank you, Peck Boy. Edges. What's wrong with the edges? Right, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of these left, and then we're on to the next category. For this bridge, you have only the cheapest parts, and they're of few. Who? Right, who talks like this? For this bridge, you will have only the cheapest parts, and they're of few. But maybe you could save some. Maybe you could save some more costs. <laughs> Honestly, it feels like somebody wrote the manual and then just put it into Google Translate. There are few. Show me a person who doesn't live in Shakespearean England who talks like that. Has this got a boat coming in? This bridge will have one of the cheapest parts, and there are a few, but maybe you could save some, some costs. Okay. We have two of those uh, cross beams and ten of these, so maybe we can just kind of build the lowest thing we can find. No stream. 
Apache. Eh? <laughs> what? Rip! That's a bit wobbly. We've got two pieces left. Got no pieces left. See this M two four seven. Get away. We need an extra one there. It'd be fine if you put a piece here, but it's happy with that. So whatever. Thank you, Patchy. Yo, the old city harbour bridge was badly damaged after the last flood. Miraculously, the arch has survived. Rebuild the bridge. Yeah, that is pretty miraculous. Okay. Trust Gerda. It's five months, Apache, thank you. It was a bit of a wibble wobble bridge. How many left? Eight thirteen. Oops. Didn't see that piece was missing. Yay! 60 meter for the railway. Bridge the 60 meter wide gorge with a railway bridge in great height. For this, you can use the more solid I beams with cross beam for the first time. Ah, okay. I beam cross beam. Okay, how many have we got? Six, eight. Six, eight of them. How far down do we need to go? That's always my question. So you can't quite reach there, but you can reach here. You think that'll do it? I've only I've used three I'm three short on the pieces. I've only used five of eight. Let's see if we can cope with two trains. <laughs> oh my god! Rip. Okay, that don't work. Eight pieces, it reckons. Is that what reach? I don't get it. Does it want me to do it like this then? Oh no, that's all eight pieces. Just like the old bridge projects, exactly. This is the follow-up. Cross it in the middle. What do you mean, cross it in the middle? Like that. Oh, does it let you do that? No way. Didn't actually know it let you do that. I thought it was like Ghostbusters, don't cross the streams. Okay. Let's see if that can go with it. Yay! Using the Twitch app, Mr. Steelman. It's alright. Sometimes it says you're offline, though, when you're not. Thanks. Pay attention to the additional footing on the piers to complete this 100 metre railway bridge. Seven of those. Start here. Well, that piece, that doesn't need anything, does it? And neither does that. It's only these. So it wants us to sort of come down here, but that won't reach. So we've got to go to, like, here, maybe? And then, will that reach to there? Yes, it will. 
and then cross it again. No, you scumbag. Where do we need to go, do you think? Because it won't reach the... That looks wrong. <laughs> that looks so bad. There's a reason why you've never seen this design before. And the reason is, it's because I'm a genius. <laughs> I can't believe that worked. I can't believe that worked. That's insane. That should not have worked. Rip it advance. Take it back. Build a small suspension bridge over a floodway. Build a small suspension bridge over a floodway. Okay. See, I'm just secretly a bridge genius. That's what it is. Undiscovered talent. <laughs> I actually saved money on that one. Uh, where are we suspending from? I beams for them, suspender seven, suspension cable. Okay, do we need to build like really high then, like that? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We need to build it here, don't we? Build it like that, and then. Uh, do we want to put I beams here? See, we've got two I beams left. Maybe that's just too high. Maybe it should be like that. Thing is, in these kinds of bridges, I always thought that the cable was here, not the I beam. I thought it was they, they run a cable like that, don't they? First like they pin run. it here, run Excellent. it across the top, let it sag, run it to the back, and pin it. And yet, suspiciously, we've got four I beams. I'm going to be an architect when I'm older. Oh, my nose. Anonymous, happy birthday, Paul. Thank you very much, whoever that was from. Um, if if you didn't want to be known, that's fine. But if you did, then you just need to sign in with Twitch first. But happy birthday, um, Paul. Thank you very much for that. Appreciate that. So that needs to go like that, right? And then we suspend it. And then we do that. We've got four left. One, two, three, four. Do we need to make one here, do you think? See, we've got an I-beam piece left. You know why? Because it removed it. Oh my god, game. Right-click deletes anything. Oh, are you serious? Are you serious? Is that because I've put a cable in now? You scumbag game. You absolute scumbag game. <laughs> this is weird. Right, let's do that again. Preferably without deleting anything this time. Yeah, and then let's go that way. What? OK, 
Okay, that's out of budget, apparently. <laughs> I was just trying to make it safe. Boing! <laughs> Failed. See, I don't think you need I-beams here. I think that's where the budget's going. I reckon you can do that. Because that's what I would do. I also wonder if this is too high. Maybe get the cable and then just let it come down a bit lower. Like that, maybe. That'll make it cheaper. That's a bit more solid. Oh, you scumbag! You kidding me? Apparently it's too bouncy here. If you saw the cable, we've got two I-beams left. I mean, I could put the I-beams back. But I think we might run out of budget. It's just too much money. Cable needs more come down. Needs what? Needs to come down more, do you reckon? Like that? Do we want eye beams on the edge or not? Is there some mathematics be, be, behind how far you lower that cable? Now that's the same design as last time, except we've now got two cables left. Ah! <laughs> ah! I'm like one cable away from putting that in. Oh, well, apparently that's okay. We'll take it. For this bridge, there are clear guidelines from the form of the structure. Adapt your construction to it and complement the given part. Oh, my God. Rip. Right, uh, now truss girders go on the top, otherwise nothing can get underneath, so we'll start with that. Same over here. And then down here, we'll have the cross beamy things. Works a treat. <laughs> okay, so what's wrong with that? We just need to go further out. No, what? I've run out of budget again. Wait, why have I got one girder deck left? Something isn't right here. A bit higher. Yeah, but didn't it give me a piece already? Dinner for you, YJ. Yeah, I can't move that one. It's 
The fact we've got one piece left here is bugging me. Oh, hang on. Can we reach that? No. That almost reaches, but not quite. Denied. Can't link that. I cannot link that. The fact there's one piece left. If there was two, I'd be thinking maybe go over the top. Need shorter deck pieces. So instead of going there, we go, I don't know, here? First blood. Excellent. Like that, you're thinking? Colonel Hawk. Happy birthday, Paul. Just come home from work. Uh, had to work an hour late, but I'm here now to enjoy the stream with my favourite streamer. Take care, stay awesome, and have fun tomorrow. Oh, thank you, Colonel Hawk. I shall certainly try. Looking forward to having a nice little day off. That won't work. Think that works? It's a bit unorthodox. Doesn't look very stable. Budget hype. Hmm. Make a more direct route to the pillars. See, I can't quite reach them. It's cunningly placed so that you can't quite reach that pillar. And if you go here, then your next joint is here, and it, and it just seems weird. Oh, man. Just when you think you've got a solution, it goes, Meh, budget exploded. Oh, we could be on a winner. We could be on to a winner. Who says triangles? You can have boxes. This railway bridge should be no problem at all for someone with your abilities. I like the sound of that. Right, let's start off by... Let's get rid of that. Hmm, that's, that's uncanny, that is. It's starting to make me think about how big each section should be. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we could go for three, and then four, and then three. Hang on, that's only use five of seven. Which kind of implies. Something like that instead. Um, so over here we can go on the top. With a triangle. Is that stable? No. Because that piece needs to be a cross beam. 
Then that would be stable. Okay, so the edges are stable now, I think. Have I ever had a Sunday dinner? Isn't that like saying, have you ever had breakfast? You need one cross member per direction. What does that mean exactly? Per direction. Those bars are doing nothing on the sides. Well, these? They're holding that in the air, aren't they? If I take those away, that'll fall down. I'm pretty certain gravity works that way. You don't even need anything at the edges at all. Outstanding. Oh, here. That's true. That's true, because that's a single piece, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. The Northern Alex, how are you? Oh, my God, Alex. What the hell? Happy birthday, my friend. I wish you all the best and many more uh, happy, healthy, and busy years to come. Oh, my God. Thank you very, very much, Alex. I don't know what to say. Um... You all know Northern Alex, guys. If you don't know Northern Alex, then go and follow his YouTube channel and his Twitch because he's a lovely chap and he deserves more followers. So uh, go on. Can uh, one of the mods permit Northern Alex? And then, Alex, can you link your uh, YouTube um, in there, please? Because I can't remember it because I seem to remember it's got a weird name. In fact, it looks more like one of my passwords than anything else. Permit Northern Alex. Alex, get your YouTube links in there, sir. And please go and give him a follow, guys. Or a sub. We call it a sub on YouTube, don't we? Um, Right. Cross beams across the top. Let's go for... How high do we need to go, do you think? I don't know how high these things are going to be. Try again, Alex. After the mods have permitted you. <laughs> oh, you've actually got the Northern Alex now, have you? Wow. You've actually got it. Go on, try again. You should be alright now. There you go. The Northern Alex CA. Yay! Go and give that a sub, guys. Um, um, I'm making this up as I go along, but it doesn't look too bad, if I'm honest. Oh, that piece is not done, is it? That works. Thank you for subscribing to Alex, guys. Already subbed. <laughs> just finished fighting with this game. Oh, have you finished it? I've only just started. Jim Dandy. Four months. Thank you, Jim. Yeah, it's 17 today. Extraordinary. You're welcome, Alex. Most welcome. Right, we've only got three left. Build a cable stay bridge for 100 meters. For this, a pylon is available. Ooh, a pylon. When I was at school, a pylon was when, like, about five lads jumped on top of you. That was a pylon. Twelve pieces. Nice backgrounds. Not enough pylons, what do you mean? There's only one. There's only one pylon.
Wow, this looks like um, one of the bridges in Wales. Over the Menai. Don't need that one. Asymmetric bridge hype. Build an 80 meter railway bridge by means of a concrete arch. Ooh. Okay, let's put the road in. Um, how long do you think you're going to stream today? Uh, till 9 p.m. and then I'm going. Because I've got to get up very, very early tomorrow to fly to Geneva for the day. So I've got to get out of bed at something stupid like 4.30. So yeah, I'm only streaming until 9. Which means we've got another three and a half hours of squirrely goodness. <laughs> right, so we've got that. And then we've got this. Uh-oh. Wait, that doesn't actually reach that far. How's that going to work? I can't reach the bridge to here. Oh, it will now. What? It's gone by game. Right, there we go. I beam it. Um... That doesn't link. That links. Making it up. That's missed. Does that look about right? Next week it's my turn with birthday, but I'm only turning 16. <laughs> Wait, I should end the stream by flying to Geneva solo. Lol. As if we didn't just do that. <laughs> Failed? Failed? What did I do wrong? I've used all the pieces. I've only got one eye beam left. How can I possibly improve on this? Is it just the wrong size arch? It must be. I bent one a bit. Do I need to have the arch lower, do you think? Only verticals needed for the arch. I don't think that makes it better, if I'm honest. You sure about that? Denied. Oh, look at the bend. It's like Beckham. See, that looks like a proper bridge to me. Oh, you scumbag. I think it has to be the size of the arch. I think maybe you need it to be smaller or bigger. Probably smaller. Like I say, I think there are some mathematics at work here. Elastic bridges are definitely no good, though. Uh, Treo? Is that how we say your name? Treo? I think so. Resume sub. Thank you very much, Trail. Continued support hype. I'll find out how many months in a minute. Alright, you to there. And then we'll try making it like that. Okay. Okay. 
So I'm going to link this. Come back. There we go. Oh god, that's even worse. <laughs> that's even more bendy. Hungo rip. Woo! <laughs> Did you see that? It went pinging off into physics land. That was brilliant. That was like Matt in the IXEG. Okay, that doesn't work. Let's get rid of that. That looks amazing. Go higher. Higher. Lower than a six, you say? <laughs> let me try it. Oh, ooh, that almost works on its own. But let me just... Um... Oh, you scumbag. No. That's the problem with making the bridge higher. I ain't going to work. Nope. Oh, we damaged the bridge. It's still not right. I think it's still a bit, I think it's too high now. That was one, two, three, four squares, right? That was like the, I'm going to try three. Support the outsides, why? How, how's that going to help? See, I think they, they're more important because they provide tension laterally as well as vertically. So I'm going to go with that. Go back game. Right, let's try that. It's still bouncy. Two arches. We've only got one. We've only got one component. The arch is the main supporting structure, so you want to spread out the weight of the arch. But the arch is pinned at either end, so the arch just sits in an arc, doesn't it? Then everything that's attached to it pulls inwards on it. I don't see why a strut to the edge is going to work. I've still got some budget left. Oh, that nearly worked. That nearly worked. Maybe we just need more of these things, what do you think? You just place the arch on the centre inside all the way along. Make the triangles the other way around. Okay. I don't even know what that means. Can you place the arch just on the centre inside all the way along? If you make the arch lower, then you reduce how much vertical movement it can take if you make it higher you reach the limit of the actual beams that's the problem that you face make the diagonals more symmetric i think because i thought we already had that in the first place I think we had that pattern, but not at that height, so... Oh, you scumbag. One tile! First blood. Excellent. Why not cross the I-beam supports? Where to? 
I've got a 3,600 budget now. I can't really go very far. Even that's out of the question. Uh, Mickey69, gratis part 17. Ars Dagen, happy 17th birthday from Sweden, Paul. <laughs> Thank you for all the great content you put out each week and have a great day in Geneva. Thank you, Mick69. I shall certainly try. Squirrel, you are centering the stress in the middle by having the vertex at the, on the bottom. By having the vertex on the bottom. One, two, three. We've tried three, we've tried four. I honestly don't think five squares high is going to work, but we'll try it. I think that'll be out of range of the eye beams, if I'm honest. Ms. Anna Banana, who is seven months of support. Thank you, Ms. Anna Banana. One, two, three, four, five. And the eye beam won't reach now. So you just hit a different problem. So where do you go from here? Like, into crazy land like this? <laughs> Look at that! You see, that's why I'm a bridge genius. Nobody designs bridges like me. I've got a 14,000 budget left and two trains just went over my bridge. <laughs> this will be known as the Y bridge. The Y front bridge design. These engineers don't know about the Y front bridge design yet. But they shall. <laughs> we should patent this stuff, guys. We should patent this. <laughs> For this 100 meter railway bridge, two piers and a concrete arch are available. Two piers and a concrete arch. Okay. Well, let's start off by linking that up. And then we'll link that up. We've now got three pieces of deck left. One would take us there. Two and three. Okay, that's fine. The three pieces of deck. We've got a concrete arch that we can put over the top. But then we've got... Hang on a minute. Do we want the concrete arch underneath? I think we do. Excellent. I think we do. The reason you call it why is because that's the question every engineer asks seeing the bridge. They look at it and go, why? Front. Biggest Dickus Junior, happy 17th birthday, Paul. <laughs> it gives me $17, lol. Thank you very much. Appreciate the tip. Right, let's go with um, that. That doesn't need anything. I'm thinking keep it simple. Oh, the most simple compression bridge ever. Of course it's upside down. It works both ways, you know. Did you not know that? I'm an engineer genius. How does it work? Because you've got two forces in bridges, right? Compression or tension. And if you go one way, you get compression. If you go the other way, you get tension. But it's fine. Genius madman, same thing. It's beautiful. Oh, we're on medium. <gasps> We've gone scary. You've got medium and hard. They're the only ones left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Fifteen mediums you've got. And about the same hard, I think.
Good luck in medium. Uh, thank you, XX Stig. You're back from dinner. Welcome back, YJ. Go for hard. Uh, I can't actually. It's locked. Concrete has no tensional strength. Uh, well, reinforced concrete has a steel rod going right through it under tension, so it does. Use the footing to build this slightly non-orthodox non bridge. Use the footing. We've got a footing here. What have we got here? A truss girder. We've got four truss girders and a suspension stuff. How many have we got? Four. We've only got four pieces. That's the killer here. Now, whatever it is is going to pass under this tr under this bridge has got to be a minimum of one block high, so we can't build too much below that. But these are not crossbeam pieces anyway. Build a sort of suspension bridge, but there's not. We can't really not with that many pieces. One, two, three, four, five. That's the maximum height we can get out of one piece. So we can do that. How is this going to hold up? I'm sorry, but how is this going to hold? That doesn't need one. <laughs> okay. I don't even know my own I don't even know my own powers. It worked. Lightweight. Now you will need a good load distribution to complete this complex bridge. Pay attention to ensure enough vertical clearance for the inland navigation. That's what Lydia does. She does a lot of inland navigation. Come on. Okay, that's all the decking in there. Is this just, it's only a road, isn't it? <laughs> 70 years old and building bridges like a pro. Right, now we trust we can go over the top with crossbeam, we can go underneath. We could do. We could support that there, support that there, right? But for this one. How many have we got? We've got 16 truss girders. I reckon we need to go over the top as well. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking, like, come this way. Build a couple of those like that. Use those pieces there like that. Okay, it's a little bit. So we need a bit more cross beam. There you go. Uh, Lydia, yeah, second part's coming out soon, Alex, isn't it? Isn't it May, I think? Um, Dutch Ben, happy birthday. Hard to go in Dutch. Yeah, I'll take your word for that. <laughs> Dutch Ben, I have no idea what you just said, though.
piece of cake. I don't need driving lessons, Yoji. I, I just need to take the test now. I've been simming enough. I don't need to take lessons. For this bridge, with three ranges, there are some instructions on part of the city. Integrate the available parts into your construction to follow these instructions. What the heck did that just say? In other words, there are some pieces given that you can't move. That's basically what it meant. I don't like the way it, it says, oh, you've got 16 deck pieces, but then you only need 14. Hmm. This one's going to take some thinking about. What have we got there? Oh, wow. That's not even a cross piece. A crossbeam piece. So that needs supporting. I don't understand why that's not a crossbeam. So when the police ask you for your driver's license, you just say that you don't have one because you've played enough sims. No, no, no. I'm saying I'll take my driving test, but I don't need the lessons. That's what I'm saying. I just got to learn the braking distances and then I'll be able to fly it. Maybe the extra deck is in case you want to build an up ramp on the bridge. <laughs> Maybe. Um, what do you think? Do you think we should build another piece here? Or cuz to me it hang on, we've got eye beams. I beams that's interesting because I beams can go very high hmm you can also do that Nope. That doesn't hold at all. Because that's pulling in there. There's nothing to stop it from pulling in. Interesting. This is interesting. Benna45. Happy birthday, Paul, as we say in Denmark. Yes, yes, yes. Hope you uh, both get a good day tomorrow. Thank you very much, Benna. I can't even hope to pronounce that. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Yeah, the problem is here, we need an I-beam. We clearly need an I-beam here. Like that. Possibly not that high. Uh, because this needs supporting. In fact, you know what? Let's make it not as high as that. Let's make it as high as it needs to be. Pretty certain we need those. After that, we could go... So that'll take the strain there, won't it? And then we could I-beam it across to here to balance that off. It sounded like Dole sneezing. <laughs> what, you mean my, uh, my foreign language pronunciation? I'm not surprised. Let's go to there like that. Go to there like that. It's getting there. Although at the moment, this is nothing holding this up, really. It almost needs something here. I presume it's the same down here. Okay. Got this to mess about with. 
Oh, 10. 10 of 10 used. Don't think that's going to work. That's going to rock all day, that is. Nope. Herm. <laughs> there we could change that I beam to do that. Well, that seems like madness. Yeah, that's madness. I've only got one cross beam left. No. Rip budget. This one's actually quite tricky, isn't it? See, so that needs to be held up. And you can't just pin it to that. Unless that's a cross beam, that might work. I oh, see it just drops straight away. Wow. Let's minimize the angles. I know, right? It's tricky though, isn't it? It just instantly kind of sags, doesn't it? Peggy Man, 948. Happy birthday, Paul. I hope you have a good time tomorrow. My mum says happy birthday too. Oh, thank you, Piggy Man and mum. Appreciate that. Just put very long beams from the concrete to the beam. <laughs> what? The problem is budget. That's oh, Mr. Road here. Hmm. This is tricky. Wow, that actually just snapped off. That has to be eye beams. Maybe I should go underneath with this. Oh, you can't, because that flipping thing's fixed. Because this, the, the city planner doesn't go, hey, build us a bridge. He goes, build us a bridge, but you have to use these specific pieces that are in this particular place. And you're like, who's the bridge designer here? Could possibly get away with not having that. If we instead do that. Oh, no, that's not going to work. Yeah, it's not bad. Use a cross beam to get up to here. Oh, that's solid. That works. We could do that on the other side. So we have like an I beam to here. And then that up to. Ooh. Ooh. The engineering genius strikes again. <laughs> That's a pretty good bridge, actually. You can see the whole thing is like under this massive tension. <laughs> 
What if you delete the lower part under the bridge and put it on top? You could do, except that piece there is fixed and you can't not have it. So you have to have it. So you couldn't uh, you couldn't build on top if you wanted to. Build a 160 meter suspension bridge. Blimey. Box beam deck trunnion. Oh no! It's given us trunnions, guys. I don't like trunnions. They taste horrible. It's a sort out not slammer because I go timed out for him for symbol spam. I don't know how because I never put symbols in the messages. I lost out in chat. This happened a few times now, and each time I have to use, not use symbols. Very frustrating that I get timeouts for something I'm not doing because this I feel I can't chat without Nutslammer giving me timeouts. Um, well, everybody else is managing to chat just fine, Woodpants. Um, that's the thing you've got to consider here. Uh, I agree that Nutslammer is uh, in need of some tweaking, but it doesn't specifically target anybody. It just looks at certain patterns so if you put dot 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 it probably considers that to be symbol spam if you put multiple emoticons uh, and you're not a sub it will consider that symbol spam so i i think what's happening is you're just using too many symbols at once that's what's happening you got timed out yesterday or two days ago for too many dots uh, it, it the thing is it goes dot 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 is the same as somebody going you know, spam, 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 spam with any symbol. It just treats it as a pattern of symbols. Sitting with your babysitter watching Squirrel Bodder. Nice. Just notice, uh, just joined. Very happy birthday. Thank you, uh, L Breg and Legend Gaming. Uh, I'm not taking uh, game suggestions at the moment, Callum. Th thank you anyway. Yeah, you see, King King Regulus just did exactly that. It's exactly what you just did. So you get purged first, that's a bit of a clue, and then you get timed out. It's it's hard, you know, it's hard to get it's hard to, to make a bot that is perfect, okay? Because it either goes it either lets people do too much and then they exploit it, or it's a little bit overzealous and it purges when it perhaps shouldn't. It's trying to get the balance is very difficult. But Woodpants just what a period, it's full stops. Just don't bother with the full stops and the commas all over the place and you'll be fine. Right, I if I've actually forgotten how to use these trunnion things. Uh okay, a girder deck trunnion. A suspender and a cable. Um, trust girder deck. Let's do that. We've got four of these, so I'm thinking we put the two on the edge and then we get the trunnions out. Box beam deck trunnion and then a cable. And then we'll need to hold this piece up, won't we? So we'll have to do that, I guess. Like that. Yeah, we'll we'll tweak not slammer wood pants, but um to be honest, you know, we we can tweak not slammer, but you can also tweak yourself. You know, you can you can decide what you want to put into chat. And if you have to keep putting loads of symbols in, then I'm afraid Nutslammer is probably going to give you a hard time. <laughs> That's the way it is, I'm afraid. Right, let's see what that looks like when we start that. It's very, very, very saggy. Do we need to... Do we just need more cable to make that better? Uh-oh. Why did that not work? Denied. It's still a bit stag, isn't it? I think.
think it's a fairly standard pattern to have this on a suspension bridge. It kind of gives you the lateral force, doesn't it? Let's try that. Well, it stays up. That's not bad. What's that new voice? That, that's Pringle. Pringle with his bouncer voice. Okay, so when a train starts... When somebody's sending a delivery for the first time, it starts a train. At that point, you get uh, first blood. When the train finishes and it goes away again, you get denied. That's it. Were they Renaults going over the bridge? If they were, I would have built that bridge differently. It's Pringles bouncer voice. Trust girder in the mountains. For this 80 meter railway bridge are only trust girders with cross beams available. The asymmetrical positioning of the footing makes the task even more difficult. Right. We're up to this, aren't we, peeps? We're up to this. Cross beam. Okay. Yeah, the train's gone. That's why it said denied, because the train's gone. When the train goes, that's when you get the denied. Why have we got two potential connection points? That's interesting. Oh, look at that. That's pure scumbaggery. How many of these pieces have we got? Ten? Okay, hang on. Let's clear the bridge. We're going to have to do a lot shorter than this. Let's try it in two pieces. Let's try that. SCS software will put a new runner truck in ETS2. Where is that new truck? The, the Range T. I remember them talking about that. Seven? Eight months ago? First blood. You see? There's your first blood. And then when that train ends, you get denied. Okay, that looks like it's in the wrong place. That would have been better though, wouldn't it? How annoying. Um... Looks all right. Uh, Mace102 just got home after a hard day of graft, and good to see you streaming, Squirrel. A very happy birthday, and I hope that there's many more to come. Thank you very much, Mace. Appreciate that. It said in the blog of the New France DLC two to three weeks ago. What? Ah, that was what they're doing. That's what they're doing. They're timing it. They've probably had it ready for ages, and they're timing it for the France DLC, aren't they? Scumbags. Makes sense. Scumbags. Right, it's just a matter of how many cross pieces we need now. Probably more than that. <laughs> Rip. That looked absolutely fine. And then all of a sudden it went, nope. <laughs> that genuinely looked fine until it went, nope. 
It's actually that side that was the problem, though, wasn't it? That side was okay. I think it was here. Sixteen thousand budget remaining. High five. Looks like the old bridge over the Saskatchewan River. Never seen it, Alex. It's about the stable as well. Hey, eat those words. Mr. Referick. Excellent. Hello, birthday squirrel, or should I say engineer of the master engineers? I like that. That works. Most important builder of the extreme engineers to the max? Yeah, that's a good title. Are you going to build it in real life so that we can walk over it, Kappa? Oh, if you want to. I can build it. And you can walk over it. I can't be responsible for anything that happens after that. The, this bascule bridge should work with only one wide wing, for this weight has to be turned... What? Let me just Google that. Are, are we making words up as we go along here? What was the other word we had this today? The other lie? What does turd even mean? Dictionary definition. The weight of the wrapping, receptacle, or conveyance containing goods. What? A deduction from the gross weight to allow for this. Any of several vetches native to Europe. What's a vetch? A deduction from gross weight made to allow for the weight of a container. I'm still none the wiser. Like, you what? You what? I have no idea what it just told me. Anyway, we need counterweights. Or something. Box beam! Um, hmm. Err. I call, I'm calling Google Translate on that one as well. Oh, I'll tell you what, I, I don't fully understand how this works. It, it kind of gives us a quest, the admission in the early stages in the tutorial, and this is the first one we've had, and I don't quite understand what's going on yet. So there's the counterbalance weight, yeah? So that's going to come down, presumably. That's going to go up. Box beam joint separation joints. So that can go... like that. And then... we build that to there. How does this work? It opens at the left. What? You're saying it opens here? What? Right, is Woodpants still going on about this? Right, Woodpants, can we just drop it? I've explained myself, I've explained Nut Slammer, and I've told you what to do. Just drop it, dude. It's getting a bit tiresome now. Everybody else copes with Nut Slammer. Um, what do we need to do here? I don't get it. I really don't. The box beam deck goes where? Looks to be a rolling lift bridge. I can't work out how it's meant to operate. 
hydraulic on and that did nothing so there's the hydraulic is that pulling or pushing yeah well let, let's just drop it everybody just drop it so if I go there and then click start that just snaps off okay <laughs> good to know and if I do that, click start, that snaps off. So you clearly need an eye beam. You must need an eye beam here or something. You have to get your army of cake. What? UK Dan put a bowl uh, in the on the kitchen scales and tilt until it reads 20 grams guest then you have when you press the tear button for it to return back to zero grams before measuring your ingredients happy birthday by the way ah I see what you mean I see what you mean is that what it means it's basically okay there's no tear button it's called a zero button where i'm from but you basically put a weight on there and then you zero the weight so it, it now weighs effectively nothing i know what you mean by the meaning but the word i've not come across before true sorry from yoda please uh a day ticket can have i your birthday is is it birthday happy moon or bust lydia hates me i just about read that true <laughs> The counterweight is on the left at the first piece and the build is on is out until the fourth pillar. That's what I was saying. Somebody said it, it opens on the left, and I think that's nonsense because the weight is here. So I think that drops down, doesn't it? That pushes up and that drops down. So we need to build something over here. The question is what? We've only got one hydraulic, which I'm guessing means you build I don't know how wide this needs to be. Let's say uh, I don't know. Actually we can find out, can't we? It's the length of that. So let's say that, and then that, like that. Is that how we do this? And then you basically, I don't know, get an I-beam to this. Um, and what, an I-beam? How do we connect that? How do we connect that to that? Yeah, I've used all the I beams. We need a way of arching this up, don't we? If we go like that with an I beam. And then a trust girder. I don't think that's going to hold. Eek. Box beam deck first. What here? You reckon? We've only got three box beam pieces though, so I mean. We need some over here as well. doesn't give you any help on this one does it okay we clearly need an i beam for this so we've used too many i beams which means the design's wrong that i beam must surely hold that up wow that's just not even strong enough that's not even strong enough Maybe this is just too high. Maybe that should be a truss girder. That should be an I beam. Now 
That doesn't reach. This is actually tricky. Whoa. <laughs> Whoops. One of those games it looks simple but it isn't. It's the the problem is I don't feel like we've had enough tuition on this on how this works. Even the tutorial, one single tutorial mission on this was confusing. I mean, that ain't gonna work. Look at it, it's awful. I think that's all right as it is. I think it just needs to be more solid on this side. Brute Force OAP. Wow. I've not heard from you for ages. Hey, Squirrel. Many happy returns, mate. I hope the missus is taking you out tonight. Brute Force. No, not tonight, sir. We are... Um, I'm going to finish at 9 o'clock, and then in the morning, early hours, we're flying out to Geneva for the day. So we're spending the day in Geneva, then returning in, at night. So that will have to replace going out. We're going to go and eat some meals around Geneva somewhere. But uh, good to hear from you. Wow. Not heard your name for a long time. I hope you are well. Are you still streaming Brute Force? Make the opening piece smaller. Which opening piece? This piece. No, SCS are not in Geneva. SCS are in Prague. Completely <laughs> different place. See, I don't know where the, the break point needs to be for this. It has to go like that, doesn't it? See you later, Alex. Have a good day. Considering giving it up, only get three to six viewers. What? Are you serious? What the heck? You used to get more than that when you played Call of Duty, didn't you? What is it you're playing now? Butler Hives wanted to say that today was amazing. GG for you uh, for today's stream. I have to go to jujitsu and we'll be back after nine time so i'll miss the rest of the stream nothing blood and veins hashtag kit kat butler have a good day don't beat too, somebody up too too badly okay have a good one i shall see you on thursday that won't go to there this is weird This is tough. I don't get it. I just don't get it. This has to be held up somehow. The question is how. See, that doesn't work. Why doesn't it work? I think this piece is wrong. What's wrong with that, guys? I've got a separation here, and I've got a separation here. So why won't that lift? Is it because the weight of it's wrong? Is it just too far that way, so it's just too much weight? Playing Black Ops 3. Love the game, but pretty crap at it. <laughs> Lost a lot of flame f followers when my PC went down as I was offline for many weeks. Yeah, I remember you You didn't stream for weeks. I didn't know why. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, I, I don't play Black Ops Brute Force, so... You know, if, if I chuck followers in your direction, it's... <laughs> they probably won't stay, because if we don't want to watch Black Ops, so... It, it's tricky. 
Crippy One. Hey, Paul, just wanted to wish you a very happy 17th birthday. I would love to subscribe, but my dodgy US internet and lack of funds prevent me. Anyway, I'm wondering when the slipper cam might return. Uh, I'll tell you what. There you go. There's the slipper cam right there. Slipper cam just for you. Uh... You need to pull, have it pull up the whole way to the concrete pillar. Yeah, I get that this is trying to come up. The majority of the weight is in the wrong place. So this this needs to be counterbalanced with that. If this is too heavy, that can't... I mean, that's what's going on, right? It can't lift it because it's too heavy. It's as simple as that. If I was to do that... But even now it doesn't want to move. This is really weird. It's a balance stuff symmetrically, but you just get you're playing guessing games, aren't you? Because you don't know it doesn't show you how much weight there is on this side and how much weight there is on this side. Uh thank you, Billings Yar. The back is too heavy, so you need to span it all the way to counterbalance it. What well, this is too heavy. But isn't isn't this trying to push? It's trying to extend upwards, yeah? So the pivot point is here. That piece there will come down. And then this section goes up. It seems like the left side is stuck. I, I, that's what I'm thinking. But I think I did this the right way. I took a separation joint. I can't connect it through there. What I can do is connect from here. And you say that's that. So that's now separated from there. I could do that, but <laughs> how can that not move? Yeah, brute force. I, I, just doing a charity stream isn't going to get you people watching. That's the thing. It, it isn't. I don't even know how you do those, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> That's definitely separated because I can see it though. Remove everything and fin the balance weight of the opening bridge first. I can't touch that. Oh, hang on. I can touch that. Wait a minute. I can connect to that, but why would I want to? Maybe that's the problem. Maybe I need to. See, if I connect that to there, it can't move at all, can it? That's just dumb. Why would you have this connection point? There's something not right here. Why would it give me that? Uh, see you, imaginary one, two, three. Have a good one. Don't think you can pivot on the concrete. Well, on that. But they... We haven't got a hydraulic. It's only given us these, these components. Beams, that's it. Trust scared of that. Why is that going to help? Maybe I've just got the wrong idea. The connection points on the bottom of the left side is where the hydraulic attaches. Okay, so... I, I thought that this... I don't even see why this is working yet.
Which way is this bridge pivoting? I'm beginning to question myself now. I thought that this was lifting up, but maybe it isn't, because what's this for? Separation joints on the back run the road from the right to the left rather than the left to right. I think you did it the other way. I think I did it from left to right so that I joined the red dots. I think you have to join the red dots. That's what it looks like at the start. So by default, it doesn't do anything. This tries to move and it can't. It highlights it red because it's under stress. Two squares from the pivot in each direction remove everything except the hydros. Don't let, don't connect the truss left. Just let it hang. I don't get it. Hearts haulage, happy birthday! Here's just a little something for you on your birthday. I hope it's been a good day for you. Hearts haulage, thank you very much. It has indeed. Appreciate that support. The truss should go. Those connection points are normally there. It doesn't need to be connected. I don't think it. I don't think they can go there either. It just seems bizarre to me. It seems absolutely bizarre to me. Move the pistons to the other side of the pillar. I can't move them. You can't touch that. Everything's fixed. The only thing you have is, is this. But I can't imagine they're there for no reason. But the red bridge mover on the other side of the pillar. You can't move this. I don't think you understand this. Look, if you re if you clear the bridge, that's reset. That's the scenario. You can't move this. You can't mess with it. All you can do is connect to these dots and then the other dots. That's it. You can't touch that. I have tried testing it without anything. Look, if you click start, nothing happens. That piece gets stressed, and then it stops. You buy the game on Steam. Yeah, exactly. You'd be connecting a fixed point to a moving deck. So ask yourself this question. Why do you have these connection dots? Bullseye. What are they for? Blade 24 CZ, happy birthday, Paul. Keep up the great work. Yacht 2 Bullseye. <laughs> Thank you, Blade. Thank you very much. Box beam deck has to go here. Separation has to go like that because you have to get that red, I think, to connect to that red. That's how I think you get the separation. We can then have a truss girder come up and connect to that just to give it some stability. We could then if we connect to that, it ain't going to work because it can't move if we do that. So, how are you supposed to keep that stable? Put a box beam between the two pillars. Yeah, but if I do that, how does this thing rotate? When that starts to move down, that's not flexible, is it? The 
connection is a lock for when it's fully open. Oh, you mean that goes down to there? That's 90 degrees. They don't usually go that far, do they? This is so weird. What is this game? Bridge game. You have to make bridges. <laughs> so that can be fixed like that. And then we need to fix this one somehow. What does the box beam do? Rip. <laughs> Maybe a box beam between the weight and the pillar. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to give up on that one for now. Hydraulic on, hydraulic on. Hey, wait, what's this? Hydraulic on, hydraulic on. Shit. Vehicle. Oh, it tells you. Ah. Hydraulic on, then ship, then hydraulic off, then vehicle. It tells you what's going to happen in the list. For this, the weight has to be turned by means of counterweights. Yeah, it's telling you that you have to guess what it is. It's ridiculous, to be honest with you. Because what it's saying is, you need to guess the exact counterbalance for the other side with no information. Like, I'm not going to tell you what the weight of that is. I'm not going to say what the weight of this is. I'm just going to let you guess all day long until you get it right. You, know, you could be faffing around with this, just trying to get that until it's exactly what it should be. It's just silly. Are they red due to compression or stress? I don't know. I wish I did. It was your birthday yesterday, Neddy. Nice. I hope that saved it. Quit game. I'm done. I am done with that one. That's bridge two done. That's flight simulator done. Right. Let's think. Half past six. That gives us about two and a half hours. Um... You want a bit of Sherlock? Not rage quit. I've just had enough of it now. We've done, like, how many missions have we done? Loads of them. We've done absolutely loads of missions. I played X-Plane at the start. Nah, I need to play Scrap Mechanic with other people, really. That's the problem with Scrap Mechanic. Factorio is the same. Scrap Mechanic and Factorio, you have to play with other people, really. GTA is the same. <laughs> I don't really want to play um, Planet Coast, so I'm not in a very kind of construction-y mood right now. Obviously, too, I can't be bothered to get the wheel out. <laughs> I haven't got any new maps for Omsi 2 anyway. We could play some Warships. We could play some Sherlock. Um, 
what do you fancy out of those two? I'm not doing farming sim because we're doing that on Thursday. Uh, train sim, I don't want to play because I'm making a video on that shortly. So, Skylines, I play on Saturday though, don't I? I don't want to play Skylines really. And that falls under the construction. I'm not feeling very creative, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Right, let's do, a, let's do a poll between uh, Sherlock and um, Warships. There you go. Exclamation mark, vote, space, Sherlock. Or exclamation mark, vote, space, Warships. Let's see what you feel about those two. I haven't got World of Tanks installed, Yankee. It would take ages to install that. You get one vote, by the way. Denied. If you're wondering what denied was, it's because the train ended. <laughs> What's boring, Jagus? And at the end of the day, it is my birthday. I should be allowed to play whatever I want. <laughs> should I not? <laughs> Are you watching in source, Big Footy? Mickey, I'm not going to start downloading Live for Speed and setting up my wheel and configuring the controls. I've got just over two hours left. I'm not going to be doing that. Time for some packets. That's true. I have got some stuff to open here. I should definitely open that next, shouldn't I? 55% Sherlock, 45% Warships. Why, wow, you guys are split. Silent Hunter's a complicated game, dude. Besides, how could you resist? Out of the way, I don't like the look of you. How could you resist that? <laughs> right, voting is closed. You are mostly split down the middle with a slight tint towards Sherlock. Let's open a parcel here. Thank you, Reptile Rick. I have a giant box here. I have no idea what's in it or who it's from. It's absolutely huge. And it says, and by my way, my overlay's broken on this overlay, but yeah, whatever. It says, do not open till birthday. Uh, not till after 6 p.m. Okay, so this one I can open because it says after 6 p.m. I just hope. Happy 90th birthday, H HX. I'm not that young, dude. First blood. Okay, let me see. There's a letter here. I can find out who it's from. Okay, there's a War and Peace letter here. Baz! Baz, are you here? Is Baz Tard here? Otherwise known as Baz. I don't want to read this if he's not here. Box hype, indeed. Okay, so Baz is not here, because he did say 6pm. Okay. Why is he not here? It says 6 p.m. on this box. That's not very punctual. All right, and this one, I'll open this one. Not to be opened until birthday stream. This one's from Sweden. I hope they're in chat. <laughs> He's at work. That's outrageous, that is.
Yeah, I'm not doing it, Tam, don't worry. I've got buzzers down there. Right, this is from Leonard1973 and family. Is Leonard in chat? Aha, you're the Leonard. We can open this one. <laughs> right then. And yes, the overlays are broken in this view. I have to fix them. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. Um, Icliff407, all of us in TeamSpeak want to join us for the Farm Sim Practice server. Want you to join us. I'm not doing that. Not while I'm live. I'm not jumping into a room full of people while I'm streaming. I'm sorry. <laughs> Nikki22552020 months support. Thank you, Nikki. 20 months. Right. Hi, Squirrel. Happy birthday. Greetings from the island of the Roses, Gotland, Sweden. Hope all is well with you and the family. Here are some small birthday gifts from me. Since both you and Doyle liked the pig so much, I sent you two, but you'll have to fight over who gets which. Here's a translation of what is written on the bags and explaining what it is. Hang on. So, first thing is... <laughs> which is brilliant, because now we have this situation. <laughs> oh my god. Dawes not here now. He's gone to the kennel, but um, yeah, when he gets back. <laughs> oh my god. I've got an entire family of piglets. This is insane. Oh dear. I've got an entire family of pigs. Um, tea blends are produced locally on the island. The Gotland Summer Blend. This tea contains fruit berries and summer fruits, which are scented and... You know what? My, my daughter is going to love this. She loves fruit teas. Oh wow, I can smell it. Blimey. It's a nice little box. I, I, I can smell this. That's amazing. From Gotland. This, this is incredible. Let me open this. Yeah, my daughter loves, um, like, flavoured teas and stuff. She's going to go crazy for this. Here we go. Gotland Summer Blending is what that one says. Uh, Gotland Summer Blend. This tea contains fruit berries and summer flowers, which are very scented and flavorful. It actually smells like um, like uh, candy or something. Then I think we've got this one, which is uh, cot blending. Hedgehog mixture. Cot is short for Egglecot, which is a hedgehog in English. The hedgehog was Gotland's country at county animal 1988, a different kind of tea with hints of citrus and mint. Wow. And then finally, this one which is the Calling Blending. This is for Mrs. Squirrel. Uh, Hag Mixture, straight translation. This black tea is spicy and burly with both feet on the ground. A smoky flavour stands out clearly. <laughs> Mrs. Squirrel. I'll ignore the hag bit, all right? <laughs> Otherwise, I might get my ear bitten off. And then, there's a... Ooh, look at that. An acorn tea infuser. That's really cool. An acorn tea infuser. That's brilliant. Look at that. That's just like the little nut house thing, isn't it? Fantastic. And then a little packet, which I don't know what's in here. Hang on.
Oh, wow, nice. A taste of chili. Hot and sweet habanero and jalapeno chili sauce bottles. Look at that. Little bottles. Fantastic. They will definitely get used. Leonard, they are very awesome presents that you've sent there. And thank you very, very much for those. Can we get some GGs in chat for Leonard? They're, they are superb. Excellent. I shall definitely try those teas when I get back from uh, Geneva. That one, though, in particular. That one. Oh, my God. That's, that smells fantastic. Right. Let's uh, go for some Sherlock. How can you get the GG emotes? You have to sub the, the, the GGs of mine. Oh, Mrs. Squirrel's here. Take a huh? Take a I can do. Look at this. Smell that. It's a tea. Oh, that sounds nice. Mm. And there's that one. It's a hedgehog blend. <laughs> and this one's for you. Crank! <laughs> That's the... Oh. It translates to hag. Denied. <laughs> I'm staying it while I'm online so you can't hit me. Uh, I got some chilies. Little bottles of chilli sauce. Ooh. Habanero. And uh, some more pigs. <laughs> so now I've got four. Two, two black and two pink. And uh, look at this, a little tea infuser. Looks like an acorn Aww, nut. Oh, that's cute. Nice, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, that's really cute. Um, can we stop with a taco spam, please? Thank you. Just like pointless emote spamming tacos. It's getting a bit annoying, actually. Um, I don't know, what have you got? Some food or something? Uh, guys, I'm just going to take a 10-minute break and just grab a bite to eat because I've not eaten in the last... Um, my hunger been line, been online since twelve, almost seven hours. Even though the time is less five, which is wrong. Uh, so yeah, I shall go and grab a bite to eat. I shall be ten minutes, and then I shall be right back, and we'll carry on with some Sherlock. That's okay. Let me change the um, let me change the game to Sherlock. Like I don't mind emotes being used, guys, but. When they're completely contextless, do you know what I mean? There's just no context to them at all. Like, if we're going salty, we go PJ Salt, fine. Yeah, I'm, I'm down with that. If we're going GG, we go GG, blah, blah, blah. But just chucking in tacos for no reason. Nah, not down with that. Uh, Sherlock Holmes versus Jack the Ripper. Let me just change the title and the game mode. Okay. Right, I've changed the game. Um, I'll be 10 minutes. I'm going to go and grab some food. I'll be 10 minutes, then I'll pop the wax back onto my brace so I can talk again. Um, I'll be back. What are we on? 18.53. Yeah, 10 minutes, basically. Okay, and I shall see you when I get back. Don't need a maturity flag. It's a um, PG-13 game.
I'm back! <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh. I haven't even put wax back in yet. The chair show, I know. I'm sorry. Right. For you lovely, lovely, lovely people who have waited, uh, I'm going to give away some games. While I put wax back in and stuff. Uh, I did have one. Hang on, where's it gone? Let me find it. I had, a, I had a really good giveaway, I just gotta find it. <clears throat> Bubblegum Gangster! Good name. Thank you for subscribing, Bubblegum Gangster. Welcome to the Nut House. Perfect timing. Were well, you just sat there waiting? <laughs> Can we give Bubblegum a lovely nutty welcome, everyone? Thank you for your support, Bubblegum. Uh, Mrs. Ross Gale, three months. Missed that one. Nikki, 2255 with 20 months. Thank you, Nikki. Wow, this is how you see chat. What do you mean? I like that. Yeah. You're right, Craig. Two. So I go put my uh, wax in. Um, right. Where is it? I had a good. Um, let me find it. There it is. Hang on. There it is. Right. <clears throat> corner. What do you mean corner? <clears throat> All right. I put the wax onto my brace. That stops it from scraping the side of my uh, face. What did I eat? It was um, like a beef stew with uh mash like cream mash and then um like a flavored mash and broccoli just worked out guys i need to leave the house tomorrow at 5 a.m <laughs> 5 a.m i've got to go oh my god i am so dead um yeah i've got a giveaway here guys i've been not giving out for quite a while actually i had it sat in my collection today sounds like a good day to do that it's the star wars collection um, it's actually a pack worth like £75, so it's quite a big pack. But if you like Star Wars, you definitely want to win this. Uh, I will bump this up. I'll do some more giveaways in a minute on a lower uh, sub-multiplier, but it's quite a good giveaway, this one. Star Wars Collection. Uh, I'm going to put in the keyword of Vader. So, exclamation mark Vader. If you want to win a Star Wars Collection bumper giveaway, it's Steam on PC. Yeah, it's worth like $100, this thing. Um, it's, it's a bit of a pack. And today seems like an appropriate day to give that away. So exclamation mark Vader, please don't enter more than once. Nut Slammer will take you out. Be very, very careful. Nut Slammer is unforgiving, as you know. Uh, is Baz in chat yet? Has Baz come back to chat, by the way? Because uh, can we open his present yet? It would be good to do it right now if he is. Ah, he's here. He's here. <laughs> Ah, speak of the devil. First blood. Baz, happy birthday, Paul. Glad to, great to finally see you. Had such an awful day at work, having to do two men work all alone. That's why I'm so late, but now you're officially out to open my package. <laughs> that timing, Baz. Right. Let's open Baz's bumper box. Baz's bumper big box. It is quite a package, this one. What the heck he's put in here? But not only that. <laughs> he sent like an entire letter. Baz, are you definitely here in chat? Because I've not seen you say anything yet, apart from the delivery. What game is it? Uh, it's a Star Wars collection. Bumper Star Wars collection. Thank you for your happy birthday uh, wishes. He's liking the new layout farming sim. Yeah, it's it's quite nice. Glad you like it. Nine next to Baz's name is the number of months that he's been subscribed. That's what it is. 
Hey Paul, first of all, happy birthday to the best streamer YouTuber out there. Now this delivery is actually overdue, as I talked about it stream months ago, but work kept me busy that time, and I thought, why not make a nice birthday present instead? This is a long-awaited German snacks treat delivery I was talking about. I've included a section of typical German stuff that you might never have heard of over there. If you have any questions of what it actually is, go ahead and ask me. Uh, I hope most of it is to your taste, as I found out what you like through many streams, uh, and also the stuff. Also, I like all of that stuff. A big shout out and thanks also to your fellow mods, Dr. Dre and Captain Jack 1988, which helped me find out if that stuff exists in the UK or not. <laughs> he's, he's even put emoticons in here. Actually, there's one thing in the package that is not German, but from Murica. But uh, as I know that you love hot food, I had to get you one of these, as they are known as the hottest mass-produced crisps in the world and i absolutely love them but they're not that easy to get over here okay handle these with caution but i dare you to try some on stream <laughs> uh, but there's just there's there's more than just food remember the cup i bought i brought up as an idea on the stream most likely not but see yourself this just had to be done and not to forget there are also some snacks there for sir lord doyle himself in the package uh, I so hope he likes these, as he can't get schmackos in Germany. So I asked a friend that owns dogs what might be a good choice and took those. Okay. Doyle's not here at the moment, Baz. He's gone to the kennel now, because we're going away tomorrow. So he's sleeping in the kennel tonight and tomorrow night, and then I have to go and get him on Thursday. Of course, you can share some of the stuff also with Mrs. Squirrel and the younger squirrels. A big thanks uh, in the end for all the joy you bring with your streams to me and the Nuthouse. Without you... My life would be so much more boring for sure. Well, maybe I would have more money not buying all the games that you got me to play. <laughs> I'd absolutely love to watch your content, being part of the awesome community. Keep doing this awesome job as long as you can. Yacht 2, Squirrel is Life, Squirrel is Love, GG's, with much greetings from Bavaria, Germany. Uh, Baz, 1984. Thank you very much, Baz, for that letter. Let me see what, what you've chucked in here. like so much stuff so much bubble wrap here it's unbelievable lots and lots of bubble wrap um before i do that let me draw this okay so the star wars bumper collection has been won by byron dh byron dh many congratulations to you uh well done byron you've won a copy of star wars collection uh, you've got 48 hours. Actually, no, you've got three days to claim because I'll be away tomorrow, so that's not far. <laughs> Byron, I'll give you uh, till Friday to put in a claim for that, but all you need to do is send me a message on Twitch, subject raffle claim, and put your email address in that message, and I'll get that sent to you. Um, maybe not tonight. You might have to wait till Thursday when I'm back, but make sure you're sending your claim, Byron DH, and many congratulations. Let me fish out something else here for you guys. Um... Let's go with a copy of Spin Tires. Oh, yeah, Spin Tires. Spin those tires. Um, keyword is Spin Tires. There you go. Exclamation mark Spin Tires. If you want to win a copy of that game, exclamation mark Spin Tires. In lowercase, only enter once, guys. Do not go uppercase on that. Mrs. Arsenic, how are you? Mikkel BK10, thank you for subbing. Welcome to Nuthouse, Mikkel. I can see the uh, lovely nutty welcome there. Happy birthday. Thank you, Mrs. Arsenic. Mikkel BK, thank you for your support. Welcome to the community. This is what Baz has got me. Uh, Habanero Pepper. Are these the hot ones? Nice. Look at this. They're called Blur's Death Rain. Blur's Death Rain. Habanero Pepper Potato Chips. Apparently the hottest you can get. Oh man, I'm looking forward to trying those. I am so looking forward to trying those. I was just reading the thing on the back. It's like from the guy who made it. Please eat responsibly. That's amazing. Blur's Death Rain. Fantastic. Oh yeah, I've got Prezzy's here. I've got, I've got a box full of stuff here. What else has he got me? Peppy's Snack Bacon. Oh, I love these. Little bacon rasher things. 
absolutely love this. I'm not trying one now, because I'll, I'll open it, I won't be able to eat it all, and then I'm going to have to wait until I get back and it'll go off. Snack bacon, they're awesome. I don't, honestly, I've put wax back in and everything, I don't want to eat it now. I'll eat it on another stream, but not tonight. Kessel chips, roasted bacon style. Oh, I'm seeing a bacon theme here. I'm liking the bacon theme. <laughs> Roasted bacon style crisps. What on earth is this? What are they? Some kind of nutty thing? What's that? Ergnug Locken. And it's got a picture of a, um, like a nut on it or something. You want full screen? Hang on. Oh, my overlay's broken, but whatever. Look. Erdnussen, it says. Mit fresh gemahlenen Erdnussen. For it's fresh something. <laughs> oh man. Are these for Doyle? Look at these. Look at these doily snacks. Puffy peanuts, is that what they are? Puffy peanuts. Ah. Fantastic. Nuts and bacon, you can't go wrong with that, can you? Um, we've got those. We've got various packets of Chico's, which look a bit like an equivalent thing. Doll's going to love these. They look really good. Dolly snacks. I like little bacon strips as well. He's going to love them. I'm going to put them in his little basket down here. What else have we got? XXL pack of knickknacks. David Williams reference right there. <laughs> Double crunch peanuts. Oh man. Baz, these snacks are too good. Uh, Hanuta. Koenig Nussbreg Nussig. Can somebody translate that? Shouting at Doll, do you want some bitter? <laughs> schnell, schnell. Um, Ritter Sport Dunkel Walnuts. Oh, walnut. That's got to be walnut, right? Hot nuts, is that what... Tra <laughs> Hot nuts, is that the translation of that one? Fantastic. Walnut. Um... Looks like a fruit and nut by the symbol. That looks a bit like what we have over here. It's called fruit and nut. And then that one, uh, Volnus. Volnus? I'm guessing. They look nice. Oh my god, I'm running out of space in the corner over here. Oh man, are you kidding me? Milk or chocolate bars. Look at this. Look at this. Oreo flavour. What have we got here? Hazelnut Oreo. Don't even know what that is. Some kind of biscuit flavour. Oh, that's a biscuit. What's that one? I'm not sure what that is. There you go. I have to look at my screen to see where they are on the camera. Mmm. <laughs> Uh oh, you see, everything's fallen off now. <laughs> Nassini! It's a dime bar. Milk it is nice. Nassini! They look nice, actually. I think it's about that. That thing is about at least six, maybe seven inches in size. It's huge. What a snack bar. Then, oh man, did you actually know I like rum? Like, I love rum and raisin ice cream. I bet you did know I like rum, don't you? And then, uh, this looks like a Snickers bar. Nestle Nuts. That, that, honestly, that looks like a Snickers to me. That, though. The... 
Unbelievable. What's this one? Barbecue knickknacks. Little mini bag of knickknacks. I might take them tomorrow as a snack on the plane. That might be good on the plane, actually. And then uh, Duplo. I thought Duplo was a toy. Duplo bricks. Is that not a toy? Some kind of nutty snack. I don't know. I'm sure Duplo make toys. Spetsy. What is this? Oh, that's that drink you're on about? Oh my god, the drink that you cannot get this over here. Spetsy, that's what you were talking about, isn't it? Something with cola. Was it orange? Orange lemonade and cola, wasn't it? Coffee, Haltiga, orange limonade and cola. What's the translation? Yeah, Duplo is the big Lego for toddlers. That was the cola with orange or something. I have never tried this. I'm, I'm definitely going to try that. Fanta and cola. I'm really curious. I'm really curious to what that tastes like. And then finally, a little box, which I think is the the, uh, the mug he was on about. It says my name on the can. It says, it says Paul Anna. I don't know what Paul Anna is. <laughs> oh, genius. Look, I remember this. Keep calm and have a kappa. <laughs> You gotta love that. Squirrel TV official streaming mug. Keep calm and have a kappa. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Baz. I don't know what to say. That is um absolutely awesome. Can we get some GG's and love and chat for Baz? That is a, a splendid birthday package. Can't wait to try those crisps. They're going to be absolutely lovely. <clears throat> Thank you very much, Baz. Um, my corner is just full of stuff now. It's insane. I, I can't even move on my desk anymore. I've got no room. So I've got four pigs in front of me. I've got four pigs. Chris, chocolate, chili. Oh, man. Cans. Matt flasks. <laughs> oh, dear. Let's draw this spin tires. Let's see who won the spin tires. Matty, age 49. Congratulations, Matty. You've just won a copy of spin tires. Matty, you've got till Friday to send me an, uh, a message on Twitch. Subject raffle claim and put your email address in there, Matty. Because I need that to gift, Steam gift that to you. Many congratulations, Matty. Let's reset that. And chuck ourselves back into Sherlock. Right, now I've got about 90 minutes, guys. About an hour and a half before I need to wind up, unfortunately. I can't be with you for the rest of the night because, well, I have to get up at 4 o'clock tomorrow, uh, which is only <coughs> eight and a half hours away, which is pretty insane. So, yeah. Resume. Well, I just tweeted you a caption picture of you holding all the pigs. <laughs> Have a look. Oh, yeah, I see it. I see it. There's all the pigs. Thank you, Epic Felix. Just read my uh, tweets now. Are you going to Trap Fest Live in Peterborough? Yes, I am. Fed, uh, what's your name? Fed. Ford, Ford and 55. Yes, I am. Right, does anybody remember where we got up to? Is Camden Street what? Who just subbed? Oh, Mrs. Arsenic. <laughs> Thank you for subscribing, Mrs. Arsenic. I really appreciate that. Thank you very much. Can we give a massive nutty welcome to Mrs. Arsenic? She's also a streamer, guys, in case you didn't know. And Snowflex 
also double sub hype, Mrs. Arsenic and Slow Fact at the same time. Thank you so much. Thank you for supporting the stream. Welcome to the Nut House. Thank you. Welcome to the community, Mrs. Arsenic and Snowflex. Happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> You've wanted the game for a while, Matty. Well, you're going to get it now. Massive, massive nutty welcome. Wow, that is insane. Thank you, guys. Does anybody remember where we was up to in this? Can everybody remember? You can now flaunt your nuts. Oh, I'm not going to say that myself. <laughs> oh, it's okay for a woman to say that. <laughs> oh, man, you should see some of the stuff we got. More? Oh, yeah. Remember that one you got from UPS? Yeah. Oh, my coffee's gone cold. I got... Talking about this on the stream a while, Spetsy it's called. It's actually a mixture of Fanta and Cola. It's apparently very nice. <laughs> apparently it's very nice. First I'm gonna try, fact, I'm gonna try a bit now. Excellent. I'm gonna try a little bit of Spetsy. Because I'm really curious as to what this tastes like. So here goes guys, my first ever drink of Spetsy. It's actually surprisingly nice. Do you want a bit? It tastes a little bit like... Initially it tastes like ginger beer and then it... It's different, isn't it? Yeah. Mm, nice. I didn't think it would work, Where's but it from? actually does. Huh? Where's it from? Germany. Mm. You could probably get one in Geneva. Mix it yourself as well, cola and Fanta. Um, I've got some crisps here, look. Apparently the, the world's hottest crisps. Uh, Blur's Death Rain. <laughs> Somebody's found out you like chilli crisps, do you? Oh, you think? Baz has bought me, like, nuts, chilies, chocolate. No. You you couldn't say that. That's too chilli for you. You don't know. And then just Challenge loads. Look, look at these amazing chocolates. Look at these. Walnut. Oh. Totally like just amazing chocolate. That's not going in there. And then loads of stuff for Doily. Oh. Look at these. Oh, Packet of things for Doily. Oh. <laughs> so I've left them in his bowl for when he gets. Well, he's. He's bed. He's, he's little bed here. <clears throat> huh? <laughs> He'll be back. We're back Thursday, don't worry. <laughs> oh dear. Don't forget the bitter. What's the what's the German word for sit? I need to teach Doll how to sit in German and then put bitter at the end, then he can have a snack. I can't remember where we got to. What did we get to? Items, dialogues. What was the last thing we talked about? Ah, yes. London Hospital, I remember. Talked to some guy about some stuff. <laughs> sit. Really? Sit is sit? Honestly? <laughs> Sits bitter. Brilliant. That's easy to remember. <laughs> We've not named the pigs. We've got four of them now. I don't know what we're going to do. Uh, Tomato, with one and a half years of support. Thank you, Tomato. Mr. Holixter, happy birthday, nearly 18, when you can do everything that's currently illegal, Kappa. Have a great trip tomorrow. Thank you, Holixter. Uh, Sauron's Hot Dogs, first delivery as well. Uh, happy birthday, Squirrel. Hope you have a great trip tomorrow. Watching you got me into ETS and ATS, and now I'm enjoying the games of my new G27 and Track IR, Scania for life. Sauron's Hot Dogs, nice. Thank you very much. We did Watson, not Holmes, need to speak to Bluto. How do you remember? Okay, so Watson. Um, what do we need to do next? That's the problem with not playing this game for a week. You're like, what did I do? Do we need to go out, do you think? 
Oh my god. What do we need to do, guys? Honestly, get get me going here. We need to disguise ourselves. Disguised and go and see Bluto. Okay. Is this our room or is this um, Sherlock's? Uh, going to Geneva for the day, Mrs. Arsenic. Um, it's like £50 to fly to Geneva and back. So, we were looking for things to do. I happened to like the flight to Geneva, and I was like, well, let's do it. Let's just fly to Geneva for the day. Why not? So, yeah, we're going to land there, and then do whatever. We'll go to the tourist office and figure some stuff out, and then fly back. <laughs> That's it, really. Baz, Paul, just be aware to open that Ritter Sport Chocolade you actually have to take the whole bar, break it in half, and then automatically opens. And nuts are not Snickers. We have Snickers as well. Okay. I'll consider myself told off, man. <laughs> How do we put the disguise on? Wait, I need to turn that in-game music down because it got flipping VOD muted last time. That exact music got VOD muted. Sound set up. Where are you? Video, graphics, yeah, music volume, let's put it right down, there we go, that should hopefully stop us from getting VOD muted this time, yeah, it's just a birthday thing, I was going to do something for a day, that's it. That's, that's all it is. It's a birthday trip. Um, we have it already on from last time. Ah, did we get... Where's the mirror? Oh, the mirrors don't work. All right, we need to go and see Bluto, right? Where's Bluto? London Hospital. Dialogues. I need to get my head in the game. Yeah, he made a list, he went away, we started to nosy around, we put some stuff together, didn't we? Pocket knife. Because we had like a picture of a heart and we had to decode things, didn't we? That was it. Message from the heart was six. And then we had to decode it all. Using that heart and encyclopedia. Go and see Lake Geneva. So the uh, like the plane comes in over Lake Geneva, and then you land at the airport, and then right nearby is Lake Geneva. But yeah, we're definitely going to try and go to that. It depends on the weather. The weather's going to be dry, I think. So we might try and get a boat trip on the lake. Can you save between scenarios? You've done a timeline, I remember. Uh, I don't know what you mean, Connor. Ride the bus in Geneva or go to the CERN or something. Yeah, you can get a day pass for about 18 euros, I think it is. And it, you can travel all around the city on different public transport. See how squirrel one? Deduction, conclusion, notes. Timeline. Doing timeline. I don't know. Where do we need to go? Usually to go skiing, never to the town itself. Ah. I'm doing the opposite. <laughs> I doubt you can go to Geneva and avoid at least seeing the lake. Oh, you can't avoid seeing it. I think what Mrs. Arsenic means is go to the lake itself. I'm going to try and get a little boat. You can get like... When I looked on the tourist information office, there's a boat trip that lasts an hour that goes at 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, and 4 o'clock on a weekday. So I'm going to try and take that, and it'll take you around um, the lake a little bit. So I'd like to get that if possible. Blue saw the guy in the pub in the wasp nest. Okay, right. Uh, so we need to go to... I have no reason to go that way. That way? Okay, let's go to Whitechapel to... Let's go. Let's go. Chaps, come on. Let's go to the wasp's nest. I love the way you said that. The wasp's nest. It's 
Excuse me, my good man. Now nah, time to chat. I've got business, got it? I've got a business, got it? All right, mate. Why is everybody walk tight turning around in unison? That is so freaky. I think it's been raining there all day, Mrs. Arsenic, but tomorrow's supposed to be dry. So I think we're gonna get lucky. Oi, what'll it be to drink, Gav? What'll it be? Hmm. I have nothing to ask. What's this? Old tongue. We're just gonna pick things up from the bar and take it. As hmm. you do. There's something here. Turn the game audio back up. What's he just seen? Impressive. He just saw something. <clears throat> uh, Dave1562. Hi, Paul. Hope you've had a great birthday. Here's a little birthday present and have a great time tomorrow. Thank you, Dave1562. First delivery as well. Appreciate that. And um, I'm going to have a great time, I'm sure. Hmm. There's something here. I need something. I need something. I'm going to guess at a either a pocket knife or a tong. Hmm, there's something here. I see a jewel. It's fallen between the floorboards. What? Wait, wait, what? What did you just say? I see a jewel. It's fallen between the floorboards and then I get a picture of a whole lot of stuff. What is going on? Is he using the tongue to get some stuff out of the floorboards? What's all this, though? Oh, it's a puzzle. Oh, God. Um, ah, we've got to get the medallion over there. I get it. Okay, okay, okay. That was so confusing. Um, I've got to basically slide this around to get that there, haven't I? I, I was like, I thought it was some kind of inventory screen. <clears throat> right, how do we get this over there? Uh, that can't go up, can it? It'd be a bit limited on sliding. Come on, why will you go left? Yeah, it's basically a slider game. But I can't move that up. I can move that one up. I can't move that across. Can't move that across. Like, I can't use the space. This is really annoying. <laughs> Move the mirror up when the smudge to the right under the mirror. This is in the way because of this one. Like, in order to get that through there, this is the blocker, isn't it? But in either position, like, the only position that I can be in is here, which means I have to move this. This has to go, but where the heck can it go? Uh, Steel Hill, Steel, happy birthday, Paul. <clears throat> Hope your day's been great so far. It's been great. Thank you, Steel. First delivery as well. Thank you very much. Yeah, we've had a good day all round. Restart and try again. Okay, hang on. Reset. 
So this one seems to be completely immovable. This is the blocker because this is the down is the only way we can move this. So we need to move that. But here's the kicker. This won't move up and that won't move sideways, which means that has to move up. And in order to get that one to move up, that spoon has to be here, doesn't it? Oh my god, this is actually quite hard. The plates can move, yeah, they can move up and down. Basically, depending on the shape of the piece, it will only move along its length ways. It seems to be how it is. Move the right bottle up and then the comb down and you are home free. Dude. The point is, think about this. This is three squares high. So even if it's there, it's still blocking the way out. We have to get this all the way to the bottom. To do that, we have to move this thing, wherever that is. Uh, the only way to move that is to move this. This can only go vertically, which means we need to get the spoon out of the way. And the only place that can be, where that can move, is here. So that spoon needs to go over there. In order to do that, that comb has to be at the top. In order to do that, this thing has to not be here. Do you see the problem? <laughs> it's kind of a multifaceted problem. Usually rage quit. No, moving the spoon back doesn't do anything. Look at the length of the spoon. <laughs> Steffi girl, I think Nut Slammer thought you symbol spammed. Move, click one bottle up, dual left. Is that a solution by any chance? I think. Okay, I'm going to have a go at it before I try the solution. Because that's obviously a solution. So I've got my solution now ready. In case, in case we don't get it. But we'll try and solve it first. Let me reset that. That's so you want that to go up one or two, doesn't it? Move the bottle down completely. Well, put the bottle here. Well, that's the same problem. Why does that help? We need to get the spoon out of the way, don't we? Because we need to we need to use that space. That we need to get that there, I think. Now the middle flask down, the left flask and wood piece down and spoon left let's get that out of the way oh, I keep forgetting I can't move the bottle sideways ah. okay that helps a bit that gets that, that down there doesn't it which is good we've not been in that position before Nearly. Hang on, hang on. We get that out of the way. That gets the spoon out of the way. Oh, you scumbag. You scumbag. It is. Absolutely. I can't I can't get this out of the way. Because the bottle's in the way. I want to I need to move the pendant so I can get that to get out of the way completely and we can move this. How do we do this? How do we get it so the pendant can move? The bottle's in the way, basically. Oh my god. <laughs> 
smash the bottle. I like your thinking. Yes, we've got that out of the way. Now that can move. Okay, slowly getting there, I think. Um, let's think. That goes down. Ah! <laughs> ah! It's nearly there. I can feel that it's nearly there. I, I laugh I was doing this in a guy's bar with a tong in between the crack of the floorboards and the bar person's not like, excuse me, what are you doing? Can I be your maths teacher? I know, right, let's just get a crowbar and prize the floorboard up, it'd be easier. Van Blue, 1989, happy birthday. Hope you're enjoying your day and hope you enjoy tomorrow. Thank you very much, Van Blue. I shall try. Thank you very much. Yeah, now the spoon is stuck. Tell me about it. It's just like stupid pieces in the way. Mm. We've already had the wood to the right. The wood was already over here. The wood needs to be here so that that can come down. Look, the path is clear. Just that's in the way now. And if you put that there, that's... Oh. <laughs> Well, if bottom left planks need to go one up, then the bottom plank goes left. Well, that thing, that's probably a good plan, actually. That's probably a very good plan. Or is it? Actually, no, maybe it isn't. Because I can't move anything now. The medallion probably isn't that important anyway. What do you mean, plate top left? This tastes like shandy. That's what it was. Not root beer, shandy. That's what Spetsy tastes like. Uh, it is M-rated. Absolutely, it's custom. You only need to move the spoon now too late. You only need to move the spoon... Why is my screen gone blue? Why is my screen gone blue? Has my game just crashed? What is going on? <laughs> what on earth was that? I have no idea what just happened. Right. I don't I don't get this. There is no spoon, absolutely. Or in this case, there are two. I wish there was no spoon. I'd actually get get this done. Apple update. Yes! Hebrew inscription. <laughs> Going by the length of the chain, it must belong to a child. 
<laughs> oh my god. This game. Why didn't you help me, you scumbag? <laughs> Hello there. You looking for a gas man? You really a gasser? You sure it isn't a bobby? Well, if you don't need me, I'll be on my way then. I've already been paid up. Stay. Who paid you? A doctor. Marston, I think he was. He told me you'd talk to me about a foreigner name of Tumblety, if I did you a favour. Right, mate. Might happen. What should I do? What is it you need me to do, then? Listen to me. At the end of Whitechapel, there's an abandoned dump of a house. Opposite Finley's boarding house. Upstairs in the mess where the gas pipes are, you'll find a sack with something heavy inside. If you look in, you'll regret it here. You find it, you bring it here, and you don't tell us so, right? Got it. And then you'll tell me about this tumble tea so that I can report back to the doc? Yeah. Doctors know people. And since you is here, it's because he'll move mountains for his American. Me? I don't know much. But you can tell him that he'll have to talk to Squibby. He seems to know lots about plenty. When you come back with a sack, I'll tell you what he needs to tell Squibby so that he snitches on the yank to him. Believe me, mate, it's as explosive as ten miles worth of gas in your damn pipes. Goodbye. Right then, I'm off. Go. Give me some air. Is that guy completely stupid? I could arrange for the police to come down here and arrest this thug, but he seems pretty tough and would probably be a lot less cooperative than if I play along. It's best I handle this myself, including meeting the mysterious Squibby. Does he not think that the, that Sherlock's voice is a bit posh for a guy dressed in working man's clothes? I have nothing to ask. Oh, I want to talk to Rabbi. That's not fair, is it? What are you looking for? Tricks, opium, girl, sailor. Nothing from you. <laughs> Stop no running. Time to talk, Governor. I've done my keep. <laughs> Best accents ever. Right, where are we going? Boarding house, he said, didn't it? It's the abandoned house that Bluto pointed out to me. He must have set up his hideout there. Hmm, there's a strange smell coming from this old building. A strange smell, you say? What did you have for dinner? Good day, Finley. Ah, uh, good day, sir. Have we met before? It's me, Sherlock Holmes, but I don't want it to be known that I'm here. Can I count on you? Certainly, Mr. Holmes. I shall be as silent as the grave. Twitch said I wasn't live. Why am I not surprised? Tumblety! Your tenant, Dr. Tumblety. Is he here? I don't think so. I'll go and find out. Lightning? It would seem we've been having some Denied. gas problems. Don't talk to me about it. The problem is from the abandoned house not far from here. But nobody has come to take care of it. Perhaps I could go and take a look. Do you have a ladder? Do you have a ladder? No, but I think in the pile of wood under the stairs there is one in pieces. And if you also need something from the scrap heap, some old tools or who knows what, feel free to take it, Mr Holmes. But leave the dishes in good condition. We're going to have to assemble a ladder. I can see it coming. Thank you and goodbye. Goodbye, Mr Holmes. He's in disguise, right? He's undercover, and he's stood talking to a guy who's going, Goodbye, Mr. Holmes! He's <laughs> like, shut up! Don't call me Holmes! Where's this ladder, then? Oh, here we go. Finley's ladder is smashed to pieces, but all the parts appear to be here. This must be a piece of the ladder. You think? Is there anything else we need from here? Part of a perfume atomizer. What? This lead pipe could help me to repair the gas lines. This must be a piece of the ladder. 
This must be a piece of the ladder. This lead pipe could help me to repair the gas lines. A heap of rusted iron crockery. I like how he knows what stuff's for. I think that's it. You never know with this game. This old cloth could be used as a mask. I must moisten my makeshift mask. Moisten it? Some old nails. They may come in handy. <laughs> um... Okay. He's got some water here. Can we just moisten it, our mask on this? Where's it going? There. This damp cloth will do for a mask. Okay. Um, and how do we assemble... Small planks. How do we get it to assemble a ladder, do you think? Closed. Oh, what a surprise. There's going to be like a specific place where you pitch the ladder up. This lead pipe could help me to repair the gas lines. A broken hammer. I will have to find a handle. A handle? Part of a perfume atomizer. A lot of stuff got dropped here. Okay, I can't see anything else here. So I need to find a handle. Have you got a handle? How is your investigation going, Mr. Holmes? Thank you, and goodbye. And goodbye, Mr. Holmes. Were we going to find a handle? Excuse me, you got a handle? Excuse me, my good man. Now time to chat, I've got business, got it? Now time to chat, I've got business, got it? <laughs> okay, hint taken. What, is it, what, are you saying you can't make a safe ladder out of pieces? What are you trying to say? A bit of gaffer tape and a hammer. You can make a perfect ladder. There must be something here. Wait, what? Why have I suddenly gone to third person? Why have I suddenly gone to third person? Cobbler will have a handle. A handle. Water. Oh, Sherlock. I think he already lifted the hammer handle. I've got a little stick. And a hammer head. How do we assemble things? We've got the perfume atomizer. What did he say? You also need something with a scrap heap. Small tools. Feel free to take a look. Hmm. Master Keats going in and out third person. I've done that bit. Hang on. This window appears to be the only way out. Well, clearly that's where the the wind the ladder has to go there, right? Is that definitely it over here? Any ideas, guys? How do we make this ladder? Yes. 
Let's go and visit the cobbler. How do, sir? Hello. I'm sorry to say, but I'm closing. <laughs> this man seems wary. I must find a way to win his confidence. What? How do, sir? Hello. I'm sorry to say, but I'm closing. This man seems wary. I must find a way to win his confidence. He already knows us. Yeah. You drag and drop items together? Oh my god. Where in the game does it tell you you can do that mechanic? We've already spoke to this guy. We've done an entire mission for this dude and he's just talking to us like he's never met us before. Rusted iron. A stick. <laughs> just make a ladder out of some sticks. Wet cloth, rusted iron dishes, perfume atomizer. Right, well, we have a ladder now. Ah, we're disguised. Good. Yeah, good point. Good point. All right, I'll let it off. Let's get the ladder out. This window appears to be the only way out. Hmm. With the ladder in my hand, where do I put it? How is your investigation going, Mr. Holmes? Oh, you want to put the nails in the ladder together? Goodbye. See, goodbye, Mr. Holmes. To me, the ladder looked already assembled. It says, and it's an assembled ladder, but you're saying put the nails on it. No. The nails don't go on the ladder. It's already been held together by the forces of attraction. Let's take the hammer and the nails. The hammer and the ladder. The nails, the hammer and the ladder. The hammer and the medallion. The knife and the ladder. The cloth and the medallion. Oh. Assembled ladder with nails with a hammer on. Yay, we have a ladder. Right, come here, you. This window appears to be the only way out. I hope this ladder will support my weight. Oh, why didn't he say it properly? He should have said, I hope this ladder will support my weight. That would have been so much better. Let's go. Let's go. My cloth mask won't make much difference, but I'll be able to inspect the room for a few seconds. We'll put it on there. Okay. Has anybody got any matches? I can't see. <laughs> the leak must have been sudden. Even the animals didn't have time to escape. True story. Someone left here in a hurry, presumably because of the gas leak. Well, you'd think so. They didn't even take the pet rat with them. Hey. Wait, who boarded the door up? This iron bar will help me. Is it me or is Sherlock a thief? Everywhere he goes. Hmm, this will be useful for me. Hmm, I could do with this. Just takes whatever he wants. I need something. Hmm, what do you need? Do you perhaps need a iron bar? The leak is coming from here. The satchel is behind these pipes. This explains why the thug wanted someone who knew about gas. He must have hidden it there in great haste and broke the pipes in the process. What is it? The satchel seems to be quite... Okay, okay, I got it the first time. The satchel seems to be quite stuck. I don't think I can get it out without passing out. For good. I need a more suitable mask. The kind used by tanners would do nicely. What, have we got to go to a tanners now? Is that what we're saying here? The leak must have been sudden. Even the animals didn't have time to escape. The leak must have been sudden. Even the animals didn't have time to escape. A small torch. A useful tool for opening safes, I would assume. But the gas bottle is empty. Well, it's all right. We've got plenty over here. Can we have that bag? 
The satchel seems to be quite stuck. I don't think I can get it out without passing out for good. I Hmm. Should we just climb out and go to the tanners then? I think we're done, aren't we? Uh, there we go. I can't believe nobody's been and closed that pipe off. It's just spewing gas out. It's so unsafe. No, he said, I need to find some more suitable gas mask. I need to go to Tanner's, is what he said. I don't think the uh, the cloth mask is cutting it. Where was Tanner? Clinic, cobbler. Brothel, lodgings, police station. We haven't got a Tanner. True 86, four month support. Thank you, True. Well, I can put the gas mask on, but I think he said we need something more suitable. A Tanner's one. So, is there a mask around here? The satchel seems to be quite stuck. I don't think I can get it out without passing out. For good. I need a more suitable mask. The kind used by tanners would do nicely. So essentially we need to we need a better mask before we can get that, yeah? That's the point. No. Meeting Squibby at the moment would be pointless. If he's even there, I haven't yet got the information from Bluto that will make him talk. Is this how I got a mask? I have no reason to go that way. Okay. The kind that Tanners use. London Hospital. I have no reason to go that way. I have no reason to go that way. I have no reason to go that way. Okay, so the answer state is here somewhere. Nick three 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 with thirty months. Thank you, Nick. I don't see why you'd find a Tanner's mask in a brothel. Doesn't make any sense. First blood. It's not in the cobbler shop, because he won't talk to us. It's not in the clinic, he said we can't go in there. The boarding house? I guess this guy's got some news. How is your investigation going, Mr. Holmes? Ah. I'll be needing a mask of the sort tanners use. Do you know where... Go check in the little lane across from the clinic. At the cobblers, perhaps. Oh my god. Thank you, and goodbye. Goodbye, Mr. Holmes. Did he, did he just say that? Did he really just say, go somewhere that you've already been, but I've not told you to go? How do, sir? Hello. I'm sorry to say, but I'm closing. This man seems wary. I must find a way to win his confidence. Wait, was that dialogue, go here, or go to the clinic? Go check the little lane across the clinic, at the cobblers, perhaps. So we are in the right place. Is there anything that you have that'll fix a leak in your inventory? What do you mean? What can we give this... How do, sir? Hello? This man seems wary. A way I to win his confidence. To win his confidence. We'll just take our, our disguise off with win his confidence, surely. How do, sir? Hello? I'm sorry to say, but I'm closing. Jewel. Hang on. Tristan, from HM the Queen ER2. 
Uh, eating leftovers from my 90th birthday cake. Wishing my lost subject, Mr. Squirrel, a splendid and excellent birthday. You may continue with the stream. Moon or bust. Lydia hates me. If only the Queen watched the stream. I'm here because I found this. <laughs> Thank you, Abraham's Tree Abraham's beard. The son of one of my neighbours was beaten in the street a few weeks ago and it was stolen from him. If you would give it to me, I promise to return it to him and get you a reward. Money doesn't interest me. Who are you, sir? And what do you want from me? I'm a friend of Dr. Watson's. Uh, you know him, don't you? In that case, welcome. Dr. Watson is a great man, and I would be pleased to help one of his friends. You work the leather and perhaps even tan it yourself. I believe tanners wear special masks to protect themselves from the toxic emissions given off by the vats used to soak the leather. I have a gas leak to fix, and I won't survive without something effective to protect myself with. Go see my cousin Abraham, who has a pet shop a little further down the road. Tell him that Isaac sent you. <laughs> That's me. I'll be off now. My regards to Dr. Watson. Okay. Look at that guy's forearms. Go see my cousin Abraham who has a pet shop a little further down the road. A pet shop. Which is not on the map. What, when he says a little further down the road? Which road does he mean? This is a pet shop. Wow. <laughs> Oh my god, his cousin looks just like him. Oh my god. As if. Where's the dog? Where's the dog? I can't find the dog. Rosemobile, 30 months support. Dead Mouse, 17 months. Thank you, guys. Man, there's some weird noises in here. Hello, sir. Hello. Do you have a mask? You must be Abraham Solomonovich. I, I came on behalf of your cousin, Isaac. He said that you might be able to help me. I need a good mask to protect me from gas emissions so I can repair a leak. Yes, it should help you. But I let it drop into the big snake cage, and they are very dangerous beasts. I don't know how to retrieve it. But you must be equipped to deal with these creatures safely, surely? Of course, but I broke my hook. Oh my it should God. be over there. If you succeed in getting that oh beast my from God. its cage, you will be doing me a great favor. Everybody is just like a massive barterer. Oh, yeah, I'd like to give you the item, but, you know, I've got this other problem, and if you can get that for me, I'll let you have this. And then you go to that one, and it's like, yeah, yeah, I, I could get you that, but... <clears throat> so what does he want me to do? He wants me to get his hook or something. Yeah, that dog barking's a bit much now. Ah, uh, it should be over there. If you succeed in getting that beast from the cage, you will be doing me a great favour. Right, so where's the hook? I need something. Okay. Hammer? <laughs> a blowtorch? I need something. Oh. Okay. Perfume. I need something. No. I need something. Uh, rusty iron dishes. I need something. 
A knife. I need something. <laughs> what does he need? What would you need to get a snake? You need some kind of like stick, wouldn't you? I have the broken hook. I can repair it, but I'll need some materials. Perhaps I'll find some material at Isaac's that will be of use. Isaac's? Which one's Isaac's? Which one's Isaac's, guys? Is that the cobbler's? I need a few items for your cousin Abraham. May I borrow them for you? Of course. You're welcome. Okay. Um, let's grab some stuff. Denied. Can we grab some stuff? This may come in handy. This should do the trick. What's he taking? Piece of hook for a snake and a metal shank. It sounds like he's got what he needs. Okay, thanks. Bye. It is cobblers, you're right. It's a lot of cobblers. Right, you. I need something. Snakey McSnakerson. I need something. Oh, really? I need something. I need something. I'm trying to craft it, but what we're we trying to craft? A piece of hook for a snake. Wait, can we just go and give it to him? Have you let the snake out of its cage? <laughs> give him something for he needs. He seems to need it. He doesn't want anything else. I've tried putting the stick and the hook together, haven't I? Oh, God. I tried every combo apart from that. I need something. What the heck are we making here? I need something. Knife? Iron shank? Iron thread and a hook for a snake. How do we get that fixed up even more? Yeah, we've made it. We've got all three assembled, haven't we, right? Nothing else will go on there. I need something. I need something. Oh my god. I need something. We can't spray it. What does he need? Does he need? Hang on. This cage must do to hold the snake. Oh. oh my god. I need something. No, I can't do that. What wood? We already got the wood, didn't we? 
We've got the cage. We've got the thingy. Just checking there's nothing else. Oh, hang on. This cage must do to hold the snake. Oh, my God. What was that? This cage must do to hold the snake. This cage will do the trick. The mesh is small enough. Okay. Yeah. I need something. You've got it. You've got it. You've got the thing. I need something. <laughs> what, does he want another cage? <laughs> needs to be longer I need something I need something why go to the cobblers Perhaps I'll find some material at Isaac's that will be of use Oh my god, this game does not exactly lead you in the right direction, does it? It lets you sit there just trying things and then it just goes, oh yeah, yeah, you should probably go to Can I help it. you, sir? Yeah, you can help me. Can I me. help you, sir? No, you can't help me. What do we need? A ladder? Shoes? This should do the trick. I need something. There we are. Magnificent. Okay. If I may ask, why is it you have such equipment? I haven't always had a pet shop, my friend. I was a butcher for many years. But I wasn't serious enough to be a real meat man. And I was looked down upon in the community. I found myself carting carcasses from the slaughterhouse. A repugnant job in which you catch vile illnesses. And it breaks you before you're out of your thirties. Thus, I had the idea to make this mask with a sort of filter. And it worked. Since then, I have quit that work. And with my little savings, I started this business. I lived through the death of thousands of animals. Now I am devoted to their lives. If you are interested, I could sell you a little canary, for example. <laughs> No, thank you. Let's return to the boarding house. Let's return to the steed room. And alright, that dog. Oh my god. The satchel, rather heavy and firmly wedged, dislodging it will take a concerted effort and is better done in a safe environment. I must repair this leak before I can get the satchel out. There we go. This reminds me of Pipe, uh, what was it called? That game with the pipes. Pipe, pipe Mania, Pipe Manic or something? What's that for? There isn't enough gas. The pressure isn't high enough. There isn't enough gas. What? There isn't enough gas. The pressure isn't high enough. There isn't enough gas. All right, put it down. How are we supposed to turn the dial?
got it. Have we fixed it? Joints look good to me. Sunny Dead Squirrel, I hope you have had a nice birthday today, and uh, I hope you've got uh, had the presents that you wanted. Happy streaming for many years to come. Thank you, Sunny Debts. I've got amazing presents, to be honest. <laughs> amazing stuff here. <laughs> Love it. Thank you, Sunny Debts. Don't forget the flux. What are we meant to do now? Hang on, it's apparently not fixed. The satchel, rather heavy and firmly wed. Apparently we need to do some more fixing. Elementary. No, it's not. This much talked about satchel is very heavy and seems to contain metal dishes. I told Bluto that I wouldn't look inside, but I've little need to. It's quite obvious that it's full of silverware. Definitely obvious. I think he should go and sell it and retire. There's still gas in here. Looking at the state of this cat, it won't survive much longer if it stays here. Right. Is that a hint? Let's go to the wasp's nest. Let's go to the wasp's nest. I need something. Oh my god. I need something. <laughs> Just give him a cat. There's no way of returning this fortune to that lout Bluto. I will give him the satchel, but with other contents. Hmm. Something with the same weight. No. Oh. Something of the same weight. Full of crockery, the satchel makes the same noise and weighs about the same as if it were filled with silverware. Of course he won't think to open it, will he? Pass the sack to me. Did you look in? I give you my word, but it won't belong to you until you tell me where Squibby is. Fine. The poor idiot was taken by the peelers the other day. I don't know why some chap started to screech about it. He was the white chapel killer, but he ended up followed by an hysterical mob. In a flash, the bobbies had him rounded up and locked down. Do you mean that the local police station might Good night, sound hot dogs. Not. But if you or the doc talk to him, tell him that about the kayak business. I'll oh, forget our score if he rats on the yank. He'll know. Now, hand over the bag. I say, that's all a little bit wishy-washy. I'm not sure it's worth the satchel. Hey, don't shake it like that, moron. If you don't want to end up with a knife in the back, you'll get busy with the pipe. Got it? Here, take it. That'll teach me for being a good Samaritan. Honestly, how rude. I'd best be off now. Better to not be around when he opens the satchel. Yeah, let's go. can't just waltz into the police station to ask if they've got Squibby locked up. I'll have to come up with a ploy to find out if he's actually there. Then I'll need to get the policeman to leave for just a few minutes so I can talk to the prisoner. So, you little jackanapes. You want to ride on the big whirly? Hmm. Another day, perhaps, ma'am. As a matter of fact, I would like to know if a chap I know called Squibby happens to be in this police station, and how many policemen are inside. Information? Yes, but time is money for me, you know. Just big boned. Here are a few guineas. So, Squibby. I'll tell you everything that I know, my ducky. Nothing. <laughs> I know nothing about whether Squibby is there, and I don't give a damn. The bobbies don't whisper sweet nothings to me, like the girls in the nice places. And now get lost before I get all worked up. Hey, if you have something to offer to a lady, I could tell you a little bit more, maybe. I'll be back. You do that. The girls from the nice houses, that monster. Oh. Danny must have been referring to establishments like Miss Bella's that Watson told me about. 
I, I actually didn't pick up any dialogue that she came up with. I was. What did she say? No, a trap called Squibby. It happens to be inside the police station. How many policemen are inside? Yes, time is money. Is there anything I know about my ducky? What did she actually tell us? What did she actually tell us? That's the thing. Fine. I have to go to the brothel. No, you know what happens when we go to the brothel, don't you? We get to talk to a certain person outside. Hmm. I have nothing to ask. Oh, is he not talking? Hmm. I have nothing to ask. Hmm. I have nothing to ask. Why is he refusing to talk to me? Right, well, if he won't talk to me, I'll make him talk. Out of the way, I don't like the look of you. <laughs> That's the character from that voice. Good evening, Lucy. Do you remember me? Mr. Holmes, come in. You're strangely dressed. What have you come to do in the area? Constables. I've come to ask if any of your colleagues, or perhaps even yourself, associate with any of the policemen from the local station. Certain girls go with police officers, it's true. But Bella would be able to tell you more than me. Very well. Right. I'll be on my way. Where's Bella, then? You are a friend of Dr. Watson? Indeed. A fine man, your Dr. Watson. He got me out of a damn business with one of my clients. We gave this boar a lesson to remember, and he's since gone to France, having snagged one of my best girls. But it's a break from all of her chatter. You're looking for information about the police, is that right? I can't help you there. The girls concerned are busy. And anyway, I don't have the time. Of course she doesn't, unless we do something for her. What is bothering you so much? A client left me a case of bottles as payment. It happens all the time. I'm saddled with all this stuff. He told me that these perfumes were the latest thing straight from Paris. Well, I'd barely smelled the first one when I nearly fainted. Denied. There might be some good ones in there, but I'd have to find out if it's really perfume, so that it won't burn the skin off my pretty girls. Madam, I will undertake to tell you exactly which of these products are perfumes, if you agree to entrust them to me for a little while. In exchange, I would like to know more about Squibby. Yes, I know him. We've struck a deal, Mr. Holmes. I'll give you these bottles. Okay, so we've got some bottles, right? I will need a book to help me identify Miss Bella's perfume. I believe the bookshop on Glenworth Street, not far from Baker Street, has just reopened. Let's go and take a look. Glenworth Street? I will need a book to help me identify... Ooh, it's like Harry Potter, this place. Very posh in here. I'm just doing a Sherlock. I'm just walking around seeing what I can pilfer. Hello, sir. Hello. Are you the new bookseller in the neighborhood? Yes. My name is Barnes. You're one of my first visitors. Welcome. What are you looking for? I'm looking for work that can help me identify perfumes, a book that deals with vegetation and its possible uses in the domain, for example. I would recommend the Encyclopedia Spartica about vegetation. It consists of a reference on the matter. This book is the most complete that there is. Fine, I will take it. But it's just that, um... <clears throat> I have no idea where it is. Would you believe that my predecessor classified works by their acquisition date? Nowadays, we advocate a thematic classification. However, I am getting down to the task. You aren't looking for anything concerning the history of the scripts. I'm fascinated by the subject. 
and I already have numerous books on the topic. It is no doubt very interesting, but I need this book Spartica without further delay. Fine, fine. I will try to find the acquisition date of this encyclopedia, Mr... Holmes. Sherlock Holmes. Ah, fantastic. You are the man for the job. Perhaps you could try to find the missing dates. That will buy you some time. There are some dates missing? Yes. I forgot to mention that detail. The dates were written on cardstock attached to the columns, and there was one date per section. As one goes along, you will see there is no specific order, and certain are missing. I remade the labels, but I don't know where to put them. They're there on the counter. Are there any other details to know? The proprietor inscribed a date every two years since his arrival in 1864, up until now, that is, 1888. He left a note regarding his method of shelving, but I didn't understand a word. I do believe, in fact, that he was a bit mad. Well, I will see. All the numbers placed in the same column must have different ending numbers. For example, 1866 and 1860 together would create an inconceivable disaster. 1886 and 1866, okay. The dates whose numbers added together will produce the same sum cannot be put in the same column if they indicate the same sense. You what? Number of dates by column, 454. What? I must put all of the labels back in their rightful place. Wait, this is the guy who owns the bookshop? Why are we doing his job for him? Four, five, four. Um, Mapex Slayer, happy birthday, Paul. I hope it's been a good one from me, the missus, and our staffy and our daughter Scarlett, who is due to be born in two weeks. Yachts, thank you, Mapex. Wow, two weeks' time, big life changer coming. All the numbers placed in the same section must have different ending numbers. For example, 1886 and 1866 together would create an inconceivable disaster. The dates whose numbers added together will produce the same sum cannot be put in the same column. I must put all of the labels back in their rightful place. Okay, how? I must put all of the labels back in their rightful place. I must put all of the labels back Wait. in their rightful place. What? Okay, so where are the labels on on the desk? I must put all of the oh labels my God. back in their rightful place. Okay, we have a seventy. An 82 and a 66 and an 88. 68, 76. 82. Is that right? Done it. To celebrate, you're going to have a glass of milk. All the numbers placed in the same column must have different ending numbers. For example, 1886, 186 together. Okay, different ending numbers. So, 864 and something else. 8, 6, 4, and 2 is good. 0, 2, 4, and any of these is good. I'm gone. 6, 4, 8, and 0. Which means they must go there. Two, four, six, eight, zero. Why is that wrong? 
Have you finished placing my labels, Mr. Holmes? I have. Have you finished placing my labels, Mr. Holmes? I have. Have you finished placing my labels, Mr. Holmes? Wait, 70 goals left? What do you mean? Same sum in first column. All the numbers placed in the same column must have different ending numbers. They do. Dates whose numbers are added together will produce the same sum cannot be put in the same column if they indicate the same sense. That bit I don't get. That bit I do not get. Have two left and two right. Seventeen must point left. The end number must add up to the same number. I can't take anything but those two. Are you saying 70 goes over here then? Because I don't see how that works. Because that ends in a zero. We've already got one in a zero. The labels must be four years apart. Okay, so we've got 72. We don't have 76. So 76 must go in there, presumably. I must put all of the labels back in their rightful place. Okay, if the labels have to be four years apart, then 1870, the next one's 1876, right? Which we don't have. <laughs> and then 1880, and then 1884, and then 1888, which we do have. But we don't have 76. How can 70 go there first? They're not four years apart, they're two years apart. Eighteen sixty six would be underneath eighteen seventy two. Why? I don't get it. I'm what I don't get it. Why? I don't get it. That's not a four year gap. You just said it was a four year gap. That's a six year gap. They're not four years apart. <laughs> They're six years apart. Forget the four years. Right. <laughs> Count up. I know. It basically said... It says that there's two rules, aren't there? The last numbers can't be the same. And then this bit, which I still don't understand. The dates whose numbers added together will produce the same sum cannot be put in the same column if they indicate the same sense. Like, what? I don't get that. Four dates here, five dates here, four dates here. Yeah, I get that. I don't get this sentence.
Didn't the bookseller mention the previous owner said in four years? Hang on. Prior to describe a date every two years since his arrival in 1864, up until now, that is 1888. He left a note regarding his method of shelving, but I don't understand a word. He's not the only one. Eighteen eighty two plus eighteen six four because nineteen it kind of be the same. Right, okay. Okay, so eighteen eighty four is sixteen twenty twenty one. Yeah? Eighty one. Eighteen eighty four added together is twenty one. I don't know about the direction of the arrow. It's going to be easy to do these first, right? It's got to be easy to do one of these. If two signs point the same direction, then some of the digits of the year can't match. Okay, so 1868 and 1876. That is 13, 14, uh, 22, and 23. So that's fine. And a number one here would go would point to the right, so it can't be one eight six four, which is twelve uh, eighteen nineteen. Parsky, there is no nineteen seventy. What <laughs> do you mean eighteen seventy? Do you mean that one? That added up, added up comes to 16. Well, it must be hard, because the guy who owns a bookshop still hasn't figured it out, and he's been here a while. <laughs> See you, Dennisman. Have a good one. Okay, so what's this one? 16 plus 8. That's The bottom number adds up to 24. That one adds up to 20, 24, and 23. 20, 24, and 23 they add up to. Thank you, Carl. 20, 24, and 23 they add up to. Which means... We could use that. There, Mr. Barnes, the labels are in their correct places. That should facilitate your classification. Have you found my book? Yes, what luck it was to meet you. It was acquired in 1882. That was disgusting. I will look for it. Thank you very much. I would suggest that you organise your books quickly. I am in the habit of visiting my local bookstore at least once a week. You are right, Mr. Holmes. Fatty, 27 months. Thank you, Fatty. Okay, I missed the dialogue then. What did he just give us? Dialogues. It's quite in 1882. Okay. Perfume is described in a musical metaphor as having three sets of notes, making the harmonious scent a chord. The notes unfold over time, the immediate impression of top leaf, blah, 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 blah. Uh, what? This encyclopedia on plants and spices is just what I need to analyse these so-called perfumes. Let's return to Baker Street. I will need my work table. I will need my work table. I need something. Oh, God. 
What do you need? I need something. I need something. <laughs> Stolen jewels. Box of perfume. Let's get to work. I oh must my analyze god. These perfumes. What the Thank you, Mutsford. Beast Boy 2017. Thank you for subscribing, Beast Boy. Welcome to the Night House and thank you very much for supporting the stream. I've still got the cat. I've been carrying it around in the bookshop and everything. What are we supposed to do here? Oil, coriander, resin oil. What are we doing? <laughs> oh, okay. This shape represents the essence of the perfume, which I must recreate. Right, we must recreate the essence of the perfume. <laughs> this game is insane. These shapes represent the smells at my disposal. Okay. No. It's got a slight overhang on it. You can almost see the, the cut out pieces on that one. It's got to be that one. Oh, that looks close. Result average. What's wrong with that? That looks just like that. White and wax. MacGyver, 16 months. Thank you, MacGyver. Result average. I honestly thought we had that. That's too tall, isn't it? That's the wrong colour. We've got the right colour green. That's too tall. That's definitely too tall. It's got to be that one. That's the right height, I think. Excellent. Now, on to the next step. We got that one. <sighs> okay, that's got a... Probably that one, I guess, followed by that one there. And that one there. Nope. I was so confident. the wrong height or maybe with that one that's too high it needs to be actually the bot that one's wider than that don't think this is right Excellent. Now, on to the next step. <laughs> this is crazy. That one looks like a decent fit. Elementary. Fine. I have to go to the brothel. Brothel. Take the perfume to the brothel. Fine, I have to go to the brothel. Jay Webster, five months support. Thank you, Jay Webster. Hmm. I have nothing to ask. 
So, my dear man, have you reached a verdict? I have distinguished the good perfumes from the bad, but even the good ones are nothing more than common sense for adolescents. <sighs> Who cares? It'll freshen up a few of my girls. Wait, there's a perfume here called Valerian. What is it? It's not really a perfume, technically speaking, unless you like cats. It's more of a kind of medicine. It smells strange. I don't really like it. Here, I can give it to you. And I have some information. Squibby is most assuredly locked up at the police station hereabouts. It would also seem that he's the one who doesn't want to come out. Do you know someone by the name of Danny? Danny? Big Danny Nutcracker? <laughs> the one who hates cats? That's the one. You're interested in that kind of hates bird? Hates cats? Oh, be like dipping your biscuit in a pig's trough. She's dangerous, a real cyclone. So beware. And her appearance. She claims to adore perfumes. <laughs> She'd need this whole box to smell sweet. Thank you, Trucky. I doubt it'll take much to make Danny cooperate, uh, perhaps by offering her a little gift. Let's go to the police station. Can I get a refill, please? Can I get a refill, please? Right. This is going to be the last bit and then we're done here. I have to find out how many policemen are still in the station. There's no point continuing if there are too many. Okay, I suspect we'll be talking to her. This guy's quite dapper. Look at this guy. I say. Pardon me, but can you give me some information? You too? You're lost? That guy's awesome. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. It is 9 o'clock. I said I was going to finish at 9. Um, and it's a good place because next time we come here, we'll talk to the police station. It'll trigger me to go and talk to her. So I'm going to leave it there, peeps, because I've got to get up stupidly early in the morning and uh, fly out to Geneva for the day. Guys, thank you so very much for today. Um, I know not all of you are still here now, but it's uh, it's been a great birthday. It's been a great stream. It's been incredible. The support and the love has been immense. Uh, the stuff that I've been sent is just insane. It's truly amazing. Mind-blowing, in fact. Vrome, with 18 months of support. Thank you, Vrome. I hope you've all enjoyed yourself, guys. Uh, I've very much enjoyed myself. It's been great being here with you. We shall continue with Sherlock some other time. Guys, Mr. Squirrel about the birthday banner. <laughs> so don't forget, I won't be streaming tomorrow because I will be in Geneva. Uh, I will tweet out pictures while I'm in Geneva. I will check out my Instagram if you're not, if you're not following my Instagram or my Twitter. They'll, they'll go out on both. Um, School.tv is my uh, Instagram and SQRLTV is my Twitter. So I'll push out pictures through the day. I can hear people screaming. Where's Sprollies in Whitechapel? Also protects against wallops and chamber ports. Thank you very much, guys. I shall indeed have a safe trip. Um, can we please give some GGs to the mods, guys? Thank them for um, modding all day. I've been live nine hours. Please give them a uh, uh, some love for modding the chat. It's been pretty awesome today. It's been really good. I shall have a blast. Yeah, so it's going to be a busy week ahead, isn't it? We've got Geneva tomorrow, Farming Sim Thursday, a stream on Friday, which I'm not sure about the time yet, uh, Skylines on Saturday, Trucking on Sunday, and then Truck Fest in Peterborough on Monday. So a very busy week coming up. Look at this guy. Yeah, I'm not sure what time I'm streaming on Friday just yet. I should find out uh, by Thursday. There's lots of weird people screaming. 
Okay, I'm going to head out, guys. So uh, I shall see you all on Thursday. Uh, take it easy. Love you all. Thank you so much for all your love and support today. It's been immense. Can't thank you enough. Take it easy. Love you all. Good night.